Welcome back, everybody. The Grand Tactician, Civil War. Crump Crump Odd Game is going to be episode one of our new, uh, Pharisee live stream. Got a few people in the chat already. Bremer, Rainy, Josh, how we doing this evening? R Riley. What you guys been talking about behind my back over here? Yeah, some jokes about me not streaming last night. Sorry about that, gentlemen. Got a the event I attended got a little out of uh out of my control. I had a fun time. Every time I was trying to leave, I kept getting pulled aside. So <laughs> it took me over an hour to get the hell out of there. Caffeine, how are we doing this evening? I'm going to be starting a new uh, campaign here on Whiskey and Lemons. Better see. Card very high, or delays. Or system feeds off. off. Alright, this time I'm going to be starting as a Braid Commander again, instead of doing a Division Command, just to give the Division Command a little bit of a break. say we were born during the War of 1812. All right, how are we going to portray this officer this time? We already did the professional traveler. Old Dalwini, nice. I'm going to try and true fighting 69 again tonight. Uh, mostly because I forgot to run to the liquor store. <laughs> I, I meant to take a nap before the stream, and then I uh, the nap lasted a little too long. So I didn't get the chance to uh, run out and get anything. We'll go with, uh, I don't think we've done C yet. I had a life outside America, but the adventure I am, I moved there to take part in fighting the war had begun. Go with that one. As a non American, how did you end up receiving an officer's rank and position? Many of the volunteers were immigrants originally my countrymen. They chose me, they chose to elect me to lead them thanks to my fame and connections. When I volunteered, my early experience with different conflicts was noted, and I was soon elected to lead green men. The previous military experience, American volunteers were lacking discipline. I was soon offered to take command of a unit to properly train them. I volunteered to join a local militia unit and impressed the colonel with my epic adventure stories and a fancy military outfit. The rest is history. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're more of the adventure. I think we're going to be more the adventurer type on this one. So we'll go with B. Uh, that's all good here, Bremer. That's all good here.
which of the best following describe ah, which of the following best describes your motivation to fight the civil war? Just woke up from that nap. I had still a little cobwebby. <laughs> which of the be which of the following best describes your motivation to fight the civil war? I want to protect the constitution, values, and rights I believe in. I want to fight to defend my home, family, and loved ones. Well, we're going the adventurer path, so C is the option here. I want to experience new adventures and have an interesting career. That's a good idea, Primer. Which of the following best portrays your reaction if during the war you were ordered to do something you thought controversial? Keep my feelings to myself and carry out the orders of my duty as a soldier and officer. The man to written an order before following it through. The one given the order has a responsibility after all. I would object, explain my moral dilemma to him, hoping he would retract the order. I would tell the person in question that he's full of it and should commit such humbug himself and then walk away. Go with D. That's generally the uh, way I feel about that. How would you describe your relationship with religion? My life is all about serving a higher power, fulfilling his will among the sinful men. Attend sermon regularly as one does and try to live according to religious values. Not religious per se, but try to live according to ethical norms in my society, religious community to keep me out of trouble. Or religion is merely a tool to control the simple-minded masses. Once again, we're going with D on that one. We're a traveling adventurer, so he probably doesn't pay much heed to that stuff. <coughs> if insulted by a fellow officer, how would you most likely react? Turn the other cheat, gain a moral high ground? Forgive them the trespass against me like I always do? I would abstain from punching the rascal and offer a fine set of insults back at him instead. I would avenge any insult tenfold, making sure the person would never again mutter a word against me. Go with D. Once again, we're adventurer, we're probably a ruffian, like to start fights. Which of the following pastime activities do you enjoy the most? Parties, wine, going out with my posse, enjoying life to the fullest. You live only once. Social events where I can mingle with other people and exchange interesting thoughts, reading books, constructing ship models and bottles, or other solitary activities. Yeah, hell no. Sit by a creek for ages, watching and listening to water flow. We're gonna go with A, boys. Parties, wine, and going out to posse. Just like hanging out with you boys on the weekend. How do you assume your best friends ascribe you to someone who does not know you? Quick witted fellow, life of any party. Well liked person of good manners and taste fitting social status and all certain gentlemen. Good and hard working soldier with a promising career ahead of me. Really have an ex, nor care what the opinion of others is. I'll go with D on that. Which of the following is most important for an officer commanding men to battle? An officer must go through all the same hardships and dangers as any soldier in his unit, and maybe even more. Personal example of courage to men, even that uh, compromises personal safety. Compassion towards fellow soldiers is most important. One should not place them in unneeded danger or risk. Administrative skills, however dull it sounds, sloppy paperwork will result in many unneeded casualties in the military. But well, we are an adventurer, so uh, personal examples of, to encourage them is probably where we're going to go on this one. Strawberry banana smoothie full of vodka. Ooh, that sounds really good right now, kerosene. That sounds really good. It's actually kind of warm where I am right now, so that sounds really good right now. Yeah, it looks like the, the traveling harem is returning. <laughs> Which of the following virtues do you excel at more than the others? Hunting dangerous beasts, animals, and men alike. I have no fear, and I'm captivated by the prospect of killing a shot. Swordsmanship and horse riding, both are proper officer skills and will inspire my supporters to trust my martial powers. Planning, logistics, and handling complicated staff work, these are skills soldiers don't know. I appreciate until someone fails at them. Penmanship and beautiful handwriting, it's important that dispatches you sent will clearly and unequivocally communicate your will to men during the fighting. We're gonna go with A, hunting dangers of beasts, animals, and men alike, as we are an adventurer. Well, the last time we had the traveling harem, we damn near lost all of my limbs. 
If confronted with a disagreement among your peers, which of the following dis reactions describes you best? Ignore the opposite opinion, as I know I am always right. The others will learn it soon enough. I remain calm and defend my point of view, and even if the others try to convince me otherwise. Bickering is not worth it. I'd rather give in a bit and get along with others. I'm sure they will follow the example at a later point when I need support. I usually lose my temper and snap as I have no time for the stupidity that seems to surround me wherever I go. I'm going to go with A on this one. I don't think I'm going to have the explosive temper I had last time. But we'll see. Which of the following do you enjoy the most? Impressing others with epic stories about my accomplishments, solving puzzles, like mathematical equations, or hands on problems? Order and sounds keep me calm and help me think. Watching a fire I could do for hours on end, it soothes me. I'm going to go with A since we are an adventurer. Which of the following descriptions for Americanism is most accurate in your opinion? It's about breaking shackles and universal equity among all men. Everyone should have equal opportunities no matter what their background. America should be a leader and a beacon of progress and freedom in the world. It's all about the good old values and the freedom to forge your destiny the way you want, not according to expectations of others, especially those of the government. The divine destiny of America is expansion and taking what rightfully belongs to us. Hmm. As an adventurer, and none of these really kind of fit what I'm looking for. Grumpy like THG will never shack losing over 90,000 men at Richmond. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, I'm gonna change the avatars just looking at that. And the flag. Uh I'm not really sure which answer I should go on this one, because I'm just a traveling adventurer looking for a fight. Now we'll go with D. Which of the following, in your opinion, is the main cause of this terrible ordeal, the American Civil War? The evil of slavery, plain and simple, and ending it for good? Because the southern states seizing federal property and tagging the United States garrisons. The individual states' rights to self-govern the way they see fit. Too much centralized political control doesn't properly take into account regional needs. About the federal government and the liberal radicals attacking the southern way of life and trying to force people to go up their God-given freedoms. Either C or D. C or D. Yeah, we'll go with C. So I'm not actually a southerner, and D doesn't make a lot of sense. Which of the following best describes the goals you have for your military career? I want to become an important and influential general, admired by all. I want to serve my country proudly, and if need be, lay down my life for the benefit of others. Most importantly, I want to see the elephant. And we're going to go with D. I want to have an interesting life full of adventure to see the world. Because we are a traveling adventurer, so that makes the most sense. If comparing military career and other possible options, which of the following best describes its benefits? Social events, parties, and admiring attention of the opposite sex. All of this in a stunning looking uniform. Stable job with sufficient wage and sense of purpose. You get to see the world and meet interesting people and kill them if required. In the military, you have the best opportunity to serve a higher power. Oh, uh, you know we're going with A. Social events, parties, and admiring attention of the opposite sex. You're definitely going with A on this one. See the world, Manassas looks nice this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> There's the time period it did nowadays of Colombian whiskey. <laughs> well, Colombian whiskey, isn't that just an Irish coffee? You know, Colombian coffee with some Irish whiskey in it. <laughs> Which of the following legendary Americans of recent times do you admire the most? John Brown, George Washington, Andrew Jackson, or Zachary Taylor? Hmm. I think we'll go with B on this one. I don't think we've ever gone with George Washington as an answer. 
don't say black gold, you're going to have the U.S. US military and government kicking down your door. <laughs> In your opinion, which of the following descriptions best fits the nature of contemporary warfare? Modern weapons have such overwhelming firepower that it's almost impossible to overcome a well-prepared defense position. It's all about maneuvering around the enemy's flanks, cut his lines of communication, sensing the window of battles before even finding them. Nothing in essence has changed. It's still the well-drilled and disciplined lines of infantry breaking through the enemy, ultimately in a timely bayonet charge. War is nothing but a duel on a larger scale, dynamic, inherently unstable interaction of forces of violent emotion, chance, and rational calculation. I'm gonna go with D. That is a good description of it. They are already listening in. <laughs> Your unit is advancing in open terrain and comes under fire from a well covered position. The men refuse to advance. What would you do? For them to fix bayonets, quickly charge across the open into melee. With my hat and my raised sword. It's difficult not to follow such an example. In order to screen the skirmishers forward to engage the enemy while maneuvering the main body to a better position. Fall back and find a way around the flank of the enemy. There's no need to engage it on the enemy's terms. Come to the men down and have them fire back. They wouldn't hit an elephant at this distance. We're going to go with A. We are a traveling adventure ruffian looking for fame, fortune, and glory. A group of volunteers with overdue contracts refuse to fight. When your unit is just about to join battle, what would you do? Keep them under guard and prosecute them for desertion after the battle. As all your soldiers need in battle, point the men without weapons to a regiment of their home state. Have them tried for desertion there and then, and shot as a warrant to others who may want to desert. Take their weapons and other military gear and simply let them find their way home or die trying. Go with D. Once again, we're a traveling adventurer from outside the country, so... We don't have a stake in that. What is the most important role for cavalry in modern war? Keeping lines of communications open, delivering orders when required. Charging, breaking, wavering enemy lines with cold steel. Scouting ahead of armies and harassing enemy lines of communication. Protecting supply train, preventing desertion in the rear of the battle lines. Go at sea. Communications to your commander are lost and overwhelming enemy forces moving your way. What would you do? Stand and fight to the last man if needed. If you were the last orders. Giving ground could endanger the whole army. Order your deputy to lead the battle while you personally ride to find your commander for his instructions. Prepare to fight or lay in action to avoid high casualties even if it endangers your commander's battle plans. Take this great opportunity to prove your military prowess and charge the enemy head on. Winning here would be the stuff of legend. We gotta go with D, because that's basically how I fight most of my battles when you think about it. <laughs> Randy Black Gold sounds like something you Oh god, I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> nice job. Uh, we're already going degenerate on this stream. I can see it now. You ordered to hold the line, but in front of you, there's even better ground. What would you do? Hold the ground. Orders are orders. Immediately send skirmishers and engineers to inspect the terrain and encourage to propose where you can locate your unit to your commander. Take the initiative and move your unit forward to cover better ground. Your commander will thank you later. Ride yourself to your command post from deploying further forces in front of you. If he disagrees, then be it. Oh, you know it. Live like sickles, baby. Live like sickles. <laughs> you are advancing to flank an enemy position, but the men are dead tired. What would you do? Order a force march surprise the enemy, even if only part of your men can keep up. Make sure you will reach the flank with fresh troops that are engaged with rescue troops, even if the enemy has time to refuse to flank. Quickly consult your subordinates and let them vote whether it's worth engaging or not. Never hold a vote in a military council, it's idiotic. This mountain rush forward with a drawn sword. Men of insert stay here on me. Forward, forward. Go with D. Which of the following qualities is most important to an officer? Authority is one needs to make men follow orders and rules even in difficult conditions. Personal example is a soldier is more likely to follow someone in danger. The ability to think outside the box and not be predictable in battle. The ability to quickly make decisions even if the situation around is unclear. No personal example since we are an adventurer. 
Which of the following qualities in the army is most important in winning wars? Fighting spirit of men, their love of their country and support of the nation's cause. You need to command an effort which allows officers of all levels to take initiative according to commander's intent. Tactical skills of commanders who have studied and understood the art of war. Amateurs study tactics, professionals study supply trains and lines of communication without a functioning logistical trail, no campaign will succeed. Finding spirit of the men and love their country and supporting the nation's cause or... We'll go with C because we're not a professional officer. We are an adventurer, so I think C probably works best for us. Ian and boss, how we doing? Which of the following tactical principles is most important in your opinion? Use of interior lines quickly shift the point of main effort to defeat the enemy. Economic use of force. Always have a reserve and keep the men alive to fight another day. Group maneuvering, consolidating lines of communication, logistical nodes. Surprise and violence of action are force multipliers. You're always going to go with D on this answer, always. This is the final question. You will soon be in combat. You can do one of the following before marching out with your unit, which would it be? Gather men, say some inspirational words to motivate them. We have a mission to accomplish. Go to my home church and confess my sins. Throw an unforgettable party to my friends. Let the wine flow like this is the last day of my life. It may well be. Spend time with my family and loved ones. Who knows when I will have the possibility to meet them again. Oh, you know we're going with C. Throw a party, baby. You know, just pointed over at that group of men over there and said, take those hills. So we took those hills and forced you, you know, off the field anyway. <laughs> All right, we got American captain. We're volunteer. Wow, we got... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen six pieces on here. So we're contrarian. You're not known for your loyalty toward the nation's cause. On the contrary, you're seen as an annoying contrarian. Many question your motives to be in a commanding position in general. We're outrageous. Morals are not what is expected in 19th century American society. Things most people in church consider sins are just fun and games to you. Many find you outrageous and don't want to have anything to do with you. We're party animal. You're socially very active and like the company of fellow officers the opposite sex and fine drinks. You like a party and attract like-minded people around you. We're reckless. You're no coward, that's for sure. But people around you think you lack any self-control when it comes to danger. Many fear your recklessness will get them killed. We're psycho we're a psychopath. I think it's the first time we've ever actually gotten this. <laughs> I think it's the first time we've actually gotten this. While pressure does not seem to affect you at all, you also seem to miss many other human qualities like feelings. Many think you're a barking mad psychopath and a liability to your unit. <laughs> It's the first time we've ever gotten this one. Yeah, I think Grunpa is just a frat, bro. Yeah. And we're also a fire eater. You're conservative to the bone and don't keep that to yourself. Things were better in the early days of Republic. To hell with the radicals trying to change what the Founding Fathers established and the federal government taking away individual freedoms. Oh, crap. Let's go back. I change Crap, I forgot to... Shit. Alright. I forgot to change... My avatar picture and just wouldn't let me do it. Okay. One of the most well-adjusted, mentally stable officers on either side. <laughs> yeah, Rainy, you, you did tell me. You did tell me. It was too late. I should have done. That should have been the first thing I did. Oh well. You know what, Jeremy feels like it's getting to spring where I am, but it's a little too early for that. We got a whole month to go. Your own grandpa's a walking contradiction for those traits, exactly. Once taken, can never be recalled. 
we and our posterity shall see our lovely South desolated by the demon of war. Alexander Stevens, Vice President of the Confederate States of America. Chapter 2. The Demon of War. The election of Abraham Lincoln, an anti-slavery Republican, as the 16th President of the United States was the last straw, triggering secession. One by one, Southern slave states declared secession from the Union and formed the Confederate States of America, led by President Jefferson Davis. This secession ignited the inevitable escalation, with fruitless efforts to still find a political compromise falling on deaf ears. Advocates of armed insurrection and fire eaters roam the states with steel in their eyes, and the public is aroused to volunteer, to fill the ranks, to quell the rebellion, and to preserve the Union, or to secure independence from it. Following open hostilities, President Lincoln's militia call for 75,000 volunteers for three months' service, sparks incredulous protest and loud outcry among the southern states. And these sparks set on fire the irreversible. More states secede. Now it's war. Seventy-five thousand, a hundred thousand, and even more. Soon, the largest armies seen on American soil muster, drill, and prepare for war. A war that is to be neat, short, and limited. The whole matter would be settled by Christmas. But a dark shadow would loom over the growing and inexperienced armies. Without a swift and decisive blow from the very offset of the war, there's every chance of a long, confused, and disorganizing civil war, and even foreign powers may feel a desire to take a hand therein. The time is ticking for the newborn Confederacy. The Union must act. The demon of war has awakened. Yeah, it's never by Christmas. Never is. All right, we're going to start with a brigade this time instead of a division. Yeah, we don't even have the prestige to get a division, I don't think. Oh, shit. I took the wrong map. Fuck. I did it again. All right. I hit the wrong map. Ugh, fuck. Go through the questions again real fast. We'll make it fast this time. God damn it. I hit the DLC map by mistake. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <coughs> Richard, how we doing this evening? <laughs> yeah, I hit the damn I hit the whiskey and lemons DLC map by mistake. Yeah, but we'll we'll run through the questions real fast this time. I should have written down my answers. I did it last time too. I should have written down my answers by on a notepad here so I could have run through it real quickly. At least I got to fix my avatar. divided against itself cannot stand Skip through this. I believe this government cannot endure permanently 
What the hell? Uh. Do we have to go summer? Yeah, we have to go summer. That's right. It's spring, we have to go summer. There we go. through this real fast. Oh, we end up with psychotic again. That's the first time I've ever had that one. Maybe a Discord note? Mm. on that one. Here we go. Yep, we got we got it again. We got the same six items again. Okay. I got I did all the answers correctly. Kids are asleep four hours ago. That's a first. Let's change this flag. Which one do I want?
We take the Bonnie Blue this time. <laughs> Psycho frat bro is back. Yep. <laughs> Minnesota, how we doing? Skip the video this time. We just watched it. There we go. Now we got the correct map. And I think we want to end up out west again if we can. Now the two western choices are divisions. I want to start with a division this time. I want to start as brigade commander this time. We start out the liberal lady and as a companion. Oh god. Yeah, we're definitely we're doing a brigade command this time, so I don't want to take these I want to go out west again, but I don't want these divisions. And the only army Shenandoah option is Stewart's Cavalry Brigade. So, I guess we go, let's go with uh, 1st Brigade Army of the Potomac. We got 3,000 men. That's a big chunk of men. Yeah, it looks like we're in the Army of the Potomac for now. Seems like the whole of America is mobilizing. Uh, the MSG units are uh, was a whole division, so I'm not really crazy. I don't want to take another Western division. I want to start as a Western brigade. Men in great numbers from all corners of the country. I get in too much trouble if I start out with a cavalry brigade. You guys know that. I get enough trouble as an infantry. If I give me a cavalry brigade, crap, we're in a lot of trouble. All the way we're doing too to much Texas. stupid stuff. Are mustering to serve their nation, to fight for the America they believe in. Such great armies require great leadership, worthy officers to lead them into battle and to victory. And that's where you come in. First of all, sir, let me congratulate you on your recent promotion and commission. Now, you will be a part of historical events unfolding before our very eyes. The men are looking up to you for your leadership and example, and your superiors for your unwavering obedience in carrying out their orders. Prepare yourself and your unit well, as soon you'll join the columns of men as long as one's eyes can see Marching to the sound of guns to make history. Do well, and maybe one day it'll be you commanding our great armies to victory. And when it's all done, you'll have one hell of a story to tell. But let's not get ahead of things now, sir. It's merely the time to start writing that story of yours. Report to your commander at his headquarters at once for your orders. 
Make your country proud. Oh, there's a good way and get this going. Let's take a look at ourselves first here. Fame is almost at two stars already. Initiative is three, leadership is two, cunning is one, administration is nothing. We got two point one thousand dollars to play with here. My stupid stuff is better than fighting under General Polk. Yeah. <laughs> Hill. Why is it showing me questionnaire stuff here, bud? Got the whiskey flask. And the cigars. You know. It's giving me the wrong. It's showing me questionnaire answers when I mouse over these things, so I'm not liking that. Now, we're going to start with the bottom horse, because as a brigade commander, we're going to lose a lot of horses. So, we're going to start with breakfast, and then move on up from there. <laughs> we got here. And we'll just take the best of what we can get. Doesn't matter, really, who we have here. Actions, invest in stocks. I'll do that right, right off the bat. Why is it not letting me click on these? I have the money for that. You know, what? I think because I restarted twice, it's a memory's a little messed up. What was this here? Run a quick save and restart the game. Things look a little messed up. That's exactly what I'm doing. It's going to go blank here for a minute while it restarts.
All right, we got the glass flask, a fine glass flask with fine drinking in it. Have enough to share with your friends. Have another one, friend. Sip by sip, any grievances will be forgotten, decreasing hostilities around you. Pack of cigars. Pack of fine Cuban cigars. Amidst the crack of musketry and booming of guns, line a cigar and slowly puff them. The smoke will show your men they are in good hands. One can also wrap a few in a special orders dispatch to make sure it won't get lost. No, no, that's what we do with our whiskey bottles. Next horse afternoon, whiskey and crumpets. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What swords do we have? Calvary sword. Priest initiative. It's an artillery sword. Let's we'll go with the basic officer sword on that. All right, Webley long spur. Muzzle loading, percussion cap, and ball pistol. We'll go to Webley. Considering we're a traveling adventure, we probably would be carrying a Webley around with us. Uh, good question. Where did I come from? Because it doesn't let you pick nations. Hmm. Good thing you got the flask came dangerously close to leaving men in battle sober. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to go with the Webley, considering we're just an overseas adventurer. So you wouldn't probably would not have an American sidearm. All right, so we got Scotland, we got Norway. Anybody else have a suggestion? Because we, we usually do Irish, but uh, let's change it up this time. Don't particularly see a German doing something like this. Hmm. I'm not sure as hell not going to be a Frenchie. Just assaulted by a four-year-old doctor. <laughs> oh, lordy. Yeah, we'll go with Car I guess we could say we're from uh, go Nordic. Okay, we'll say we're from Norway then for a rainy day. All right, uniform. Go with the fine black hat. Waistcoat, because I'm partial to those. Which pants would look best with that coat? Uh, that's too much gray, I think. And I don't think the butternut would look good. We'll keep that for now. As we go up in rank, we have more options open up to us. Headquarters are already done. Actions. Who do we, who did I even get? We got... Bagby, Steel, Gweber, and Cockrell. Actually, not too bad choices there. Actions. Let's invest in stocks right away. And still not letting me collect anything. Oh, is it because I'm a friggin' brigade commander I can't use these? No, that shouldn't be uh, an issue. Hmm. No, it is what it is. We'll keep rolling. Keep on rolling.
We can say he's mixed heritage. I don't think any of these avatars actually have, like, blonde hair on them. Oh, we got a first battle already. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a mess. All right, we're going up against McDowell, who's bringing 32,209 infantry and 24 guns against our 18,291 infantry and 8 guns. This will be interesting. <laughs> I didn't even look at what weapons we were armed with. There's probably nothing available for us. Norwegian Scots Highlander. Actually, that 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 is a thing. That is a thing. We can go with that. Barney Bear Sarkson. <laughs> Oh, and I didn't even change the name of my brigade either. Oh, well, do that right afterwards. Guys, start throwing up uh, some names for a brigade and we'll hold a vote on what it's going to be. Barney Barks and a bit grumpy. <laughs> Okay, this is interesting. Never had a... We're going to attack the Ocean Forest, and we're all the way to hell down here. That's interesting. Never had the Manassas map from this direction before. That's weird. Get down to that edge of the map. Grumpy's Dirt Merchants. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got to march on up there. So I want to come in over this way. Jesse Davis is mighty lads. <laughs> Grumps fiddly fisherman. <laughs> Herring eaters. <laughs> uh, brigades from Virginia. Grumpa's Whiskey Vikings, Sir Stroming Snipers, okay. So we're going to be holding a vote for these.
Their straw is fermented fish and it reeks. Oh, Lord. Okay, at least we're on a different road from everybody else. Good. The inglorious bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we actually have Mississippi rifles. I just noticed that. Nice. I think we picked a very good brigade. Baga brigade. My morning farts don't stink. They smell like whiskey and roses. Where's my bottle? Fresh bottle is 69. Gotta love the sound of a fresh bottle opening up. You know, I've had a lot of food that smells terrible, but it's really, really tasty. You just gotta get past the smell. It's your round. Uh, we're not. We're a brigade, not a division. So we'll hold off on that one. They smell like whiskey and Swedish cheese. <laughs> the Oslo Ogilvy Dokleys. <laughs> We are way ahead of the rest of the army. Ooh. Let's knock this down to one time speed and we'll kick out some skirmishers. Oh, it's already like 20 hundred. Shit, I didn't even look at the time. I'm going to start this fight on day two. Let's see if we can spot these guys.
All right, we got nine names, so we'll do three rounds of voting. Well, four rounds of voting. Top one from each three will go to the fourth and final choice. I'd say we're in a good position here. Skirms. Come out this way, please. I'll have to do a sniff test on Jeremy's ex may have put a smile on our face. Oh, God. Let's get out to these woods. Take away that artillery advantage they have a massive amount of. Jones, Longstreet, Coke, Early, Evans, all the big names are here. War rights event, have fun, kerosene. Kick some Yankee ass. I'm not going to get much done. Day's going to end here in 30 minutes. So maybe we can do some damage to this battery, and that's about it. Watch out, you might have to become your ex as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start hitting this battery. I mean, I'm highly doubtful we'll win this battle, but we can at least do some damage. Boy, to engage, already doing that. Oh, but deployment zone's over there, so we're not getting that prestige. I don't want to be up in that engagement box anyway. That's going to be a bad spot to be. Take 
is this brigade? 3,000 men. Hmm. Hopefully they are not well armed. Get some uh, free prestige out of them. We got this railroad cut right here too. Casualties in my skirmishers yet, thankfully. Crazy access, fortunately. I guess that's the upside looking like Bigfoot's little brother. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like the brigade's going to get any shots in before the clock runs out on the daylight. Unless we go past 9 p.m., but I'm doubtful. There's the end of the day. I knew it. Hopefully we're left in position, but I'm doubtful of that. Yep. Brought us back to the rest of the army. Where are my skirmishers? Let's bring those boys in. Oh, they're right on top of us too. Good. We're going to come back out around the same way again. I am not getting caught up with the rest of the army. <laughs> How we doing, Grim? Oh, Grumpy, good party. Where's the whiskey? That's that's honestly, I think that's got to be the best line from that entire movie. And if you've never seen the movie McClintic, you need to uh, stop watching this right now and go watch that movie. One of John Wayne's best. Went from looking like Belinda Carlisle to having a bigger than a keep at Carlisle Castle. Oh, God. <laughs> Data Union forces have pulled back some. I know I'm giving up prestige by not moving into the engagement box, but I'm not assaulting these guys while they're behind the damn uh, railroad lines over here. Though, this probably would have been a better spot because we could have sat behind the line because they're behind it. Oh, hey, they see me coming and they're moving away. 
Look at that. Skirmishers out. Engage that battery. Battery engaged before sundown is not over here anymore. That grumpy look here scares the hell out of them. Well, I don't have the suicidal flag bearer yet. You know we're going to end up with him. already winded. Uh, still the first battle, so they're not trained up yet. Jeremy's four-year-old can heal you. <laughs> Once I had a teacher whose butt was so big, she actually got stuck in her teacher's chair. Oh, Jesus. But that stuff only happened in uh, TV shows. to that battery. They got one brigade out by them. Oh, they got another brigade. I thought they had one out by themselves. Someone made a remark about the incident she got for years. I don't, don't blame her. A teacher like that, not shitting you. Her name was Mrs. Span. At least it wasn't Spam. Boys, break that battery. Make our day much easier. See, Bremer was singing the same thing as me. that battery. Swing out this way a little more because we just lo lost sight of that brigade that's right there, but I want to engage them. Remember sure's Guns. A 
Looks like they're glitched and stuck. I'll take it. My guys are tired. Great. Should be able to hit these guys in the flank while firing at this brigade also, which will help. And they're not well armed, they're lying down, just taking it. Go first volley out. Hundred and twenty eight subs to that twenty four hour stream. Yeah. I guess I picked few more subs. Last time I looked, it was 130. Nice. That was actually right before the stream. And just a reminder, as anybody who's watching, as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a 24-hour stream for charity. Probably within a month of then that 1,000. Just gotta wait for uh, YouTube to give me the clearance to do it. Uh, we'll hold a vote on uh, which chariot it goes to. Yeah, Randy, I don't get as many viewers during the stream itself. Uh, most of the views happen after the stream. have you uh, all you hardcore alcoholics hanging out on here with me it's gonna lay down and take it. these guys are not well armed thankfully we gonna start seeing them flash and we'll try pushing closer and break them away The army needs to push up. We got a broken brigade back there. My brigade will win this battle for the army, whether they want to win or not. Now, now, call to your pilot. <laughs> Everybody's welcome here. Just say we have a viewership of addictive personalities. How's that sound? I mean, some prestige so far. Your weekend alcohol. Everybody's a weekend alcohol. As soon as you don't have work for the weekend. You 
guys are low on ammo, so we'll just recall you because you're getting ready to break. And I don't want to lose prestige to the skirmishers breaking. I'm not really gaining a lot as it is. And now they're standing up to fire on my skirmishers. Now they're moving away. That means we can have both brigades. This one still kind of has its back to us. Can I shift just a little bit more this way? See if I can't get a rear and blank fire on them and break their morale a little bit faster. That's alright, you can safely blame me, Joyce. Safely blame me. Let's call these skirmishers back in. Boys are exhausted, so they're moving like slugs right now. And the rest of our army is having a hard time just breaking these two brigades. That is not a good sign. Brand new brigade, 550 casualties, and they're still standing there. I'm kind of surprised. Get the hell in. Engage at will. I was already doing that, buddy. Turn the faces now. I'm at 36 losses. I haven't been taking fire from anybody. Huh. Uh, I probably took some overnight attrition. I didn't notice. Boys moving away from us. There we go. Now we're earning some prestige. That's the battery engaged last night. Maybe I can get my skirmishers back there to finish them off. My brigade's getting going on here. Overall change per hour, negative 2%. High fatigue, cut off from commander. Okay. That's why. I'm going to have to swing us back around towards the rest of the army.
I gotta get us back into this circle over here. Double please, gentlemen. I know you're tired, but let's go. Gotta get us back in command circle. Got our morale good. Now this brigade engages us that we're trying to move away. And we just broke, damn it. We should recover fast enough. Don't retreat through the units, don't. Right through this brigade, we're going to take more casualties due to that. I like some of them are actually shooting double hot loads. Uh, we're taking so many more casualties because of this crap. We just jumped uh, 60 casualties, 70 casualties because of that crap cheese. Plus 21, okay. We'll be back in the fight soon enough. I want to steal some out from the Union as they ran away. <laughs> The problem is, the rest of the army can't even break these two brigades. That's a new one. 850 casualties, brand new unit. They should not be standing here like this still. This brigade's untouched. have a good fighting spirit, but it's the first battle, so our morale is lower, but it should be low for, just as low for the Union as well, they're just not cracking. Alright, looks like the rest of the army might start doing something. try and bring us in over here and start causing casualties on this brigade. Back to 20%, alright. Yo, 
uh, wishes he had a brigade to get the Richmond that quick. McDowell wishes he had the brains to fight a battle and not look like a traitor while he's doing it. The damn blue Kevlar they always wear, yep. I think, funnily enough, there was body armor in the Civil War. It doesn't even really work well. There we go. We're reformed. Unstable. We'll wait till we get the stable and then push back in. We have the range, should be able to engage this brigade without them shooting back, that's allow our morale to improve. And our men are now well rested again, that helps. And it doesn't look like I lost any prestige due to that route, thank you. them to turn and fire to another brigade. Oh well, as long as they're not firing at us. Looked like the rest of the army was going to do something, but I guess not. Well, one thing I didn't mention is I did do an uninstall and I freshly reinstalled the game and made sure all the files were working good. So hopefully we didn't see those crazy numbers during this campaign like we saw in the last two. Dispatch rider. Something's happened. Yeah, that that battle was really a Dan if I do, Dan if I don't situation. I had to make that push on that fight. So if I just sat back and took the fire from those guns, it would have broken my army anyway. It's pure vanilla caffeine. Not this is unmodded. So I haven't modded anything since uh, John stopped working on the AOM mod. Oh, it looks like we're actually pushing. guys are going to start blocking my line of fire, but we'll rest here for a few while we see what the hell the army does. We'll just sit here and rest the men.
Uh, honestly, Barman, that bombardment was not as effective as I was hoping it was going to be. Well, John got burned out on because the game was making so many changes that was messing with... You know, and that happens when you mod these games and the developers make changes. You got to change it every time the uh, developers do something. So he got a little burned down on it, and I don't blame him. I just kind of wish he'd kept his channel going. Well, one of my problems with this game, Josh, and this is why they had 300 guns, is the amount of weaponry you have is really not tied into your industrial base. You just raise a new unit, and you get artillery pieces. Raise a new unit, you get mixed muskets. There's, you don't have to produce the weapons. Like the early game weapons, you don't have to produce in order to have for the troops. And that's what gives you those really weird numbers, especially with the artillery. Oh yeah, Grim, that's that's pretty... I love how they added that. It adds a whole new flavor to the game. Uh, Bremer, uh, only a few of them. Most of those batteries were still, like, under their home command units. They just had a lot of batteries there. So there was actually more batteries that were not detachments than were. We're finally pushing these two brigades in. Uh, the prison camps are not overflowing. Until the last two videos, I was releasing all the prisoners to give the uh, rebels an advantage. But now that we're in the end game, I'm no longer releasing them. I mean, that core is already bigger than I had initially planned on it being. It's still only two divisions with the three batteries and now three brigades of cavalry. It's, it's actually bigger than my initial envisioning of it. I also wasn't expecting those two Rebel Corps to be stuck up there like they are. And in fact, they came back with men and they're, they're in a supply wasteland where they are. They, they shouldn't have had the morale or the forces that they did. But then again, my unit was very low on morale due to zero supplies as I was waiting for that supply depot to finish building because they were out of supply. That was the that was the big thing in that battle why we lost is we had no supply. So my morale started pretty low. Looks like we're actually shifting to a minor victory now. McDowell's not really defending the objective outside of those two brigades. as an entire army that has not fought. Keeps 950 casualties. 1,200 casualties. 950 men left. Over 50% casualties. Brand new unit and they are standing there. In this campaign, you wish for half as many men and guns. Yeah. Oh, no, Josh. I got a few prison camps. I haven't built any, but we've captured several rebel prison camps. So I actually have plenty of prison camps. I think I got like three or four at this point. So we like the rebels have been building them. We haven't. So I'm just I've just captured their prison camps and are using those. I would have destroyed them if the game allowed it, so I wouldn't have to pay for the upkeep with them. And then built some up north, but it is what it is. But we'll just keep using them. 
If I look at it this way, at least logistically, we don't have to move them to the north. New prison camps are hulks anchored just by reef. Every time it needs empty men overboard, crabs and sharks got eaten too. We're not the British. <laughs> We're not the British. You'll take the Obama. You're switching up? <laughs> Where'd you finish the other bottle already, rainy day? Eleven hundred casualties at two thousand six percent even. Yeah, they can afford to eat the casualties, we cannot. Thanks, a British once removed. <laughs> now, even during the revolution, it was pretty mixed bag. Even more mixed bag by the time of the Civil War. I mean, you got to look at New York. I mean, New York is mostly Dutch. And uh, if you actually go, to, you don't see it in the rest of the city, but if you go to like Staten Island, where I live. There's a lot of old Dutch homes there still from around the time of the revolution and earlier that are still in use on the island. You know, Dutch colonial style homes. Very nice looking homes too. Off talk, but anyone have any big plans for the eclipse in the next week? I know I don't, because it's not really going to be... I'm going to see a partial from where I live, so I'm not going to see the whole thing. I really don't have any plans for it. breaking this brigade, please. This division commander is just hanging out between the lines there. What the hell is he doing? Damn, you are lucky, Captain, if you can. Make sure you buy the right glasses for it, though. Just doing it with some, just trying to watch it with sunglasses will hurt your eyes. We're getting closer to these skirmishers. Engage them. It's a one-time purchase. How, I mean, how often are you going to use them? But it'd be worth it. It'll definitely be worth it. Uh, no more playing doctor with the kids, Jeremy. Clips in UK working the festival. And it was raining all weekend, so you barely got to see it. Yeah. That's got to suck.
patient's medical bills got too high. <laughs> Especially all those shots I'm just giving you. I don't know how much they cost. I'm doing 11 rounds each on my men. That is not good. Why are we not firing? Should be firing at these skirmishers. There we go. Some artillery fires. So if it's laid down, we should still be able to hit those skirms. Maybe. No. I don't want to cross the road unsupported. What the hell is this brigade doing? Last drink for tonight is Oban Highland Park of Balmore. Yeah, gotta go number one on that. It's the last drink for tonight. You gotta go with the Oban. out this way again, start hitting these brigades on the flank again. Kind of liking that idea, swing out this way. Now the command circle reaches where we were earlier. It's some good stuff, Rainy. That is some good stuff. skirmishers, please, so we can start shifting. And we move back to a minor defeat. Great. 38% casualty, so they're 6%. Uh, haven't gotten any points from holding the objective. What's going on with that? We've held it long enough. Only worth one point. It's the only objective on the field. That's why we haven't gotten anything out of it yet. No, I got a bottle of it sitting over here. I just haven't opened it yet. Open the bottle I have until I have a second one. Because the one thing that surely sucks is having a good drink and running out of it. Next time I'm at the liquor store, I gotta get another one. They have it in stock. Next to no damage to these skirmishers. Silver and Miller High Life. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that strawberry smoothie with 
Vaga, that sounded really good. You know what? Forget these skirmishers. Let's start moving Up this way. We're just wasting ammo on those skirmishers. Sweet barrel cherry red wine. Mm. All I gotta do is get myself another bottle of grappa from Italy. The stuff they make here. And we're back up to exhausted after all the fun. So move down the road a little bit, wait for the men to get rested up, and then push in on the flanks of these two brigades again. That just went a little weird because I uh, went off screen for a second. Wine from here in Indiana. I was actually surprised how good it was. I'm not as big on the wine. Any oh, what the hell is going on here? Federals are pushing forward. Let's get back in line with everybody else. And I think this battle is going to defeat. This brigade should not be here anymore. 1,200 casualties, 850 men left. They should have fled the field. Looks like Mandal got the thumb out of his ass. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> That's a beautiful looking set right there. You got an extra worse you found that I'd like to order that for myself. That's nice looking. Well, thank you, Rain today. That'll help pay for one of the drinks I had last night. It got a little expensive for me. <laughs> Brigade just routed. Nice. Okay. Let's fire on this brigade now. Down may have gotten his thumb. He moved his entire army over here. What the hell is McDowell doing? Alright, boys. We're going to push in over here now. 
Put us right on the flank of this brigade as they're firing that way. Uh, extra local uh, liquor store to order it. Wine is for cooking, whiskey's for drinking. <laughs> Wine's for drinking, too. If you got a good bottle of wine, you got a good bottle of wine. Just don't get drunk on it. That is the worst drunk and worst hangover you'll ever have. I was actually telling this story last night. You guys remind me of it. Uh, last time I got drunk on red wine, and we're going years ago now. God, 17 years ago or so. I was uh, stationed in Italy with the uh, 173rd. We did a company. We did a company party at this nice little place, and uh, the beer cost money, but the wine was free. And at one point, and we're all there in our dress greens, you know, because we were still using dress greens back there before we went to the Blues. And at one point, there's a picture of me walking around with two bottles of wine, a bottle of wine in each hand, and stuff like that. I mean, it, it, it was a good night. Woke up the next day, half in and half out of my shower, still in my dress uniform, which is now ruined at this point because it was dyed red. <laughs> I had puked all the way down the front of my dress uniform, ruined all my medals, ruined the uniform itself. <laughs> and I was still, I think I woke up at like 11 a.m. with my roommate who woke me up because the shower and the toilet right next to each other. So he just like kicked me in the feet while I was, while I was relieving himself. I was like, get the fuck up, asshole. <laughs> and I was still drunk for like another three or four hours <laughs> after that. And then the hangover kicked in before I could get any uh, alcohol in my system for air or the dog. It was just bad. And there goes one of our brigades. Yeah, we're losing this. Let's stop pushing in that direction. Men are barely moving, they're too exhausted. And you can only imagine how much it cost me to replace that dress uniform. Oof. Yeah, thankfully we took all like the company and platoon photos before everybody got drunk. And thankfully this is before a time of like social media and stuff like that. So nobody, uh, so none of that stuff got spread over the internet by uh, idiot privates. endless champagne. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start pulling back. They're starting to actually flank us out over there. Actually, MySpace was the thing back then. I think the only reason Facebook won is because Facebook had that live feed in MySpace. You actually had to go to people's individual pages. Oh, McDowell is pushing. Holy crap. Two, three, four. Jack Daniels is fucking poor. Six, seven, eight. Obama. <laughs> Obama is freaking great. <laughs> There's the defeat. All right, let's keep pulling back. Nine, ten. Never drink JD again.
Tom was your first friend on MySpace. As soon as you opened your account, he became your friend. Nine, ten, eleven. I'm in fucking. <laughs> Do the MySpace servers even exist anymore, or did they just finally take them off the line? Because you had MySpace, and you also had a uh, High Five was another one. That was another big one back then too. Ah, that doesn't rhyme, Bremer. You've got mail. I actually still have an AOL account, believe it or not. It still exists. Alright, guys, let's pull back at the double. We're now over 500 casualties. We gotta pull back. Everyone betrayed him for the cyborg, yep. Well, if he if he developed the live feeds before Facebook did... It would be a different story today. Go to thirty here rhymes well enough. Mm. That's true. It is still up. Okay. I don't think I ever, like, deleted my account from that. I gotta see if I, uh... I gotta look that up. I don't know. I only use it for, uh, email. That's kind of like the email I use, like, when I sign up for stuff. Like, I know they're gonna be sending me a lot of junk, so I use that email address. I don't even look at it very well. But I don't use it for anything, like, professional. Close enough is good enough at this time in the morning, exactly. Oh, our casualties are jumping. We're out 700. Shit. Pull back, boys. Pull back. MySpace videos could have been bigger than five minutes. Could have been what YouTube is today. That's true. Howard, how we doing this evening? No burden for Feb in Arizona. <laughs> kind of wish I could do that. Oh, they're chasing us. They're chasing. If we can get behind this brigade, we should be fine. Now we're going to break. 700 casualties now. There we go. Alright, let's speed this up. By God, those are regulars, yep. They did a lot of damage. Nope, somebody just died. Beauregard has been killed in action. What? First battle of the war, we lost Beauregard. Yeah, we took double the casualties. We were ahead of them on casualties. Towards the end, we took double. Took down 2,600 of their 32,000 infantry, 10 of their 25 guns, total loss of 2,700 of 32,000 men. We lost 4,091 of our 18,227 infantry, we lost all 12 of our guns. Total loss of 4,186 of our 18,407. Yeah, I can only imagine who they're going to put in charge now. Save this real fast. Was more than 50 Army Command Generals killed. Yep. Let's take a look at how we did. Oh, we didn't change the name of the brigades. I'm not sure which brigade is ours. Ooh.
this is us right here. So we're second brigade. We only did 240 to infantry and we took almost 700 casualties. Damn. We took a beating. Have a good one, Rainy. This old Polk doesn't call in a few favorite. Uh, he's in command of one of the Western armies, thankfully. See if we let's take a look at the officers lost. So Beauregard's dead. Early's wounded. Captain Walker's wounded. So three officers on our side. I doubt we got any of theirs. And we wounded one of theirs, artillery battery commander. Does it? Oh, yeah, it does say 1st Brigade. Okay. Uh, all right. I was looking at strength numbers. That looked like what our brigade had lost. So we're, okay, we're the line below. Okay, we did 590 to infantry and 54 to artillery. Okay, that, yeah. So we still took more casualties than we dealt out. We did 653. And we weren't even the highest casualty cause or third brigade cause more casualties than we did. Hmm. Okay. Get closed out of there. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That was just my mistake. I was looking at, uh, I wasn't thinking straight on that one. I didn't look uh, above my, uh, avatar's name for the brigade name. So I went with second. I looked at second brigade because the, the numbers looked right, but it wasn't us. I keep looking at this picture of that whiskey set, and I want one myself. Damn it! Then again, I got a whiskey set I I don't even have on display anywhere because I got nowhere to put it because it's uh, actually like a the decanter is actually a shotgun on a rack with four shot glasses with shotgun shells on them. But I got nowhere to display it. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> I just had a brain fart moment. Still only on my first drink. Wait, I got defamed? What? Oh, BS. Val of Alexandria is ended with the armed Potomac retreating from the battlefield in good order. My command has earned us a stinging defeat against this vastly superior enemy being forced to give ground. Enemies reportedly suffered total casualties of 2,663 men. There are 373 killed, 48 captured. Our casualties total 4,186 men with 500 killed, 898 and missing. And we released 49 soldiers because there are no prison camps.
Bullshit. All right, it is what it is. They got to blame the foreign officer. That's what they got to do. Great Creole got bayoneted, so they had to find someone. Yeah, exactly. They they blamed the foreign officer in command of a brigade. There's no divisions in this army. Everything's a, a separate brigade. Everything's a separate brigade. Except for Junior's division, which is brand new. Oh, we're South Carolina Brigade. I thought we were Virginia Brigade. Fame's going to drop now, but my initiative and leadership are going up. Disaster at Mobile. Oh, never looked at my camp. So, we're going to put some time into drilling troops. Four hours a day should be good. Four hours of rest. Size of troops, we'll put four hours in there. Planning with staff, we'll put four hours. Four hours into logistics. I don't have any subordinates in games of politics, no. Two hours in a leisure time. I'm gonna put two hours into motivating men. Not only the foreigner, but the crazy psycho guy. That's true. Right, is it gonna let me take any actions now? There we go. Now we can start taking actions. So let's buy some stocks. Now let me take actions. Beauregard is Beauregard. <laughs> He's going to want to blast some second. Yeah, they're good. Those guys are good. Doesn't look like we're retreating at all. Hardy is now in command of the army. Great. A little insider trading never hurt nothing exactly. I mean, Bonham don't like each other. Letter to Washington Post. Mind your matters. The Highlanders get leaving D.C. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's pause this a second. We got to vote on a name for the uh, brigade. Move everything out of the way so I can get to the uh, keyboard here. Three rounds of vote, uh, four rounds of voting. We got nine names here. We're not going to wait that long. I'm going to leave the polls up two minutes each. So you guys got to get your votes in. I'll close the poll and we'll move on to the next poll.
nine votes, 16 people watching. Let's get these votes in. All right, closing this one in 30 seconds. Is closed. That's right, Rennie's uh, KO. All right, Grumpy's Dirt Merchants won that first one. Next poll is going up right now. And the timer started. That, that's going to be the name of the core when we get the core. All right, 30 seconds, I'll close the poll. All right, it's tied between the Sestroming Snipers and Grumpa's Whiskey Vikings. We need a break, uh, vote break here. Or they'll both go to the final vote. We do that too. Nine votes, 15 people watching. Let's get these votes in. This one up a few more seconds, see if we can't get a tiebreaker here. Alright, closing the poll. It's a tie between Sestroming Snipers and Grumpa's Whiskey Vikings. So both of those will be going to the final vote. here Poll starting. Alright, we can't leave this one at a tie. We're gonna have to have a clear winner because I can only put four votes up on a poll. Seven votes in. Come on, gentlemen, get your votes in. Nine votes in. Fourteen people watching. Come on, people. Vote, vote, vote.
All right, we need a tiebreaker vote. Let's go. Closing the poll in 15 seconds. And polls closed. Glorious Bastards won that one. All right, time for the final vote on the name. Grumpy's Dirt Merchants. Probably Snipers. Final poll is going up for the name of the brigade. We got a choice between Grumpy's Dirt Merchants, their Stroming Snipers, Grump Grumpa's Whiskey Vikings, and the Inglorious Bastards. Nine votes in. We got a tie running between the Dirt Merchants and the Whiskey Vikings. Glorious Barhounds, maybe a little late to throw that name into the uh, running. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds. 11 votes, 16 people watching. Let's go. Except for Rainy Day. Happy snoozes. All right, poll is closed. Looks like... Uh, Grumpa's Whiskey Vikings won with 45% of the vote. All right. There we go. I'm defamed. Oh, are oh, you still awake? <laughs> well, after this, the units will go to the uh, channel members until we run out of channel members and uh, we'll open them up to votes again. Mr. Oates, how are we doing this evening? You know, honestly, I thought Inglorious Bastards was going to win the vote on that, to be honest with you. We're probably going to be sitting still for a little bit while the army recovers. Back to passive mode. <laughs> first lost battlefield on the weekday series. Yep. First defame first battle, and I'm defamed in this one, of course. You know when it rains, it pours. Yeah, I I, I 
it wouldn't be interesting if you won every battle, but I was winning every battle in the weekday series. I'm kind of, I'm not I'm not displeased with the loss and the and the core fought very well. So I'm not displeased with that loss, to be honest with you. It was a close fight. We almost won that. That that battle was pretty close towards the end. Their units reforming is what really did me in. That and I uh I left those two brigades to play with that one brigade for way too long. I should have bypassed that brigade on the right flank. I think that was probably the biggest mistake right there, was just playing around with that brigade on the right flank. For a topper. Actually, what we should look at is what do the, does the rest of our army think about us? Hardy doesn't like us. B doesn't like us. Hill's okay with us. So is Walker. Yule hates us. Jones hates us. Longstreet hates us. Coke hates us. Chatham hates us. Evans is okay with us. Holmes hates us. Rosser. Yeah, we got all the religious officers in this army. So, Hill being okay with us, that's historically accurate. Walker, same way. Kind of same thing with Evans. It's like the three crazy guys are okay with us. Everybody else hates us. That's awesome. Yeah, it did. It fought that battle well. Now, we got to wait for a promotion. Being defamed does not help us. We're only 7% of the way. It's Brigadier. So our initiative went up pretty well after that fight. And our cunning went up. And it doesn't really look like it affected our fame. That's actually pretty good. Our fame... It's, probably, it's holding steady where it was. We'd probably be into our third star if it wasn't for being defamed. Sam Bremer has a lot of letters to write home and could well have promotion to come with the wound in action. Yeah. I was actually thinking that too during the, uh, the series. It was like we're Southern accent. I admire his red underwear. <laughs> now I'm proud of Colonel Fartendale, the kind of Miss Carl. Yeah, well, it happens. Evans wants to get some of that whiskey. Yeah, I think him more as a bourbon man. Or he's French Creole, so he's probably more of a wine man than anything. Yep, there we go with the retreat. But our readiness is just so low, we can't do anything. You 
Now, what I'm wondering is why we're not reforming our brigades into divisions. Yep. We can't control how the AI deals with those things. Thinking what's left of the Yorkshires will become U.S. Cavalry regulars and buy most of Nevada when it becomes a state in 64. It's actually not a bad idea. That would actually make an interesting letter. So you did have your boy eyeing up some of that land in Texas, to be honest with you, if I remember correctly. Next week's live will be the 16th battle of DC. <laughs> we'll see how many battles we actually get into this episode. Heart. Yeah, it's going to take 75 days for us to get the full right. I don't think Hardy has very good stats. Oh, forming another division here. Let's see who they put into it. I could take command of it right now for zero prestige, but I don't know if I'll get my brigade into it. We'll see what brigades they put in there. But I wanted to take a look at Hardy's stats. Three on fame, one on initiative, two leadership, three on administration, and two on cunning. Yeah. Texas looks beefy, but Nevada has good minds. <laughs> It looks like we're slowly reforming the army into divisions now, so that works. Poor MacArthur struck down at the height of his glory. Yeah. He got struck down before he can uh, birth a dynasty. I wish I could do that, Jeremy. Because that would be fun, having... If I can go through the officers and find everybody with the uh, psychotic trait, that'd be awesome. But I don't think these traits, you don't, you don't see them on the other officers. So you don't know what you're going to get. But if I could recruit a bunch of psychotic officers to work along with me, that'd be a fun division. That's how I feel about him, Howard. I think he was an overrated officer. I mean, you heard my reaction when I saw him take command. That's... Nah. On a broadside, I'd probably get five million towns named after him in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised our horse wasn't killed on us in that combat either. I'm very surprised. What are we working on right now? Two-year contracts. Okay. Actually, that's a good question. How? What are the contracts on my current brigade? We got nine months left. Okay. This was a twelve. This was a one-year unit. No, we didn't get wounded either, which is really surprising. We didn't fall off our saddle drunk. It's kind of an odd battle for uh, one of my avatars. Everything that could go wrong did not go wrong. And for one of my avatars, that's just weird. They're now up to 39,000 men in that core. 
They're strengthening up. Where's Army of Shenandoah going? This is a nice looking weapon. I had the option to buy one a while back, but I had to get a, a 61 instead for uh, something I was doing. Dustin, how we doing? Yeah, that's true, Josh. I did get blamed. Yeah, it does. Uh, we just fought our first battle, so you didn't miss much, and uh, we lost it. And I took the blame for the loss. Even though our brigade was the most effective one on the field, but I think our brigade breaking twice did not help. And General Beauregard was killed in action, so Hardy is now in command. Was Navy arming civilian ships? Oh yeah, that's boring duty right there. <laughs> Give it time. We didn't lose a horse, but give it time. I'm really, I'm still very surprised by that. I'm surprised I did not lose a horse. I'm surprised I wasn't wounded. I'm surprised I did not fall out of the saddle drunk. Another battle. And we're even on in numbers this time. So our morale is going to be low. Our morale is eager, really. Okay. Going up against McDowell again. Time for some vengeance. He's bringing 26,442 infantry and 24 guns to our 26,990 infantry, 327 cav, and 25 guns. And Johnston, Army of, Commander Army of Shenandoah, is in charge of this battle. Hopefully he survives. I'm doing brigades. I'm not doing the, uh, the DLC map. It, it, the DLC map just doesn't offer enough. For his timeline, 158 years, we're going to have 100 alternate history fictions about what would have happened if Beauregard survived the first battle of the war. Yeah. Oh, you know I can't, Richard. You know I can't. You know my motto, live like sickles. <laughs> Beauregard's ghost. He wants to know which they even get stole his watch. <laughs> oh, it's still early war, so they would have returned everything. You know, everybody, everybody was still respectful early war because nobody was short of any equipment. Everything would have been returned to the family. All right, Army of Shenandoah is here. We're back here. Where are the feds? 
Oh, and we're defending back here, but our core over here. Army of Shenandoah is not in a bad location, though. We got to cover everything over here. And the feds are coming down Braddock Road, so they're going to come down this way. They're going to come down this road over here. Well, we only kill oats in my uh, War Tales series. All right, let's see where they're going. I'm, I'm not going to start moving. I need to see where they're sending the core. And they're leaving us right here? This makes no sense. We ever form up that... No, we never formed that second division. They made a division command. They didn't put anybody in it. You always miss your Ghostbusters as those bastards. <laughs> now, everybody does hate me, but the army state, like, our defense locations are here and here. Wait, that one's worth zero points? What the hell is up? Yeah, that doesn't... That's worth zero points? Yeah, that's worth zero. That's... That doesn't make sense. Okay. Mad World just popped in your head. Joel, how we doing this evening? The White and Light Number Gaze Reform, we just need another alligator. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, the uh, the weekday series should be coming to a close maybe this week. Maybe. Or next week. So we got a week or two left on that series. Then I'll take a week off and while well, I figure out what I want to do with a rebel campaign. So I'm thinking about taking the northern invasion route again and retrying that. Cat point ran out of booze. Oh, no, no. You know, all the they're keeping us over here to keep us away from the woman. You know, they're not over here. They're probably over here. You know, they're over here in New Market or uh, up here in Centerville. Thing is, probably none there either. Is if I remember correctly, when they talk about Centerville, there's like five or six homes in that entire town when they talk about the place in the historical record. I'm still surprised we actually haven't ended up with a camp companion yet. See if we can spot some dust. Oh, it's raining. There's going to be no dust trails, Will, there. Thunderstorm and foggy. I'm not going to see any dust trails. Oh, there they are. Support friendly unit. Yeah, these guys are out of position. They're coming across a ford here and they're fending over here. They're coming down a different road than I thought they would. Let's move in and get us those uh, free prestige points. Take a minute to get over there. Do 
doing well. Work's kicking my butt. Working the only grocery store feeding a town of 55,000 people. What? There's only one grocery store there? Understaffed and underpaid. The American dream. Exactly. Keeping you away from the woman. Shocking. <laughs> Perfect conditions for mid-1800 battles, yep. Lack of practice leads to ADs and misfires. Yes, it does. Yeah, waterproof black powder. <laughs> Wish that existed. More firing blanks like Alec Baldwin. Just enough lead in this pencil to be dangerous. Your hometown, you hometown yet? 80,000. You didn't even have a grocery store? Really? Damn. A town that size, there should, you'd think there'd be a grocery store, even a small one. These guys aren't even turning to engage them coming across the ford. What are you boys doing? Unless you're just waiting for me to show up to save the day. I don't know. What powder? No problem. That's what the bayonet is for. True. Exactly. Yeah, we're just going to run into the box real fast, grab that free prestige, and then probably shift south towards the high ground over here. Where my mouse is. Keep one or two in case bay nets get stuck exactly. But in this rain, you never know. And actually, if any of you guys live in the Jersey area, I will be at the uh, Union Parade on March 9th for St. Paddy's Day when you guys are in the area. And doubt ask yourself what Phil Kearney would do. The answer is always a bayonet charge. That well, looks like the Shenandoah boys are finally reacting. We'll be the first brigade from our corps to arrive. Outside of the Washington Archway, which I think is over here. Yep. Well, the one for Staten Island is tomorrow. Which is a little odd, but they're holding two parades this year because of uh, political reasons. Which will keep modern politics out of what's going on on this channel. Message from the other general. He wants to move your troops over there, even though he told you to be walk here this morning. He expects this to be finished now. Wonders that your delay exactly. All right. Actually, Shenandoah is spreading out pretty nicely onto the high ground. This one brigade looks like it's breaking already. Yeah, this brigade's going to break. Like I said, we're going to march in right here, grab those points, and then come down here onto this flank.
Well, the main parade for New York City takes place, so all the surrounding areas of Manhattan do their parades either a week or two early or a week or two after. So there's like a two-week period of nothing but parades in the New York City area. It's just every major township and smaller city does it before or after New York City does. Kansas City College celebrated today. All right. Like I said, there's one tomorrow where I live. Got another one next week. I'm not doing the one where I live, though, because of all the politics. I'm just not getting involved in that shit. Exactly, Bremer. There's... Yeah, it's just like there's like two to three weeks of solid parades and parties around the New York City area. Keep going over that way, boys. Don't stop the fire. We need those free points. Come on. Brigade's going to get broken. Yeah, I tend to wait too many primers. There's just too many things going on. But Union and New York City are my two big parades. Shit, we missed the prestige points. Okay. Uh, let's hold our brigade. And we're going to swing back onto the right of this brigade. They're coming up over here. Actually, firing over these guys, really? Okay. extended range here for those Mississippis to work where they belong. I'm down here a little bit more. I want to try and work around the flank of these brigades. Cassidy's doing this, but I need to get away from these guys blocking my fire. Here we go. There's a 
good volley. These roads are muddy now because of the rain, so it's taking everybody longer to get up here. That's Longstreet. He doesn't like me, so I can't even ask him to help me. Where's Evans? Is he coming up? Evans or Hill? Oh, everybody else is marching through the woods to get here. Look at this. They are way behind. RD, what the hell have you done to the movement? Longstreet hates us, I can't even request to take over command of his unit. Dallas stopping some mud holes in this timeline, yep. I don't know about Texas uh, wildfires, I've not been following them. Watching higher level commands be so mind numbing. Yeah, it, it gets a little mind numbing sometimes. You're right about that, Rich. I saw McDowell's brand with George Thomas. Yeah. This is not McDowellish behavior. March through woods. I bet you get some magic mushrooms on the way. <laughs> Message from Longstreet says he knows five fat people and your mama is four of them. His worst. <laughs> Six inches of snow fell in Texas. I'm about to break these two brigades. That's nice. Actually, earning some experience this battle. Not a lot, though. And they're pushing on us, so let's fall back a little bit here. They're actually pushing hard. Yeah, Army shouldn't do it broke already. Let's get onto this high ground behind us. I can't remember the last time I've seen six inches of snow. New York has been like a snow drought for years now. Yeah, Boston's like New York City. It's it's kind of been a snow drought. Speaking of which, I might be in Boston on St. Paddy's Day. If I'm not too exhausted from uh, pre-gaming the parade and uh, doing the parade itself, I might hop on a train to go catch uh, Dropkick Murphy's up in Boston that night. Chernobyl and Fukushima combined. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Exactly. If I'm not too exhausted, I'm going to end up doing that. It's a five-hour train ride on the Amtrak up to Boston, so I get plenty of rest before I get there. Just a matter of if I go there, I want to find a hotel room and find a hotel in Boston for St. Patty's Day. It's like kind of too late already. Bought a new snow shovel and a big bucket. Yeah, exactly. I bought a big, two big bags of snow melt and nothing happened. And I have a new shovel from last year, which I've used once for like two or three inches of snow. Uh, flank's not exposed. Oh, yeah, it is. Shit. Good call. Good call. Yeah, remember, Bremer, the United States is a big goddamn place. Now, five hours includes several stops along the way. me, that's a normal drive just to have dinner with my family and then drive back afterwards. Not too many stops either. It's just a one big stop per state along the way. Basically, the big cities where they stop. Two Americans 100 years old and two Europeans 100 miles as far. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You guys are down to 500 men sitting there taking it like chads. Support on our left now. Texas is a big goddamn state. But so is New York. People make jokes about Texas being a big state. Like for me to go from where I am, I'm at the southernmost tip of New York State. To get up to the Canadian border, if I go to the northernmost tip of the state, it's about 9 10 hours. The Yanks have to drive what Europeans get to train or fly for. Yeah, I mean, driving is a big part of our culture. I love driving. Yeah, you guys pay for the lead or what we pay a gallon. Right, these skirmishers need to get the hell out of our way. Of course, it's Longstreet who's blocking us. Pete left blank. <laughs> Fifty year old bottle of whiskey was discovered in a random farmhouse in Kansas. I bet the Smithsonian would display it. Yeah. New York basically has two states. I 
traveling from Land's End in Cornwall to John of Goats in the north coast of Scotland is 18 to 20 hours, yeah. But you gotta drive around all those mountains. You know, Eric, you know, growing up as a kid, driving the 95 corridor from New York to Florida, like, certain times of day you would see nothing. Now so many people live along the eastern seaboard, like, 95 is just busy, no matter what time of day you're on it. Accidentally, like they do most interesting things, yeah. <laughs> That's been around for years, Dustin. It's never going to happen. On top of the state legislature having to okay, it, also, Congress would also have to okay. It. Neither one's going to happen. Like, there's also been a movement for Staten Island to separate from the city since basically joined the city. That's never going to happen. Yeah, Jeremy, that movement's been around for a very long time. Grew from El Paso to Tucson last year, which is definitely land with towns dotted around. Yep. Well, I'm doing the Lincoln Highway this summer. So I'm expecting that to be a fairly empty drive because that's all side roads from uh, the Empire State Building out to California. So I'll be doing that from start to finish before moving on to Reno for a reunion. And they surely don't want that because Long Island, like Staten Island, is uh, mostly conservative. How the hell do we lose sight of these guys? Skirmishers forward. And lay the brigade down. Oh, we see them again. Okay. Bring the skirmishers in. Oh, they didn't go out. Come on. These guys are jumping in front of us for some damn reason. What the hell? Who is this? Fifth Brigade. Who are you? Who's in charge of you boys? That's Coke. The guy with ten from Georgia El Paso, where it switched to twenty, drove to San Diego in two days. Yep. I'm expecting it to take longer than that because I'm it's side roads all the way. So I'm planning at least three to four days for the drive because I'm going to be stopping along the way to historic sites. I'm going to be recording the whole thing into a travel vlog and uh, put that on a separate channel. So it should be interesting for you guys if you're interested in stuff like that. I believe it's announced Coke. Also, only stop for breakfast and dinner. Yep, I'm gonna be stopping like every like. I'm a magpie when it comes to new, to uh, highways in the U.S. Because I don't know what, can't remember correctly if they do have them on the sides of the roads in uh, Europe or not. But uh, like in the U.S., every state's got signs on the side of the road that point out historic sites. Even if there's nothing there to tell you what happened at that location, it's pretty cool. Every time I see one of those, I pull over and look. At
McDowell is not pushing as hard now, but his troops are all exhausted now. That's good. We are leveling up nicely. What I should have done while we were waiting for orders was actually just start building breastworks to get my experience up. That's what I should have done. And the rest of the army's hiding behind us. Look at that. We are having a bit of prestige this battle, though. And we were almost out of ammo again. Down to 17 rounds per man. Well, even the roadside attractions, it's not like exactly roadside attractions, but they're actually like these steel signs on the side of the road that tell you what happened at those spots. They're usually pretty cool. Even if there's nothing there and there's homes built there nowadays, you'll see you'll see a big steel sign on the side of the road. And the shape depends on what conflict it's from. Message from Army Command, we got your backs. <laughs> I was Glorietta Pass. I gotta I gotta visit there. Oh no, 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 no. We are gonna win this battle whether the rest of my army wants to win it or not. We are not falling back to build breastworks. Thank God you got out of Texas down that area because a few hours later your timing belt broke. Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you've been in the middle of nowhere, that would have been horrible. As soon as our ammo icon goes red, we probably will fall back. We would have seen Finland and NATO joining. Finland and Sweden joined NATO 20 years ago, yeah. Some pillows with signs bolted into it. Yeah, not so much in like Italy and other nations. That's more of an English thing, I think. Driving Alaska is like driving through a nuclear wasteland. Take your word for it. I'm digging was yesterday. Today's bayonets and bullets and bots and buttstocks. Exactly. We're driving them back. We are driving them back. I think his core is too exhausted from the marching and the through muddy roads. But we're definitely going to a day three. Uh, there were two or three brigades with the same uniform color, so... This one definitely was in front of us. This one possibly, and they're about to break again. losing side of these guys. Yeah, let's fall back. Day's not over yet. It's still August, so this is going to 9 p.m. But we are running low on ammo, and we keep losing side of these guys. All right, Jeremy, happy hangovers. We have these guys arranged, so as soon as we pull them back a little far, we're surprised to start building the breastworks here and see if our army moves up onto them. This, this brigade keeps pushing forward. Coke is being aggressive. Oh, he gave us sightings again.
Just got <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they use the uh, the battle. They use a 7.62 battle rifle, don't they? We can build these and still fire. Yeah, but if we build these breastworks, they may just move forward. They just may. Now everybody hates me. Three of them are okay with me. While those guys are digging, we can start getting some shots in again. We can upgrade trenches. We can't dig trenches. We can dig breastworks. But if you do trenches on the opening, you can upgrade those. Yeah, so like at the beginning of battle, when you have engineer points available to you and you build entrenchments, you can upgrade those. You cannot build them during a fight. You build breastworks, but not entrenchments. And you can't you can't upgrade the breastworks, sadly. Be nice if you could. Coke's actually fighting, so I don't want to leave him unsupported. You don't think any army do so great at trench warfare and no air superiority. <laughs> yeah, there is a war with an example of that. So we can earn experience points two ways. Keep firing and have these guys building. Our points should jump up pretty fast doing that. It's only 1730 in game, so we got a few hours left. And Coke just broke. But we should be out of range of these guys. As we're on high ground with longer range musket station and fire back at us. And we're losing sight of them. Keep firing at this. Oh, that's a detachment. It's just a waste of ammo. But we can keep firing at them. Are they going to start pushing forward now? You know, I'm kind of glad I retired from the army because watching what they're doing with drones right now in Ukraine and out in the uh, Barbell Mendeb in the Red Sea, that shit's scary. I am glad I'm retired at this point. Why are we not firing? Nope. Keep digging, boys. I just shifted brigade's face and keep digging. Why are we stuck in a load of animation? Shit, yeah, let's fall back. We're stuck in a load of animation. Fall back. Fall back. We're stuck in a load of animation. We're not firing. Double time, boys. Let's go. I get recalled soon as a drill instructor. I'm doubtful that. Probably as a recruiter. 
the Air Force has already started recalling people or voluntarily recalling retirees. Problem with it is nobody wants to take them up on that offer because of the way they're doing it. Even if you get recalled, it doesn't count towards your time. So if you like you retired with 18 years and you expect the recall to give you those two years to make the 20 for the better pension, it's not going to count towards that. So nobody wants to take them up on the offer. They, they're not they're not making a good offer to get the retirees to come back. Yeah, let's go to X5. I think I'm going to slide in over here on this flank. Oh, let's start building more breastworks. Let's see if they join in and help us. We can bottle the feds in here even better. Yeah, but it's not counting towards their time. That's the problem, Dustin. It's not going to count towards their years. So it, it, it doesn't... It, it, yeah, the money's a great offer, but if it doesn't count towards the years that they already served, no one wants to take them up on that. Your recall does start. No, it does not. It does not. And when retirees get recalled, it's generally to take on rear position jobs anyway, like recruiting, administrative work. Message from the other brigade commanders. Rest works look good. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Still got your back. <laughs> Who's pushing forward now? Theophilus Holmes is actually pushing forward. I'll never go the PMC route. I mean, the money's good, but you got no support. Something happens, you're just fucked. You got no medical support, no retirement. There's nothing there for you. Old to get recalled. <laughs> and two power privilege get recalled and too old and fat. <laughs> and too old. Okay, I thought that was fat. My bad. Kind of got this little icon in the corner here that kind of blocks out what the first line of the chat is. Actually, let me pop that out and see if that removes that. Okay, that fixed it. Okay. That did fix it. The rest of your armies starting to move forward, it looks like. I don't know. Let's drop this down to times one so we don't screw over the AI. Chatham's pushed forward now. But he's got two brigades firing at him. That's not good. And we've shifted to a minor victory. I were 20 years in 2008 working in a grocery store. Please recall me. It sounds better than working retail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, because I'm actually a longshoreman by trade, I don't know if they could actually recall me because of the job I do. Knackered, not useless, exactly. Honestly, if they ever recalled me, I'd have to go back to my old unit where everybody knows me because no one else would accept me. Uh, yeah, that's a docker grammar. I, I know there's different names for it in every country. Things get bad, no matter how old, fat, or disabled. Exactly. You know, but in, in the U.S., they'll do a recall on retirees and veterans before they ever do a draft again. Too busy raising three kids to go back into a submarine. <laughs> I don't know, going into a submarine against raising three kids, it sounds like a vacation. Now we're shifting back into a minor defeat. This is kind of going, we're right on the border of minor defeat, minor victory. Though we've taken more casualties than the Federals. still at home. Ellis is 23 and prime for conscription. <laughs> yeah. Only 10. Got a long time. Twin girls. Oh, dear lord. I remember I was talking to this gentleman in uh, Iraq. God, this good. <laughs> Shit, I can't believe I have Iraq stories. This is 2003, so 20 years ago. And the guy had six daughters. I felt so bad for him. How the fuck do you manage that? <laughs> Because uh, of the way the army of Shenandoah was set up. They, they were the ones who took most of the casualties. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I met this man with six daughters. I'm like, fuck no. Send me anywhere but at anywhere but the home. Yeah, so they weren't all at the house at the same time, though. I haven't seen that meme. I haven't seen that meme. <laughs> but yeah, I can see them trying to do that. Fifteen, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty. Damn, you got started young. Uh, with the sprites, it maybe. Really haven't paid attention to that. I 
one guy you work with has a thing from his therapist where he's allowed to have extra breaks in a safe place? Are you fucking kidding me? I wouldn't even hire a motherfucker like that. You need a safe place, go find a whiskey bottle in a corner. This girl one of the worst pregnancy records in England back in the 90s. Jesus. <laughs> Our, our core has to stop doing stupid shit like this right now. And we're almost to our first perk. And these guys are marching. There's somebody over here. We can't see a dust trail, but you can hear the band. Finish that little corner and move on to the rest, boys. We got Mississippi rifles, so we're definitely going with sharpshooter perk. No, it shouldn't have been allowed in the first place. Uh, no, we're not going to go into the because we're using Mississippis. This thing actually has pretty bad melee. So that's not a good idea. I'm thinking when I when I do finally get a core, I'm going to make one division like strictly a melee division. You know, let the rifles do their work and then send the melee division in right afterwards to mop up is what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking only... One cavalry brigade for the core. And because I know Grim wants it. He wants his wolf riders. <laughs> but uh we'll do two divisions of rifles and one division that's close combat. Here's the end of the day. This is definitely hard to hire someone. We got people that want to get hired in the normal world and an 86 year old in my department. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell did they send us? What the hell is up with this placement? What the? Fuck. I right, move back forward, get these breastworks built. Problem is where the feds and they redeployed across the river. All right, we're just going to finish building. The, oh, we just got to build one more to get our perk. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to do a whole division of strictly melee operatives. So. I want three I want two divisions of sharpshooters to lay down casualties and break units. And then one division of close combat experts. So a little bit of a change up from how I normally do. We got worse to support a friendly unit down here. Okay. There's our perk. Sharpshooters. All right, boys, stop building. So it looks like they're coming back to this fort. What the hell's with their movement right now? You know what? For as slow as he moves, he's probably one of your hardest workers, too. Holy shit, they are over here. I 
It'll take us a while to get over this way. Nothing beats growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. After that, it's all fucking downhill. And it looks like we took some overnight attrition. How many men did we lose on the overnight? We had five men run away overnight. Okay. He has more dudes, Spice Girls, and girl power. <laughs> <laughs> Let's want to have as much fun as the lads and taking the consequences. Yep. I mean, we all talk shit about the modern generations, but we were pretty goddamn bad ourselves. A lot worse than they are. Early aughts weren't even that bad. I'll start going to hell in the handbasket in 2008. Yep. Like I said, Joel, he's probably the, he's probably the best worker that you got with you. Oh, they are separated. We can. This is interesting. If I had command of a division, this would be very interesting. If I commanded the army, I'd be driving it right into here to separate these two forces. Theophilus Holmes, okay. You get beat up, I don't care. Let's get that free prestige, get in the box. There we go. We're pushing skirmishers forward, so let's engage them. Moved back to a minor victory by a safe margin. They're going back across the river. Okay, let's ignore them. And we're not going to get immediately range of these guys to get some extra uh, casualties there. That sucks. Should break skirmishers away to watch this for. Why does it not let me break skirmishers off? That, there's always one button that glitches out, and it's got to be the skirmisher button. You guys just opened them up. Flank fire. Nice. Gage at will. I was already doing that. Taking 
some fire from that artillery, but I'm not too worried about it. We're outside of canister range, thankfully. We actually got a, almost a full reload of ammunition. That's nice. We do some damage today. back here or there's just a brigade hanging out yeah still got brigades coming up everybody in the fire van there we go We got a good resupply, amazingly. Doesn't sound as good after the first opening. That first opening always has that nice pop to it. That skirmish is running. Go get these boys. I want them out of the way. I don't need them on the flag. On this brigade, please get back to long range. I'm gonna get us a little too close to that artillery. Shit. There we go. And we got cover, even better. Lay down. Yeah, everybody's not supposed to get hammered by snow is getting hammered by snow. Everybody's supposed to get snow is not getting it. The California's been getting hammered for weeks. It is bad over there right now. I can't think of another state more deserving of it. us. Jones, you hate us. Long Street, you hate us. Where the hell did the army go? What the fuck happened? Holy sh... Okay, we gotta start pulling back. We're the only people out here right now. Turn around. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's because I wasn't looking at it this way. I didn't see what the fuck was happening. Wasn't weather next week is a lot of rain and lots of it. Temps and high fours. We've had 60 degree temps in New York. Friggin' weird. Absolutely hammered. If one of these brigades was okay with me, I'd flip a coin and bring them in on the flank to support us, but they all hate us. So they're not going to help at all. up a bit as dawn approaches. Usually it gets colder before dawn. Hmm. Yeah, right now it's almost 50 degrees where I am. Friggin' t-shirt weather. We're in command range this time, but ugh. we're taking a lot of casualties really fast. Is there a message from the new lieutenant? He says there's Yanks over there. The XP can be specific. He said all of them. <laughs> this is why you keep suggesting, don't. Choose to be a psychopath, Keith. Ah. It goes against my natural tendencies not to be a psychopath, Keith. Sixty shorts on, seventy is shirt off, eighties hiding the bedroom behind no nah, hiding the bedroom behind blackout curtains more like the ninety plus for me. These guys are firing on me now, good. I'll draw some pressure off the bus. Nine degrees is birthday suit lane cold bathled. That that's how my husky feels about 90 degree weather. I take him out for a five minute walk, and then he jumps in the bathtub and waits for me to turn the cold water on. <laughs> Run out of men for the contract expire. Yep. All right, they're turning to face us. Shit. They're still taking flank and fire from this. Oh, we got two brigades. All right, keep backing up, boys. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. So we're leveling our sharpshooter perk nicely. And we're gonna lose this battle too. We're already. Well, into the side of the Federals. Yeah, we're at 6,300 casualties here, 5,500. We're not met on the short contracts, so you get replaced with some longer contracts. <laughs> Look on the brighter side of hell. <laughs> These guys got better weapons now. They got the same range. The Mississippi's. And we're running out of ammunition. We're down to 13 rounds of man. This brigade's chasing us. And we just routed. God damn it. Rest nice and cold in the cells, yeah. They do they do keep those temperatures low to keep the uh, diseases from spreading, actually. Learn that the hard way. Or the fun way, whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> I 
that somebody topped out at 122 degrees Fahrenheit for three days. Fuck. The pavement must have been melting. The year before, you had one day, one day 130. God damn. Alright, we're retreating to the Corps, Commander. Four thousand casualties out of ten thousand men. Yeah, this core is going to break soon. Oof, what did I do this time, way? Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, most of my airs in the feet. We just totally broke. All right. And our unit's broken, so we can't do a pullback to speed this up. I'm trying to think the hottest I ever experienced is probably around 120 or so when I was in Iraq. Hopefully they don't blame me a second time around for the defeat. Watch, they're going to try and do it. Gained a good bit of prestige out of this, though. Got 171 prestige out of the battle. That's not bad for a brigade. Well, 6,438 of our 26,927 infantry. None of our cavalry. 26 of our guns. Total loss of 6,730 of 27,680 men. The feds lost 5,500 or 27,000 infantry. None of their cavalry. 15 of 25 guns. Total loss of 6,000 and 27,000 men. Gassy numbers aren't too bad. Well, that's about 30% of all men on the field. That's a pretty bloody battle for this early in the war. At a 132 day? Fuck that. Right, let's take a look at the paperwork. All right, we did 1,199. The Federal Infantry did four to artillery for total 1,203. That's actually not too bad for our... Our brigade's the most highest casualty cause are in the field by a long shot. All right, did we lose any officers? Johnston's wounded. Too bad Hardy wasn't. None of the officers from our brigade... And the officers from the other. They actually have divisions. Or just one division, at least like us. Get any of the federal officers. McDowell's gonna become famous this war. This is fucking weird. You got Pope. Killed Blanker. Okay. And wounded McGinnis. So we wounded two and killed one. That's actually not too bad. Let's get closed out of here. One of your friends lives in Mesa. His AC broke last summer during the heat wave. Ended up staying in a crappy motel for two days until the repairman came. Yep, I don't blame him. Well, I mean, Bremer, look at where you live. <laughs> I mean, you really don't need uh, air conditioning for too much of the year. Time Traveler kills it. Yep. I mean, you don't exactly have long enough heat periods to really need air conditioning. And your homes are thick enough where if it's cool inside and you have the lights off, you should be fine. Try driving through Death Valley in the summer when it's 126. Yep. I mean, the closest I've been to that is uh, Fort Irwin, California during the summer, driving the old military vehicles that had no AC in them. Sooner live in Greenland than Arizona, exactly.
I mean, a lot of people retire to Arizona because it's hot, but it's a dry heat. It's not humid. McDowell got into Grant's whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to become famous this war. This is odd. This is odd. We're up to 431 prestige. It's not too shabby. Now, if we actually started forming divisions, I'd probably be able to take one right off the bat if they didn't actually offer it to me. Yeah, we started forming another division, but they didn't put anybody into it. And I think this one's freshly recruited. Yeah, there's, these guys are still on their way. These guys have not even reached the army yet, except for the battery. There's an idea for the Greenland Huskies. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong, Rich. You're not wrong. Oven is dry heat, too. You know, I'm kind of pissed off, though. I was, like, I was planning on buying my mom uh, one of those new air fryer things, and she just got a new oven, and there's an air fryer built into it. I was like, shit, there goes my gift idea. Iceland myself. Weather down here is weird. It's hot and dry, but humid, so you sweat and get dust blowing all over you, so you get super grimy after work. Yeah. Huskies carry whaling harpoons. <laughs> it's six months in Iceland. I had a surprising good time there. Yeah. And there's another eruption in Iceland again? Okay. Actually, I stopped keeping track of that last one. Did that town survive? Or is it a total loss? I stopped keeping track of it. And the Federals are now south of us. Department of Pennsylvania. Survived kind of, but... It's not really salvageable. If I remember, if I remember looking at the videos, it didn't look like it was worth uh, trying to save it. Now it's time for the waiting game again. Still there, but wouldn't go back. Yeah, I mean, the photos I saw didn't look too good. Especially with all the ground cracking up the way it did. Pound of Leeds Channel lives a few miles away. Keflavik and keeps you informed. Okay. I do have to visit there one of these years. I really do. You know, it's one of those because it's not too far away. It's one of those places I'm like, I gotta keep I gotta visit, I gotta visit, and I never get the chance to go. Grindavik, that's the name of it. Thank you. We're sitting in place building a depot.
and Bonham took over the army of Shenandoah. Am I still defamed? No, I'm not. That's gone away already. Good. Our initiative is now working into its fourth star. Leadership is fully three. Cunningham really hasn't gone up yet. Okay. And we haven't moved up. And we moved up one position on the fame rankings. We're still working on the buy stocks action, right? Yeah. Another 30 days for that to finish? Jeez. Uh, whenever I get tired, Dustin. Probably two, probably another two and a half hours or so, maybe. They're thinking about cutting this one at 2 a.m. Start a Union career, just finished the first battle, first division armed Potomac, 8,100 men, just tried to assault Winchester and 26,000 rebels. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's off to a good start, just like ours is. I'm a catch and release fisher, so I just I kind of just like to sit there uh, with my alcohol. Whatever I catch, I'll measure weight and toss back in. Because honestly, I don't, I'm, I'm not a fan of seafood. I'm not big on it. But I like fishing. It's just another excuse to drink. Exactly, Bremen. That's what you want. Away from everybody and just sit there and chill. Hey, Cup. How we doing? Just finishing up a stream of your own. Uh, I didn't check. I got on here kind of last minute. I just kind of jumped on without looking around first. seen those crazy numbers this time around it looks like all right you did two tonight and you guessed it. What the hell? <laughs> you did three streams? Holy crap. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm practicing for that 24-hour stream. I keep promising everybody. As soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm doing that 24-hour stream. Once again, if you, just, if you guys are just joining us, if you haven't been here since the beginning, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a 24-hour charity live stream. And we'll hold a vote on which charity that money will go to. Prior to the stream, because I can get that all set up before the stream happens. He's doing a pretty good Sherman impression right now, to be honest with you, Caffeine. Going two beers over 14 hours isn't too bad. Not at all. That's pretty good, actually. Charity might end up going for Grumpy's new liver after a 24 hour stream. <laughs> I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't drink for the first half of it. To be honest, I probably wouldn't drink for at least the first 12. The back half, that's going to be a different story. If I did something, if I... 
we get to that thousand, I do it. I'm thinking about doing a 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. run. Still type stand. <laughs> Fish less two get shot out for an empty fridge. Or I don't know if you have like DoorDash or anything over there. You know, get DoorDash to send you a fresh case and put that in the fridge instead. You know, hide the evidence. Well, you're not misspelling anything, Bremer, so unless you're retyping like three times. <laughs> Too bad I can't see their readiness. They're up to 22,000 men now. Jeez. an Irish court first half to stream the last three of it. <laughs> more than likely more than likely definitely been drinking some coffee in the first part of it speaking of which I gotta top my mug off now too just about Half a bottle down. I'm switching between coffee and whiskey right now. We're almost half a bottle down on the whiskey. Coming in by a recent defeat in Char Charleston. Oh, out west. Okay. I see Charleston. I might think the Carolinas. All right. I'm not seeing much on the map out here. Complaining about bad supply state. Yeah, there's nothing I could do about that. I'm a brigade commander. And we still don't have our first companion yet either. I'm a little surprised by that. The numbers are increasing. The Federals have 95,000. The field we have 64,000. Hundred and five days to full readiness? What the hell is Hardy's stats looking like? Oh, forming another division over here of fresh troops. So they're not gonna form a division to take in the existing brigades, okay. Let's take a look at Hardy's stats right here. No, he's got he's actually got better administration than Beauregard had, so we shouldn't be taking 105 days to get our readiness back up. Hmm. Twenty percent of the way to the next rank. I just realized I opened my oldest bottle of the Fighting 69th. Kind of wish I had, because this is from the year it came out. Damn it. Would have preferred to save this one. Oh well.
Yeah, I grabbed the wrong bottle. I didn't realize it. Yeah, it's lost its value because I already popped it. Oh, well. <laughs> if I could if I could reach into the screen and pass you guys all a shot, I would. Well, I opened well, I opened this bottle at the start of the stream before I even started drinking anything. I didn't realize which bottle I grabbed. Oh no, never. Never. That was never gonna happen. It was just probably get buried with me, but that's not gonna happen now. <laughs> God damn it. Bottoms up and hoorah to 69th. Exactly. Hey, uh, Jeremy, you still on? You never told, you never said where your wife got that drinking set from. I want to order that. Here we get that visual glitch going on. There it goes. Back at the orange. 98 days to full readiness, huh? I don't want to spend my prestige, because as soon as a division becomes available, I'm taking it. If they move our brigade into a division, I'm taking that division over. Ramshaw, how we doing this evening? <laughs> it's always shots around here. But we do have to develop a drinking game for this pers for this campaign. We haven't done that yet. We got to figure out what it's going to be. Word travels. While being outraged is nothing special to you, your ignorance towards religion has not gone unnoticed. Most officers of your unit are religious people and very unhappy about your way of living. This causes further friction between you and them. Yep, yeah, I know. Everybody else in the army hates me. I already know. Hardy hates me. B hates me. Reigns hates me. Clark hates me. Hill is still okay with me. Walker's okay with me. Polanak hates me. Cooper hates me. Johnson hates me. Govan hates me. Buell hates me. Jones hates me. Longstreet hates me. Coke hates me. Chatham hates me. You would think at least Theophilus Holmes would like me, but he doesn't. He hates me, too. And Archer's okay with me. All right. Everybody hates me. I'm happy with that. As long as you guys like me. Action accomplished. You've bought some stocks now. First a little, then some more. Then you start following the stock markets more carefully, and after that, you cannot but read the economy section of the local newspaper. You're hooked. Maybe at least in the long run. It seems to be paying off. Perfect. Get ourselves another action going. Grandpa's religion is whiskey and liberal ladies at a night. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a new religion. We're going to call it Bar Rooms and Brothels. Grumpy was a football team. He'd be Leeds United. Everyone hates us.
Everyone hates Grumpy premiering 8 p.m. at the History Channel. <laughs> I'd be the Dallas Cowboys, yeah. <laughs> Real football over at soccer, you colonials. <laughs> Let's take a look at other actions. Uh, I can only do... I can throw a party for $200. Increase my prestige. $200 for 250 prestige. Why not? There's nothing else I can do. That's the only thing I can do right now. So I'll take it. I do play CK3, and uh, actually, that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> if there was not, if I could make a mod for that, like making a religion about alcohol and brothels, I'd do that. American football is real football. Eh, eh. Honestly, I prefer rugby of everything. To be honest with you guys, I prefer rugby. And if paintball was actually a real sport, I'd be into that too. Action accomplished. Your party was a great success. You have earned a lot of personal prestige along the way. The wine was good, and so was the whiskey. The whiskey was even better than the wine, damn it. Not getting into this argument. No, you don't. You save a lot of money by not doing. Wait, we lost Richmond? What the fuck? Who the hell's down there? Department of Pennsylvania made it to Richmond. And the army going to intercept has fallen back. Readiness is still only armed. If we go into the yellow readiness, I'll send I'll spend prestige to set. Oh, we're moving down there anyway. Perfect. I don't have to spend any prestige. Favorite CK3 religion to change is Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You could do some weird shit in that game. You could do some weird stuff. Not as weird as CK2, though. Oh, we're fighting Scott. Alright, find Department of Pennsylvania under command of Winfield Scott. He's got 14,885 infantry and 16 guns against our 20,929 infantry, 961 cavalry, and 18 guns. Watch 
party throw this battle away. Scott took the Richmond like it was Mexico City. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he just marched around my army like while we were recovering, just moved south. I mean, perfect way to do it. No, he has nobody in support range of him. You know, I'm going to I'm going to step in and say something on this conversation real fast here. The best part about European football is the after game riots. That's the best part. Our spies are hitting away. You don't have to worry. <laughs> you lead some. One of these days, leads will take the lead. One of these days. We're drinking pub fights over bad. Yep. <laughs> I got caught in a hooligan fight one time when I was in England. Don't want to relive that. It was fun, but I don't want to relive it ever again. <laughs> Gaines Mill map. Okay. Or the basically the Cold Harbor map, but we're attacking Gaines Mill. All right. Interesting. I'm not used to coming onto the map from this direction. This is... Okay, nice little change. We'll start moving our brigade towards Bethesda Church. So you guys can agree on the same thing. The best part of both those towns is a rear view mirror view of it. McDowell can kick Johnson's ass. I don't feel confident in Hardy's chances against Scott. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, watch him throw this battle away. We're out in the woods. So it's going to take us a minute to get to the road. And we start nervous. We can raise up to 100%, though. That's good. And we're now below 2,000 men. Our contracts aren't up yet, but as soon as our contracts come up, i got to send the brigade home to recruit. Oh, you got it. Oh my God, you guys are in agreement on something? Really? Show a little kindness in Nottingham. I may have some viewers from there. I don't know if I do or not, but I might.
and they are right here. Interesting. Interesting choice of defense point. What does this road network look like over here? It kind of ends at dead ends. All right, let's march around the Telegraph Road. Go in there, get the free prestige, and then come up in the rear of the Federals. And our morale is dropping because we're out of command range. And we're our forces are literally marching around the <laughs> Union lines. <laughs> we're literally marching around them. Hell, I should have taken this road. We're just going around everybody. Rich, you got to remember, everybody across the pond from Europe is a yank. Well, I took this road because I thought they might extend out this way, but they don't. We're literally, look at this, we're literally just marching around their entire flank and they are not reacting. This is... Hardy might get a victory out of default because of this. <laughs> Look, they're just standing there mar watching the entire army march by them. Oh, the guns are just turning now. They just turned to face. Got to turn the map around again now. Now will Scott come out to attack us? I don't think he will. Probably taking a G to our pubs, exactly. <laughs> well, we did march past Cold Harbor, and Cold Harbor is actually a pub. Or is or is basically a, a place to lay your head down and Grab a drink. Oh, they are coming south now. We're going to set us up. That'll be right here. Moving to this woodlot right here and get us some long range shots in. We already got the prestige for moving into the box, so. Actually, can we get this? You know what? I never checked this. Can I get more prestige by moving back in again? Can I exploit this? I've never tried. 
Nope, can't exploit that. All right. Oh, you live in Cold Harbor, Ramshaw? I'm building one set of breastworks and everybody's falling in on it. Look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> Everybody's like coalesced around me now. What the absolute hell? All right, let's get out of this mess. I built breastworks and everybody jumps in on it. Where you lay your head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Though I do like the cold arbor area. That's a very nice spot. Right there. To this flank, if we can, please. It's October, it's 1740. Day's probably going to be ending fairly soon. There's General Grumpy standing like a stone wolf rally behind no regions. Exactly. So they weren't rallying behind us, they were rallying behind our breastworks and getting in our way. Guys are moving to where I want to go. Norwegians carry battle axes for CQB. Highlanders carry Lekabar axes and claymores. <laughs> These guys are moving into the position I want to go to. We're going to have a brigade over here. We'll go that way. way to get the rest of the army to do what you want is build breastworks. <laughs> exactly. But it didn't work in the last battle. I built all those breastworks and nobody moved in on them. Swing out right. That is exactly the plan right now. Though now these guys are moving to where I wanted to swing out to. Artie's actually sending troops where I want to go. That's I'm not used to this. Put a red light on the breastworks. <laughs> that only attracted my men there. I don't know these two batteries. Those that don't get served be raging for a fight, exactly. 
<laughs> I don't think we're gonna be earning too much prestige this battle. The way things are looking. Double time, boys. Don't miss the fighting. Get some shots in before the night closes in on us. are not facing my brigade, so we're not taking those canister hits this brigade is. Nope, oh, somebody's facing us now. We're taking flank fire. Here we go. Rip those boys down. Let's lay down while we're at it so we don't take those canister hits. What are you guys doing? Okay, you're not moving in front of us. Okay. I thought Chatham was going to move in front of us for a second there. No, we're not going to charge it. We're going to sharpshoot. My brigade's made a sharpshooter, so we're going to just fire them down. And then move on this brigade back here. But it looks like they're coming towards us anyway. There's another brigade moving out to our right. Yeah, but I don't want to charge these two batteries because you got these three brigades coming up in support. So I don't want to charge into them. Already laid the men down, Bremer. So we're not taking any casualties from the artillery right now, thankfully. They're firing us, but not doing any damage. battery plus 10 prestige. The other one's about to break also. There we go, but we didn't get the prestige from it. Okay. Sometimes you don't get the prestige you're supposed to get. It's a little annoying sometimes. Face up and face that brigade. And the skirmishers are going to block them from shooting at us. It's even better. We're going to waste ammo on the skirmishers, but at least that entire brigade's not firing at us. And we're going to have shots just go through and hit them. in already. Who's in command of that brigade? Hamilton. They are coming right in at us. Huh. Oh, now they stopped. Right, lay down, boys. Let's 
out of damage. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of the right flank. I'm a little worried about it. Though, so, uh, we're moved well into a minor victory now, so... One or two more of these brigades break, we should be good. I'm actually doing a lot of damage to this brigade right here. Anything else taking fire from this flank from these two brigades? Come on, break, boys, break. Gotta turn and face this brigade. I actually probably fall back on them a little bit because they're in cover. And I'm not. We are leveling nicely. We are doing a bit of damage. We're not taking any casualties in return, so that's not affecting our uh, prestige, our uh, experience gain. There they go. Turn to face this brigade, please. These guys got rifles, they're in range of us. Let's fall back a little bit. Put our max range to use. about 250,000 men it took forever <laughs> the last stream I did on this we had battles so huge I had to reduce the size of all the units on the field to regimental size because the game kept crashing trying to get into it I think there was something like three or four hundred thousand men on the field from both sides in those battles and I couldn't load the game in because it was too big Oh, shit. Detachment from Longstreet. Okay. That battle was a goddamn slog. But there were just some weird... That campaign had a lot of weird numbers in it. Like I said, I did a crush install of the game for this campaign, so we'll see. I didn't want to see that those weird numbers again. Alright, where'd they send us? Put me over here now. Okay, that's perfectly fine. I'll move on to the flank of these two brigades. I think Scott should have retreated overnight, but he didn't. But we're at 1,200 casualties, 1,900. We're taking a, a lot of casualties. What a size battle it is.
94 casualties. Looks like we had like eight guys run away overnight. Yeah, we should be able to rear out the rest of the Federal Army from our position once these brigades are out of our front. off please gentlemen get the face and this laid down the brigade stopped firing for a second there This one in the flank. I'm about to flank and rear them out. This one keeps pulling back. I'm going to push forward behind this brigade. Nope, they're moving too. Okay, there goes that plan. Edge of the firing line. Stand up, my boys. Stand up. at the same time if we can, please. Rise up, lads. It's your time to see them off our land. Exactly. Didn't get a full resupply on the ammo this time, though. And they both broke at the same time. Advance, my boys, advance. Time to see off the last of these Yanks. We're a two star brigade. The rest of these brigades are not really leveling at all. faster than that, thank you. Scott has definitely got to get the fame after this fight. But watch a junior officer take the blame. Because it is Scott.
the hell is our army doing? Uh, you know what? We are on the defensive, so yeah, makes sense. Let's go off that battery and then turn on this brigade over here. That is a detachment, it'll probably not break. You find seeing an old confed on a donkey running across the battlefield saying, Yeah, <laughs> you just come from old Cole Harbor. <laughs> Let's turn on these brigades now. We should have nah, not really a hide advantage. Oh, hey, someone's coming up to support us. Who is this? Yule. Don't move in front of my firing line, damn it. Give that donkey a medal. <laughs> Who do you mean, Scott? That donkey? And I'm moving right in front of me. Are you kidding me? You're trying to steal my glory. That's what that is. These guys are actually advancing. Right now, we're at fourteen hundred to twenty-four hundred. Okay, it's gotten a little better. Come on, boys! Double time position. Don't let them steal our glory from us. Just figures practical go up the hill. Yep. He figured it was practical to steal my glory, is what he thought. Not allowing it. Down to 30 rounds per man. I'm gonna run out of ammo fast again. Got over 90 prestige from this battle so far. Not too bad. 16 watching. Hope all have hit the likes or there will be no admission to the hospitality tents. <laughs> well, we don't have a hospitality tent yet in this uh, campaign. We still need the liberal lady to join our group. So I haven't even gotten a, a single companion. I'm a little surprised. Usually at brigades you get one, you get a second one at division, and a third at core. We have not gotten a single one yet. I'm 
I'm surprised we actually haven't gotten a committee investigator yet. We always get a committee investigator sent to us. Somebody's command staff over there. Who is that? Third Division, Department of Pennsylvania. Who is that? Stone, and he's wounded, so we wounded Stone. I smoke too much when I'm drinking. They turned their flank to us for some reason. I'll take it. Uh, you actually do take friendly fire in the game. It's just not really like prevalent, but you do take it. But like this is also realistic like you see a friendly group marching in front of you you're not going to keep firing so they're just blocking our line of fire so we're just going to stop firing that's realistic oh there's a brigade over here we'll get them in range. Where's friendly fires from uh, forgetting to turn off bombardment? Yeah. Not even pursuing, just attacking into it and you forget to turn it off. I've done that a few times. This if Hardy would actually push, this battle would be over. So they're relying on me and you'll follow me trying to steal my... Like, he's not even engaging yet. He's Watch, this breed's going to start breaking and then he's going to try and push it and take the glory. Watch. I got suckered. Feds retreat out of the barbarian area and your infantry group getting following them. Oof. Yeah, that could have not been pretty. Oh, this brigade's doing it, but it's free prestige taking them down. They haven't even turned to face us yet. We're now. More than three quarters of the way to uh, perk level two. This brigade will probably level us up. Nice. 20 pounder and 230 pounder. Yep. <laughs> what are you following my core setup plans now? And again, I do two tens, a twenty, and a thirty is how I usually do it, so. Yeah, 
Come on, boys. Get oh, we're down to 13 rounds of ammo per man already? Shit. Hopefully we get the level 2 perk before we run out of ammunition. Bring on the big guns, exactly. In actuality, you really wouldn't have 30s in a combat zone. 20s, yes. 30s, no. They're more of a siege gun. Those things are fucking humongous. They're not easy to move. The 20s at the time period are probably the biggest gun you could practically move on the battlefield strategically or tactically. 30s are more of a strategic weapon, 20s are more tactical. Come on, boys, finish this brigade off so we can move on the rest of them. Yeah, I prefer Napoleons for the frontline batteries, to be honest with you. There they go. They're moving away now. Let's pursue. I'm going to drag the rest of the army to glory, whether it likes it or not. Because they're not going to attack us. We'll sit here another day with nothing happening. We don't keep pushing. Come on, Hardy, send the army forward. Let's go. This battle should be over already. Let's speed this up. Move forward and engage. The men are tiring, but that's okay. We're doing all the work here. Expected. Alright, hit that detachment. Bonaparte would approve. Young Bonaparte would approve. Old Bonaparte, not so much. Towards the later years, it became like everybody else. Just send the men forward without like any plan of action. Break that detachment, and then we'll keep pushing forward. Down to eight rounds per man. We're going to be firing a lot slower now. Then you mean old blood and guts would approve? <laughs> 
I mean, that one campaign, everybody's called me blood and guts, but you got to think, I had the least amount of casualties of anybody in that entire war. Alright, there they go. I'm going to re-engage this brigade and see if we can't see them off. Oh, they see us coming. They're moving away again. Are you on this flank? No, there's nobody there. Okay, they're all down here in this bowl. And who's over here? Anybody who likes us? No, there's Jones. Long Street. Once again, everybody on our flank are the guys who do not like us. Damn it. Exactly. And they keep climbing back up because we're letting them sit there and let their units reform. There's another detachment right there. Shoot. Oh, that's an actual battery. Shoot them. Or throw rocks. We're out of ammunition. Boys, you can throw rocks. Let's do something. <laughs> yes, the brigades that actually like us are all the way to fuck back here. Not like us, but are okay with us. No. Hill, you're okay with... Okay, coin flip time. Coin flip. Where's my coin? There it is. Generic National Guard coin. Minute man, we get him. Guard symbol, we don't. God damn it. He's not going to join us. And besides Hill, there was someone else who liked it, was okay with us. Where is it? Where are they? It was Evans. Where's Evans? I thought you, no, you didn't like us, so. Evans liked us too. Where the hell is he? Or he was okay, at least. Long Street Jones. Wait, did Evans leave? Evans left the army. Or is he one of the divisions? No, it's all separate brigades still. God damn it. The other guy who is actually okay with us left the core. Oh, well, we will win this on our own. Low ammunition now. Nobody's got ammo. Ugh. Goes them. Fire into the flank and rear of all these brigades, please. Just fire down into here. We should hit. If you're gonna hit somebody. Just point and fire. You hit somebody. Oh, they're trying to face us. 
Right, let's pull back so we can't draw them out. Can we draw them out? that detachment to our front that's going to be an issue they're going to suck up a lot of ammunition you know i still have not seen the last rambo movie they might have seen that it looked good but i wasn't too sure about it Sir, we have out of ammo. Most of them have thrown sticks and stones at the... Exactly. Just trying to break their bones with it. <laughs> we just need to get extreme range on these skirmishers. Because they'll do more damage to us than we'll do to them. Extreme range on these guys. So it was so good you can't remember a single thing about it. <laughs> so I think that one was about saving his niece or something like that. I saw the one before that where he kind of gets sent back as a mercenary, which is okay. being okay but nothing else yep the rated movie all the way then which is exactly what a rambo movie is supposed to be the only thing i remember from the movie before that was when he sat there on the 50 cal with a never-ending belt of ammunition Rambo in part two, that's where Rambo ends me. Everything else is garbage. Well, I honestly, if you, if you ever read the books, there never should have been a part two, three, or four. Like, he was he was dead at the end of the first book. He was supposed to die in the first movie. Exactly, Bremer. It's actually, uh, for fifty American 50 cal, that's a 100 round belt. It's not even a 200 round belt. It's a 100 round belt. Let's speed this up a little bit. We're out of the range of them firing back at us. It was a 50. It was a mod deuce. Probably thinking of one of the earlier movies. But uh, a 50 caliber comes in 100 round belts, a 7.62 comes in 200 round belts. Stallone didn't want to do Death Scene, that's why there is a part two and three. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I gotta watch the last one. I gotta rent it. I have to rent it. You know, maybe I'll do that tomorrow because I don't have anything to do tomorrow.
I don't think that scene was in First Blood, because that was him getting chased by the sheriffs and the National Guard. It might have been the second or third movie. They're going to do no damage against these skirmishers. And our morale's dropping again. Alright, let's pull back. We're still in the command circle, so why is our morale dropping? Overall change per hour, minus 8. Low on ammo, negative. Low ammo and high fatigue. Okay. So we're going to pull back. And hope Hardy does something. Not to think those moves are now. Yeah, they are. Actually, the first one's older than 40 years old now, I think. Ran with through his. <laughs> That was a good movie, though. That that one was good. The Federals are pushing back up in our direction, really. There we go. First one's a Christmas film. No, no. The only action movie that's a Christmas film is Die Hard. You'll never change my mind about that. not Christmas until I see Hans Gruber fly off the top of Yakutomi Plaza. The rest of them. I mean, the second one was a winter scene, but the first one's definitely a Christmas movie. Yeah, but it's not as good. It's not as good. All right, let's keep these guys at extreme range if we can. They have ammo. We don't. We should have gotten our level 2 perk right now. We still haven't gotten it. We're barely firing anymore because we have no ammunition. Lethal Weapon 2 was a good movie. Alright, they're not firing back at us now. Okay, perfect. Keeping our cat. I'm amazingly keeping our casualties fairly low during this battle. We're now up to 3 stars. And now they're pursuing us again. Fall back. Try to keep our casualties low this battle. Throw your boots at them, yeah. Wow, they are actively pursuing my brigade. I'll keep I'll keep drawing them in to let this brigade fire on their flank. I will do that. There they go. Come into the trap, boys. It's not one I set up, but you're walking into it. These guys are like dead set on going after my brigade.
And turn your flank to us now, please. There we go. I didn't make this trap, but they walked into it. My favorite bank heist movie? Ooh. Die Hard 3. That was the bank guys one, right? No, that was Die Hard 2, yeah. No, it was Die Hard 3. It was Die Hard 3. Actually, because that was a that was such a good movie. And the way they pulled that movie off, they were actually investigated by the FBI because it was too accurate. <laughs> the way they the way they broke into that bank was too accurate. Ooh, the original Italian job's good too. That's a good call. That is a good movie. That's a good movie. Well, yeah, Die Hard 3 because it was actually, it was probably the most accurate. We might just drive this to a victory through casualties alone. This battle should have been over. Long over. Not a Heisman opening scene in the Dark Knight was pretty into Yeah, that was, actually. Not a heist movie, but that was a good scene, though. And all the Oceans movies are pretty good, too. The original and the remakes are all pretty good. was finding out Ben Kaiser is just Hans Gruber brother trying to kill McLean. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't like the villain in that movie. They, they should have found someone else like with like a terrible German accent. Instead of actually using a German to play the, to play the role, they should have found someone with a terrible German accent. Like the first movie. Because it didn't look related at all. Here we go. See them off. I keep shifting further and further left. And what the hell is going on over here? Boy. 
I swear, Hardy's doing everything in his power to throw this battle away. You big fan of Jarry Iron? See that? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, my biggest problem is they just did not look related at all. Because you go from, you know, an, a character with dark hair with a bad German accent to a uh, blonde hair, blue eyed guy that's, who's actually an amazing actor, but I don't think he was right for the role. And they had, they did not look related at all. Can't even see my brigade in these trees. <laughs> Well, the foliage color looks nice. We got rid of this detachment. They want to move on the flank of this brigade over here. Yeah, but he's a half brother, not a full brother. He's supposed to be a full brother in that movie. No, because I look at it this way, like, uh, I look more like my uncle than his own children do. But then again, his kids are half Japanese. It's not a bad movie. I wouldn't I wouldn't place it in my top ten of heist movies, but it's not bad either. Right, let's push up this way. Can't even tell if we're doing doesn't even show us doing damage to this detachment. My men are exhausted now, great. Morale's back to confidence that we can keep fighting. Oh, just a little, just a tiny bit away from getting sharpshooter two. Come on, boys. Kill me some more feds, get rank two. Let's go. Yep, time for a topper. Officially half a bottle down now. Getting a light cloudy but not a red dawn sky for once. <laughs> you know what? I gotta put some pictures I've taken from the uh from my pier. Because I got a great view of New York City at sunrise and I get some beautiful coloration with that with the uh, New York City in the background with some like nice orange and pink colors behind it it looks more beautiful than it really is <laughs> I'm for Red October's top three oh yep yeah, yep yeah, that's a great movie I wouldn't really call that a heist movie though that's not really a heist. Ooh, can we draw these guys into a trap? Oh, they're, they're coming to face us. Can we draw them back again? Yes. Follow me, boys. Follow the Pied Piper. Let's get you boys into a crossfire.
He was defecting, he wasn't stealing, that's different. Favorite heist movie? Yes, 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 Kelly's Heroes, I totally forgot about that movie. Yes, number one, absolutely. Absolutely, number one. Hands down. I totally forgot about Kelly's Heroes. They're not firing at Oh, now they turn the face and they're gonna start firing at us. Okay. Because that could be considered a bank heist film. If we're going off the original right of this topic, that could be considered a bank heist film. As we weren't talking about heist films, we were talking about bank heists. So, as far as bank heist goes, Kelly's Heroes, number one. Now that I said that, I got, I got to recruit a brigade, put a Kelly in charge, and call it Kelly's Heroes. <laughs> Snatch is another good one. I would put I, I would actually put Snatch at number eight in my list. Uh, Rich, Ocean's Eleven, Pure Gold, 12 and 13. I wasn't crazy about either one of those. Ocean's Eleven is definitely number three for me. Didn't they try making like another Ocean's movie, but it was like all woman crew? Yeah, we talked about this film previously. That's an excellent film. Though, I'm going to say the best World War I movie ever made is Johnny Got His Gun. They did make it. Okay. Well, I'm the one to, well, the, the, the numbers are actually, uh, the numbers are based on how many people are in the crew. That's how you got Ocean's Eleven. There were 11 people in the crew, and then 12 and 13, at 12 and 13 people in the crew. Yeah, so if you ever seen the Metallica music video, they use scenes from that movie. Uh, the song One. The music video uses scenes from that movie. It's a black and white film. And it's an amazing film. And we just broke. It's an amazing film. It's a, it's a psychological film. No one's trying to set you off, Rich. Everybody's, everybody's agreeing with you. Yeah, Ocean's 8 sucked. I haven't seen it, but... As soon as I heard the premise of it, I didn't want to see it. Well, They Shall Not Grow Old was a documentary. We're talking straight up movies. But yeah, Johnny Got a Gun. Johnny Got His Gun is definitely number one for me. Uh, Fighting 69th is probably number two. It was, it was the video for one. All, all the uh, the black and white movie scenes that they show in that film, that, in that music video, are movie scenes from the Johnny Got His Gun. That's a good question, Josh. The entire movie was just horrible premise, you know, woke bullshit. And they probably named it 13, not knowing that 10, 11, 12 had to do with the number of people in the crew. Is 
Because I guarantee you, the people who wrote that movie never saw the all the others. That's what I'm saying. Like, whoever wrote the movie never saw the rest of them. They had no idea what the fuck they were doing. Is Hardy going to throw this battle away? I think he is. Should have called it a confusing pile of feminist shit, man. <laughs> Probably should have. Like that uh, remake of uh, Ghostbusters they did with all female cast. Because that was complete garbage. Let my men rest and reform. They're up to nervous, but they're still very tired. Yeah, I rented the movie. I turned it off after 20 minutes. I couldn't take it. I would agree with you if they actually had good looking women in that. Balls and Gromit, the wrong. I've never seen that one. Hold on, I got I gotta look this up. Grammar definitely got it. I gotta look this one up. Oh, that's a claymation stuff. Okay. Okay, I know these characters. All right. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 wasn't that bad. All right, back up the stable. What's our morale looking like? 54%. We'll wait for it to go higher and we'll throw ourselves back in. Yeah, I recognize the character. I just looked it up. I recognize the characters. That's something I really watched, though. Big in the mid 90s, but I was kind of a bookworm at that point, so. I don't. I've, I've kind of given up on uh, watching the remakes, Rich. I've, I've given up on them. Roll ourselves in right here. See if we can't draw them into fighting this brigade at least. They got 2,100 men still. They can fight. Yeah, it's not a remake, but it's a continuation of the series. And I'm just kind of like, I've, I've given up on all the new Ghostbuster stuff. I really have. Brian, how we doing? You're the voice actor for... <laughs> oh, nice. 
Yeah, I love how they added that into the game. Good job. I'll take a look at your website. Uh, where are your web address up so uh, people can take a look at it? I sh should have links turned on in the chat, so if you want to throw it up, throw it in there. Oh, our federal's going to finally start pulling off. No, you're right, Aladdin. You're right. Aldolin, I mispronounced that. Don't do that, Brammer. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, Brian, what's the uh, what's your website name so I can look it up? <laughs> or if you can't get into the chat, you can try placing it into my Discord. Finally making a move. This battle is taking way too long. Father serving the U.S. Navy Voice Confederate Commanders. Oh, nice. I guess it's actually one of my favorite additions to the game. I, I actually prefer it more than the entire DLC they added. It adds a lot of... It adds a, a nice element to the game. I've never played a Ramshaw. I actually found since I started the YouTube channel, I have less and less time to play other things. Though I have found time to play some Hell Divers too. Going out and spreading democracy a thousand bullets at a time. That's a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I think I gotta keep my brigade out of the rest of fighting. Without ammunition, I'm really not doing much. Nice, thank you. Just saw it pop up. Awesome. 
Then let's check your website out after I'm done with the stream. Whoops, it's the same thing. <laughs> We've gone into a realm of a major victory. Nice. Though they're still not retreating. Yeah, we got a 24.9%, almost 25% casualties to our 12%, but that's not saying a lot. We're at 2,700 casualties to their 3,900. All right, we should be out of the firing line now. Should have leveled up to level two, but we didn't get there. We took too many casualties. That reduced our experience gain. So it's 1730. Day's gonna end here in a few hours. He'll probably do an overnight withdrawal if they're not withdrawn already. Yeah, he's starting to call withdraw. Exactly. Happy wife, happy life. Voice actors, two for the inch. Yeah, I mean, that's all you really needed, and it gets the job done very well. And there they go, finally. Let's speed this along. People are using voice AAA games like Skyrim. Oh, okay. Let's see how we did in this battle. 500 casualties. I'm not happy about that. We took a lot of casualties towards the end. All right, we took 2,715 to our infantry out of 20,693 on the field. 12 of our 961 cab, 5 of our 32 guns, total of 2,834 of our 22,168 men. Federals lost 4,200 of their 17,000 infantry, all 20 of their guns, total of 4,400 of their 17,000 men. And we gained 144.8 prestige out of that battle. Nice. Save this real fast and take a look at the paperwork. All right, how did our brigade do? We did. That's it. We did 688 to infantry, 107 to artillery for a total of 802. Not as good of our as our last battle. Take a look at officers. Did we lose anybody? No, we did not. Did we get any of the Union officers? Wounded Doubleday. Wounded Abercrombie. Wounded Stone. Three officers again. Okay. All wounded, no dead. But that definitely takes out of their uh, officer pool. All right, I'm going to stand up real fast and take a bio break. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, and I'm back. Ready for this news on the couch. Hope she lays in until 9-ish. <laughs> Before the yelling starts. <laughs> uh, I'm not... Brian, I kind of agree with you, but at the same time, I don't. Because the way the battles are set up, they're random battles. So it's hard to do cinematics prior to each of them. It's a good idea, but I don't... I, it's a matter of being able to pull it off, though. Glorious victory at Richmond. Battle of Richmond has ended with the Department of Pennsylvania retreating in panic. The enemies reportedly suffered total casualties at 4,229 men. There are 571 killed and 501 captured. Our casualties total 2,834 men with 422 killed and 584 missing and the rest wounded. We've captured 2,200 rifles and 10 guns from the field and sent 461 soldiers off to our vacation camps. <laughs> Well, I still got plenty of energy. If you guys want me to keep going, I'll keep going. It's, uh, it's only uh, 0130 where I'm at. Uh, Brian, since uh, you're Virginia, you reenactor also. There are a few of us that are reenactors in this group. And we got the suicidal flag bearer. <laughs> we knew we were going to get him. <laughs> All right, Bremer. Happy hangovers. <laughs> New companion. Young lad has joined your unit's color guard that accompanies you to battle. First, you thought he was the bravest man you'd ever seen. But recently, your officers have started questioning whether his overly fearless actions will get you and others killed at some point. As the men are inspired by his bravery, his presence increases your leadership. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're ever interested, you should take part. It's a lot of fun. Like, uh, my reenactment group, we're basically uh, a drinking club with a history problem, so... <laughs> it's good times. You find yourself a good group of reenactors, you have a lot of fun. Grumpy, you don't need him, you're already him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I still haven't lost a horse I usually lose a horse per battle we haven't lost one yet we're still on breakfast None of these things have changed yet. I'm a little surprised by that. But we're still 50 in fame ranking. That kind of sucks. But we have the suicidal flag. But where can I use him? You give me plus two and consult companions. Can I use him here? Plus two and drill the troops. Okay. Can't use them in politics. Why can't... Oh. Because I'm not a division commander. Can't consult subordinates. Leisure time, I can't use him. Studies, I can't use him. Planning with staff, no. Wait, did I just put him somewhere? No, I did not. Can't use him at recruitment. Can't use... Okay. Okay, I can use him at drill the troops. That give me plus two hours there. So I can drop two off of here. And we're red stars on rest. Yeah, two hours to rest. Let's see if that improves it. Now we need a liberal lady. Hickok. 
and the uh, sergeant, and we'll have a well-rounded group, I think. What limb will be first? Now you have the flag bearer, exactly. October. So we're going to be going to winter camp soon. So we'll just plus up the map speed here and get this over with as fast as possible. There's no Federals around us. So I'm not worried about messing with the AI. The Union's got three year contracts. Speaking of which, what do our contracts look like? Six months left. You got my arm shot off. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever lost an arm in any of my campaigns. I've lost a leg. I've never lost an arm. I've lost a leg in almost all my campaigns, actually. Command offered. Due to your reputation and eligibility, you have been offered to command a newly raised division in Polk's command. No. No. I'm not going out to Polk's command. No, I'm I'm declining that. Hell no. And we just lost a battle at Rolla. It's a good thing I said no. What does Polk have command of? Shenandoah. Western Army. Missouri. Rice. Oh, Polk's Command right there. Yeah, as much as I want to be in the Western Theater, I'm not finding underneath Polk. Yeah, not Polk again. We're not doing that again. Better to die than be commanded by Polk. Exactly. See, we're not. See, this doesn't make sense to me. We're raising new divisions, but we're not placing the separate brigades into divisions. This doesn't make sense to me. These separate brigades should all be going into divisions. We're not doing that. Here's a new division. Does anybody like me? Nope, everybody still hates me. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Come on, Josh, that was awesome. I don't think I'll ever be able to repeat what I did in that campaign. I doubt I'll ever be able to repeat it. That dash through the mountains to Washington and North, that was... I'll never beat that campaign. I mean, if it wasn't for me being under his command, I would have never gotten that done. All right, now in winter season. Hampton's out on the Delaware Peninsula, really.
And he marched right past Dover without taking it. Are you... What the... Dover's right there, free for the taking, and he goes right past it. And, whoa, whoa, where are all the federal armies go? There's nobody here. We're going right into D.C. What the hell is going on? Oh, there's somebody here. Scott's here. We just don't see him on the map. The Hill Mary in the 11th hour of the war when other rebel generals were throwing into towel. General Grandpa said hell to this and I'm taking my men back east. That's exactly what happened. And it was all played by, we played that by ear. Like the every move I made was like, uh, where are the Federals? Let's keep slipping through. Let's keep slipping through. All right, we're going against Scott again. He's got 13,354 infantry and eight guns. I can win this with just my brigade. Hell yeah. We're bringing 28,428 infantry, 937 cavalry, and 24 guns. Let's jump into this. Let's kick Lincoln out of the White House. I hate to say, this campaign might come to a close early if we do too well. <laughs> Return the favor, exactly. Holding it might be a bit harder. That's true. That's true. DC map, we're coming in from the west side and we're attacking Rock Creek. Grumpy, you want that tall, spindly one named Abigail? <laughs> exactly. Though we don't have the liberal ladies here, we don't have the hospitality tents yet. Let's start moving to this crossroad ahead of the rest of the army. Oh, we're we're down here in the woods. Oh. So we're probably better off coming down this way. Now, we'll go where the rest of the army is. I don't need my morale breaking too soon. But we'll start moving. Hopefully Scott doesn't pull some Fort George bullshit. Yeah. Actually, I'm probably better off coming from this direction, going down Milkhouse Ford Road, and coming in along the right fork, along uh, Creek Church Road. You just gotta get out of these damn woods first. The road's going to be jammed with everybody. Exactly, Josh. I know this map like the back of my hand. <laughs> well, I know this area... And this area, like the back of my hand. Over here, we don't fight over here very often at all. 
We never get the fight over here. Usually the objective's down over here, not up here. And our cavalry is actually out scouting. If you look at the map, that's that's a nice change of pace. And there's the end of the day already. Shit, I didn't even look at the time. Let's keep moving. Now we have a full day of fighting ahead of us. We'll definitely hit our level two of sharpshooter perk during this battle. I have maneuvered around here before, but we were actually haven't fought over an objective here before. The objective is usually down here. And actually, I did fight around Rock Creek Church with a flank division at one point. Right, we're getting close to their positions. All right, skirmishers out. Let's come straight up the road. I don't see any Federals, so where the hell are they? Actually, no, we're not going right up the road. We're going... Over here. The rest of our army is way out over here. Where the hell are the Federals? There they are. Armatures, go hit this battery. We're right on their flank. Perfect. Last battle of Washington or was the next day battle of Aqueduct? Uh, honestly, I fought so many times on this map during that campaign, I could not tell you. I actually think it was one of the earlier battles where we were still kind of maneuvering a lot.
quickly see off these skirmishers without too much issue. The rest of the army just needs to join us. And Hardy's hanging out all the way back here. No, the fighting up here around the church was an earlier battle. I know that. Because even the battle, like most of the battles from like 10 through 16 all took place down at the fords. There was a lot less maneuvering. That's not good. And we are completely in the rear of the federal lines. We are not, we're actually not in a good spot right now. I'd say we're in a good position, but we're completely cut off from everybody else. Exactly. I'm literally on my own right now. The rest of the army has not come up yet. They're on their way. We'll have some guys on our right soon enough. Let's turn and face that skirmisher unit. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. But it's funny, this, the entire Federal Corps is facing our brigade, which should allow the rest of the army to get on their rear and flank. And that's exactly where they're coming in from. Problem is, Hardy is still hanging out back here. He's not moved forward. That's going to cause a lot of morale issues. He needs to come forward. doing any damage to that detachment. Come on, boys. Who's that? Come on, Jones. Come join the fun. Get up here. And these guys are just sucking ammunition up. Skirmishers, bring it back in. Keep their skirmishers at range without taking any casualties from them. And theirs are falling back, okay. Oh, you know better than to say that, Rich. You know better.
We're going full sickles on this. Just like every battle, we're going full sickles. I really do have to make those stickers. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's fun. That's the whole point. It's fun. You always go full sickles. Full sickles or go home. <laughs> and the rest of the army is exhausted. Great. Is Hardy still hanging out in the rear? Yeah, he still hasn't moved. He's still hanging out back here. I'm surprised my leg hasn't come off already. Well, my contracts will be up before the winter is over, so I'm fine with that. I'll just send my brigade home during the winter season to get more men. I'm sure there's plenty of Danes who want to be Irish to come join my unit. But we're actually, like, what we're doing right now has the entire Union Corps facing our direction, so. If Hardy fucks this up, which he probably will, it's all on him. Now I'm going to keep maneuvering left, and that'll put us on their extreme flank. which I'll start doing that now. Pull back to here, boys. We're going to maneuver around onto the extreme left. Pull the boys back, get them off the very tired. And then start maneuvering again. Deploy to engage. We're already there. You're late to the game. A little late to the party, buddy. But that gave us some prestige. I'll take it. Are you moving forward now? He's finally moving. He's finally coming up. I think he's waiting to see what the hell I was doing. All right, wait here a few minutes while our men get their uh, fatigue back up. We'll keep maneuvering around. We're actually at a minor defeat. How the hell do we have 298 casualties already?
I already got the spirit of sickles whispering in my head. This looks like good ground right here. <laughs> All right, you guys are back to tired. Wait for them to get back to rest and start moving again. Those men that said to hell with this one the first night, yep. But Hardy's thrown the brigades in while they're exhausted. He's actually going to throw this battle away. Hardy's thrown this battle away. All right, we're back to winded. I want to get back to rested and get back over here because Sickle's the same. Come here. Ground ground for all ground looks like good ground even all ground is good ground if you use it properly all right back to rest let's move over this way let's drop this to x2 so it don't messes with the ai too much This is coming up behind us. Hill, you like? No, you hate us. Okay, never mind. We're in 948 casualties to the enemy. 85 casualties on the enemy. We probably caused most of them. Oh, God, we're almost at a thousand casualties. Hardy's going to throw this battle away. I guarantee it. Skirms out. Skirms. Come hit these skirmishers, please. Sir, a message from Hardy. He says he has it on good authority that the name of this town is Gettysburg. <laughs> He's going to stay. <laughs> oh, God. Must take slight health. Yes. <laughs> Well, Hill's going to come in on the flank of these skirmishers. That's going to help us a little bit. I'm going to take down this battery and then move on to their brigades. 55 men. We should wipe them out in one or two volleys. Just got to get up here to the high ground first. Because this actually gives us an elevation. It's not much of an elevation, but we will have it. men are back down to tiring.
Alright, we're definitely getting the better that exchange. Good. And the cavalry's coming in. And they are not stopping. What the hell are you doing, Hill? Alright, boys, push forward. Take down that battery. Be like Robin Hood. I, I'm more like the Men in Tights Robin Hood. <laughs> I'm looking for a Maid Marion to do it. A tent light show with. <laughs> Pickles whispering to Grump Ozier. General, you must take the top of the hill to do the beach. <laughs> <laughs> First Valley only did five casualties. Wait, they went. Pushing a little closer, boys. Exactly, keys. My men want to get into all those bars and the, uh, if I remember the time period, there was actually a brothel open on the White House grounds. My men wanted into there. They heard there's a woman named Abigail Lincoln who looks pretty fine that's working in that brothel right now. She's tall with a slight growth on her face that tickles you properly in the right places. down. Take out that battery, please. <laughs> One of the best scenes from the entire movie. <laughs> yeah, but Hardy's thrown away an easy victory. He's thrown this away.
battery. Oh, it says Sykes. I thought it was Sickles. I'm like, oh. That would have been great if we were fighting Sickles right now. A sociopathic fire eater that's drunk 24 7 is going to be the first Confederate officer. <laughs> you keep getting prestige from casualties and flick, but I'm not sure who we're causing casualties to at this point. Out, out of ammo. The hell are you doing, Hardy? And why is there? He's kind of out, like hanging out with the federal soldiers. So uh, maybe there'll be a division command open up soon. <laughs> Up, we're going to pull back a little bit. Put our range to work. Yeah, they got tree plot armor again. Exactly. They got that one tree that's blocking all the fire. It's this one right here. Got to send a detachment out with axes to get rid of it. down to very tired so I actually want to pull us out of engagement range and get our rest back up a little bit and their skirmishers are actually chasing us guys these are inflicting their leaves and twigs exactly yeah, that's why I'm pulling back. We're, we're, they're going up because we're withdrawing. I'm trying to get my men a rest before they break. But their skirmishers are chasing us. The rest of our army is over here, and they should be overwhelming this flank, but they're not.
So I actually want to pull back, work our way back around to join the rest of our... Because there were troops coming down this way, but they're no longer here. Well, there were troops over here. They're no longer here. They're back over here by Bethesda Church. So I want to pull out, get us back around to rejoin the rest of the army. Also going full sickles, yep. But I go full sickles every battle. You know that. And we just routed. Shit. At least we're not retreating through their brigades this time. I know. And I'm, you're going to keep telling me I'm not going to listen every time. Nothing against you. It's just... <laughs> it's just me. I, I got to get into the action. I got to get in there. I got to do something. Can't just sit around and not do anything. It is not my play style to sit there. And Hardy's still hanging out back here. What the hell is he doing back here? GG's got a GG flow of nature, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you all gotta admit it. How many of you guys watch me just because I'm more aggressive than most other players are? Early reforming, back up to unstable. We did lose experience because of the losses. We lost some, ex we lost some experience from our perk because of the losses. Okay. History books will tell General Hardy was shot not by a federal sniper, but one of his own brigade. No, it'll show he was shot by a sniper. But it will show how he threw a battle away. That should have been an easy victory. This should have been an easy victory. He just threw it away. We're at 3,400 casualties to their 800. I guarantee you most of that 800 was caused by me. wait for us to go from very tired. We'll come up in this brigade in the flank right here. Great, Scott, I'm going to need more... I don't know. He, he, he kind of... It seems to me he plays a little conservative. I don't know. But yeah, T, but THC is very blood and guts with his cavalry. Back to T. 
tired. I wish I can get an ammo reload. Rainy day, you actually woke back up. Holy shit. <laughs> Surprised. I thought you were down for the count. Flank of this brigade, but they're laying down, so we're not going to do too much damage to them, but we will do damage. Last time TH Booth played, he had a regiment come out with 100 men left. Really? Again, we're no longer on that side of the map. All right, we're dropping in flank and fire. That's good. Well, reopen that bottle of Oban. Yeah, it'll feel better. Get a little hair of the dog in there. It'd be just right. That's a brigade, not skirmishers. Okay. Base. And let's pull back just a little bit. Eight rounds of ammunition per man. Nice. You gotta, <laughs> gotta go work in seven hours. You need to go back to bed. You didn't sleep that long. I'm pretty sure he can't. <laughs> Who's that moving in front of us? Theophilus Holmes, really? That's what I'm saying. You need a few more hours of sleep, Rainy. Technically, <laughs> that's true. Technically, you can, but it's not prudent. Yep, 
already through this fight away. So it looks like we're going to go to a day three. Get out of there, boys. Let's go. Come on. Pull back. No headache, at least. Okay. Pull the... There we go. All right. End of day. All right. And we got no supplies. Shit. Wow, I lost a lot of men overnight, it looks like. Yeah, I had a lot of men run away overnight. That's not good. Down to a thousand and twenty one men. Hmm. Just a couple hours before the stream? Okay. Yeah, I took a few hours before the stream. I slept a little longer than I had planned on, so the stream got kicked off a little later than I intended. They're just now one end up like most of Sickle's men with <laughs> Grandma going full sickle on them. <laughs> well, we lost experience because of our casualties. So we're still at level one perk. So we took a lot of casualties, so our experience is down. But after this battle, I'm sending the uh, brigade home to uh, refit. And we're the only brigade moving forward. They are clumped up around the objective point. Okay. Let's bring it up right here. We're already moving that direction. You don't have to tell us twice. I don't want to move that close to the Federals. These detachments, yeah, they are. They're all detachments. That's an ammunition sucker right there. Alright, boys, come out this way. We'll get the free prestige and move on their flank again.
There we go. Ten free prestige. Gotta love it. Okay, I wanted to move on the flank of these guys, but these guys are over here. Hmm. Let's keep moving left. Deploy to engage and the box is behind us. Yep, we'll roll we'll roll back at that free prestige. Let's go, boys. Free prestige. Give it to me. Don't tire my boys out by doing this, but free prestige is free prestige. I mean, who would not pass up a command under Polk? Come on. And these guys are actually behind the fence over here, facing this direction. Hmm. I want to try and keep my guys in the command circle, so we're moving right here for now. What are the rest of you doing? I mean, you gotta look at my last rebel campaign being under Polk. Jesus. I'll never serve under him again. Alright, do we hit Nicolay's detachment or Winkoop's? Eh, let's hit Winkoop. Get those guns out of the way. And Nicolay came out to face us. This is day three, so we got to win it or we're going to lose it. Yeah, I'm losing men. Yes, I know. Uh, pull back a little. These guys should not have that range, even as skirmishers. Even being uphill, I don't think they have rifled muskets. They should not have this range. And they're following us. You know what? You gonna follow us? Follow us back to our own lines. No, I did not want to do that. Damn, those skirmishers, what the hell? They are doing a lot of damage to us. What the fuck? All right, we're, we're done fighting in this battle. Party has thrown this one away. An easy victory, he's thrown it away. We're done fighting.
Yeah, this battle's over. We lost it. I wish I had Sharps rifles. We got Mississippis, which are just as good, though. Who knows? Now that I'm pulling back, the rest of the army will actually do something. Time for a topper. Now he attacks. Now that I pulled back, he attacks. Alright, we'll let the men rest up for an hour or two in game time, and then we'll rejoin the combat. I still feel like we can flank this position. Exactly, I would. Same thing, same thing, Caffeine. I wish the same thing. Hiring. I want them back to rest it. We're at 6,400 casualties to their 1,400? What the fuck? What the absolute? I'm going to mute the microphone for a second. Okay, it's out of my system. He's been busy losing people, Jesus. Maybe I should have taken that division in Polk's command and brought my uh, brigade over with me. I should have had the... I have enough prestige for that. If they offer me another division command outside of Hardy's command, I'm taking it. I don't care if it's Polk or not. I can drag this brigade over using prestige. I'm trying not to watch, Josh. I'm trying not to watch. This was a fucking easy win. Hardy or John Bell. There, I don't think there's a difference at this point. <laughs> I 
It's battles like these that kind of make me wish I took partook in more than just uh, nicotine and alcohol. <laughs> Easy win for Scott, yes. Shouldn't have been. And my men are tiring again. Great. And we have no ammunition. Almost 800 casualties. We're actually losing experience now because of our casualties. We were almost supposed to get level two. We're now a quarter away from it. Uh, Grim usually handles uh, numbers on that one. I don't think he's here right now. Unless one of you guys want to handle the numbers on that. Yeah, we're about to start pulling back. I see the horse riders going out. We're about to start pulling back. What the hell is happening? To this? Look at the look at those casualties. Oh, they just started laying down. Then. Yeah, and they're still taking casualties because they're laying down. God damn. I thought we were already engaged at Will. Grumpy, you wish for Admiral Grumpa's white golden powers coming out of Chinese Columbia. <laughs> exactly. Exact. Yeah, more than four reps for every yank, and we had them outnumbered, and our casualties are fucking disgusting. Look, the casualties in my brigade alone are disgusting. Actually, it looks like Hardy's starting to push forward. Yeah, really. Well, Scott's not on good ground. One of his aides are because he's probably taking a nap somewhere. movement glitch going on right now. Oh, just cleared up. Okay. That brigade just broke. Nah, that's not often enough.
No, if we're going to do a drinking game, it should be every time I mute the mic. Have a cursing session. <laughs> every time I mute the mic to curse everything out, that's when you guys should drink. There's a defeat. All right, boys, pull back. Concussion right at the end of the battle. And my horse still hasn't died yet. I'm kind of amazed by that, but concussion. You're commanding your men courageously, even recklessly, when suddenly you feel an urge to vomit. Soon the horizon starts to wobble and you need to sit down with your face all pale. Whether it happened recently or just now, you're suffering from concussion. It will take some time before you're once able to give orders. But even then, decision making is slowed down and orders will take longer. Every time I mute or say, I <laughs> live like sickle. <laughs> An easy victory thrown away. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So we took down 2,000 of their 14,000 infantry, 5 of their 15 guns, total 2,100 men. We look. I'll mute my microphone. I will not tolerate a coward in my company. I don't want to die, not like this. <laughs> All right. We lost 7,323 of our 28,364 infantry. 142 of our 746 cav, all 24 of our guns, total loss is 7,695 or 29,000. Fucking hardy. I really don't know what to say about this fucking battle. I really don't. I really don't. This is disgusting. And we actually only got 47 prestige out of it too. All right, let's save this and take a look at the paperwork. I am so fucking heated right now. It's not funny. I'm so heated. Right, the whiskey Vikings did. Wait, that doesn't make sense. These numbers do not make sense. This one only did 123 to infantry and four to our... This does not make sense. The number of casualties we caused does not make sense. And how many did we lose? You're 99 wounded, 260... We lost 749 men, but we only caused 177 casualties. This does not make sense.
I haven't muted my microphone. I'm just trying not to explode again. Trying. You're not wrong, Caffeine. You're not wrong. And we actually caused not the least amount of casualties, but we should have caused a lot more than we did. Fuck! This game sometimes. In this timeline, probably Hardy. <laughs> In this timeline, probably Hardy. Oh God, let's see what. Let's see how many officers were lost. Oh God. All right, Hardy, sadly, Hardy made it out. Holmes was wounded. Manny's wounded. All right, we lost two officers. Did we get any from the federal side? No, we did not. We lost two officers. They lost nobody. Then again, look at the casualty count. <sighs> Polk is definitely not sh sitting in Chicago. I guarantee it. Now let's get close out of here. I don't think I have enough whiskey for this fucking campaign start. But on a brighter side, I mean, some of you guys have been hanging around watching this from the beginning, but we've actually had 162 views on this stream. Damn, I think it's a record. And for uh, anybody new who's viewing us, if uh just joined the stream and you haven't hit that like button yet, please think about hitting that like button. And don't forget to drop a comment in the comments section. God, I'm so heated right now. I'm trying to look for something to brighten me up. I'm just so heated. And Colonel Johnson took the blame for that one. And that's kind of wrong. Hardy should have taken all the blame for that loss. Disaster at Washington, D.C. Port. Colonel Johnson did not deserve to lose face. For he did not. That's all on Hardy. The entire fucking debacle is on Hardy. Battle Washington, D.C. port has ended. The armed Potomac retreating in panic. My command has earned us a stinging defeat against a vast, vastly superior enemy being... Reading this right now makes me even more heated. Vastly superior... We had them at almost three to one. <sighs> Every piece of paper I look at, I want to keep cursing. I'm sorry, Josh, but uh, my like I said, my party yesterday went a little longer than I thought. I kept trying to get out of it. But uh, 
Every time I tried to leave, someone else grabbed me and was like, hey, have a drink, have a drink. Next thing I knew, it was like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Are these heifers or pokes polka dots? I'd rather Grumpa's traveling harem if I can make it again. Now Washington, D.C. port is ending with the armed Potomac retreating in panic. My command is earnest a stinging defeat against a... God, I'm not saying that fucking line out loud. The enemy has reportedly suffered total casualties of 2,082 men. There are 279 killed and 102 captured. Our casualties total 7,695 men with 923 killed and 2,370 missing. I'm eating my microphone again. Sorry. Okay, I think it's out of my system now. I think it is. I'm so heated I could lose a limb, Colonel. <laughs> All right, let's move this along, please. <laughs> Good to see journalists are even just as useless in this game. Yeah, oh. Journalists have been basically useless since the beginning of time. Then again, they got to bow to their editors. I mean, look at Horace Greeley's newspaper. Doesn't matter what his writers wrote. It all depends on what he wanted. Wounded arm. Now I have a wounded. The battle's over. My arm is wounded now. You received a severe arm wound from shrapnel or a musket ball. While recovering, your ability to command is impaired. Watch, I'm going to lose an arm. First, first campaign, I lose an arm. It's usually a leg. Now I'm going to lose an arm. Well, we'll see if we lose the limb yet. We gotta see if we're gonna lose it. We gotta see it. We haven't lost it yet, it's just wounded. They might not cut it off. Uh, no, no, I'm not, like, I live in an old school townhome, so uh, the walls are actually pretty thick. It's not like a modern apartment building where everything's made of paper. And my neighbors are used to me anyway. I am still surprised my horse is alive. I usually lose one per battle as brigade commander, but it just hasn't happened yet. I'm really surprised. But I think, it, I think it might be something they patched because people are losing horses left, right, and center. So it might be something they patched out.
So you'll be just a one pole in a uniform. <laughs> well, the arm's still wounded. We haven't lost it yet. We haven't lost any limbs yet. We'll see. We'll see. As long as the one limb that counts survives, that's all that matters. Oh, looks like we took Cairo. Miss looks like we took Cairo. Nice. And we took Fort Delaware. Oh, that's down in the fucking coast. Yep. All right. And now disaster at Fort Delaware. So we took it and lost it. Awesome. Well, I'm wondering this time around, if we get Wild Bill back into our uh, traveling circus, will I lose an eye this time? Because we come close twice. Allegations of treason. Due to your contrarian reputation, rumors of your disloyalty have been circulating among politicians. Lately, some are even suggesting you're committing treason. Even if there is no proof of this, the rumors themselves are sufficient to harm your chance of promotion from time being. Well, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm a traveling adventurer. So, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly loyal to the cause. I'm a traveling adventurer. Let's see if we actually lose the arm. It'd be nice if they actually had, like, on that little screen right here. I said this last stream, too. Like, right now, you have the red cross. Oh, did I get the partisan? I got the partisan. <laughs> the partisan has joined our camp. He's like a ghost. You'll never know he's around before you're hit. This partisan likes to roam and raid and freely around the countryside, invoking fear among the enemies. Recently, he has joined your unit with his band of guerrilla fighters, guiding you on how to deceive your enemies, among other things. He's a master of deception. His presence increases your cunning. And we're also going to get war crimes on our status now, because we have him. <laughs> I would have rather have had Wild Bill. I want the duelist. Honestly, I don't know. Like, I've lost a leg in multiple campaigns. I, I generally lose my leg in most campaigns. Come close to losing an eye. Because we used to get Wild Bill. We haven't had the Partisan in a while. When we get Wild Bill, you, you come close to losing an eye. And wounding or killing other officers. <laughs> He's a fun character to have around when he's in your camp. Weird shit happens. With the partisan, you can kind of see what's going to happen. We're going to get, we're going to be accused of war crimes. We're going to be sitting in our tent with all this gold and luxury items stolen from other places. And we're going to go. No, we don't know where this came from. You can see what's going to happen with the partisan. When you have Wild Bill, shit gets weird. And we did not lose the arm. We kept the arm. Yeah, we did, but we didn't lose it. And we kept the arm this time, so we'll see what happens. But I don't think we've had the partisan since the first playthrough when I literally had like a Spaghetti Western Headquarters. <laughs> hey, Sonar, how's it going? 
Uh, I don't think he made it in time. This has been going for like... Holy shit, I've been going six and a half hours now. Fuck me. <laughs> but we'll keep going. As long as I'm awake and you can understand what I'm saying, we can keep going. As soon as I don't, as soon as I can't make sense when I'm talking to the microphone, tell me that, and I will stop the stream. <laughs> I'm nice and toasty right now. Is how I am. A little heated from the last battle, but I'm nice and toasty. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep, on this one, I'm going to keep going until I'm done. Like, when I feel too drunk or too tired to keep going, that's when I'll stop this one. I'm practicing for the 24. Uh, speaking of which, we got any new viewers in the channel right now? Uh, moment we hit a thousand subscribers, probably within a month of it, I will be doing a 24-hour live stream for charity to mark that occasion. So, uh, if you like what I do, you enjoying what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, get more people joining us. As soon as I hit a thousand people, I will be doing a 24-hour live stream for charity, and we will hold a vote for which charity goes to prior to that live stream. I'm never going to rage quit, Josh. I might be angry, but I will never rage quit. As much as I want to, I'll never rage quit. I'm not that type of gamer. If I was that type of gamer, I would have ended my Orso Hungarian campaign in uh, UAD two videos ago. Rage quitting? No. I take the cards that dealt me. The only campaign I've quit so far was the American campaign in UAD and that's only because I became too powerful. And it was just wasn't fun at that point. I like being an underdog. Because if you win everything, that's no fun. Funnily enough, you're about to record your first episode of this game. Go give you an avatar. I typically give a game. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, you see me deal with the bug. I never had that happen to me where my, all my soldiers turned their backs. I've never seen that before. But if something like that happens in this game, all you got to do is command each unit individually. Uh, caffeine, that is literally the hardest start of the game. Outside of playing Russia, that is the hardest start to the game. Because you only have four ports, and that's it. And in my current campaign, I actually don't even hold Austria. I lost, like, I got to rename the campaign because it's no longer Austria-Hungary. Because we don't hold the crown of Hungary anymore. <laughs> Russia holds Hungary. Ram, you guys are never the underdog. You're, you're the overpower. Until America stepped onto the stage, you gotta look at you gotta look at historically. England was always what America is now was what England was 200 years ago, 300 years ago. It's like the shadow in the background, ready to step in and stomp on everything.
No, no, no. Austria is more super hardcore than Russia is, believe it or not. It's the hardest one to start as, and that's what I picked the campaign to do as. And I'm still learning that game. <laughs> But uh, speaking of avatars, I've almost got it working. I try, I got my picture down small enough. The, the last picture you guys seen of me with uh, in front of the Brigade Monument of Gettysburg, I got that almost down small enough. Now I just got to make it look like a painting to add as an avatar into the game. So if you guys want to have me in your game, I'm working on that. There it is. I called it Crimes of War. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking called it. Always happens. While the inglorious partisan the company used the most cunning guerrilla fighter you've ever known. His fighting methods are not always acceptable. This time, he has decided to conduct his raids without any orders from you. Some local population newspapers tell how surrendered enemy soldiers and civilians not willing to give up their property were slaughtered with no remorse. Such war crimes will infuriate the local population and stiffen enemy resolve. Well, we're a brigade commander, so it really don't matter. Well, if you're going to use a default avatar pick, just make sure it's the one with the biggest beard. You can have Spanish fleets, they turn on super hot. Yeah. <laughs> You have the biggest empire ever, but since some days we punch above our weight. Uh, outside of the Falklands, I wouldn't say that too much. And yeah, Cap. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see that line, Captain. Yeah, but you're right. And once again, we're fighting Scott. Okay, so Department of Pennsylvania under Scott with 15,609 men and 8 guns. We have the Armed Potomac plus Hampton's Division. So we have 28,228 men, 665 cav, and 25 guns. Watch us lose this fight again. Grumpy's turning to the late war picket. <laughs> I, I, I have no faith in any of my commanders at all. Once again, we're going to have it. This should be an easy victory, but we're going to lose. This should be an easy victory, but it's, we're going to lose it. I guarantee it. Grandpa, where's your brigade? Sir, I have no brigade. So we have Beauregard in command of our army. I have Hardy's in command. Where the fuck is Lee right now? I guarantee you they got fucking General Lee commanding a brigade somewhere. Maybe a division. Instead of being in charge of an army like he should be. Rematch, yep.
All right, Manassas map. We're attacking Blackburn and McLean. Blackburn Ford and McLean farmhouse. You find Scott's so you lose by default. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I mean, the last I, I, if you were watching the last battle, yeah, I mean, we lost by default. Like, literally lost by default. That was bad. Scott's going to make to feel like Ric Flair. <laughs> Oh my god, that just gave me the worst image in my head of all time. <laughs> Seeing his big ass belly jump onto a fighting ring wearing a pair of Speedos that are like bright green and reflective. <laughs> oh my god. And that image gets stuck in your head? You're welcome. Live my nightmare. <laughs> Get the meme of Undertaker behind Randy. Just make <laughs> No, if we're going to make a meme of wrestlers with uh, Scott in mind, you got you got to use a uh, jelly bean. Uh, yeah. You got to use the bean. You got to use him. So I'm just picturing his big ass belly and a fucking pair of Speedos that are bright green. <laughs> That's stuck in my head now. Yeah, once once I narrow down uh getting my avatar done, any members who would like to have that done, I will work on that, but I'm still trying to get mine to work. But a lot of people don't like that stuff. So it's like if you're willing to do it, yes, great. But a lot of people don't like that stuff. Yeah, no, the avatars the avatars have to be added before the campaign starts. They have to be added before the campaign starts. So I've been working on mine for a few weeks. I just haven't made got it to work yet. I'm also working on a flag. You know, Grandpa, you must whiskey up your men. You aren't hardy. I have no, no, no. My men are always whiskeyed up. I'm always whiskeyed up. Hardy's probably like, you guys are too drunk. Stop drinking whiskey. <laughs> if Scott is Flair, who's Scott Steiner then? Ah, uh, shit. Kill Patrick Steiner. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to that old school... My character is the Bushwhack Brothers. <laughs> oh, end of the day already. Shit. Right, keep marching, boys. Keep marching. I'm showing my age with that one. So I don't hide my age anyway, but. If 
It's <laughs> It's not whiskey, it's liquid fighting spirits, exactly. But as far as in your career, I'm surprised no event for running over this should be one. Hardy's in command of the army, so yes, I'm ready to lose another one. Hopefully we're not the same casualty count. Wait, how the fuck did Blanchard get down there already? What the fuck? How the hell was he there already? Daryl Hardy, that drunk grandpa and his drunk men are about to win the fight. What should we do? Daryl Hardy, stop sending support to him and throw away the battle and blame him for the loss. <laughs> Sounds about right. Come over here, take away their retreat point. Oh, that's one point. They got that one. All right. I'm the only brigade at Centerville. Awesome. Let's go Hardy's heifers. <laughs> he might have. His entire unit was sleepwalking to the front. Let's get up on the high ground over here. Up in these woods. I like that. That right there. That looks like a good position. We're going full sickles again. The high ground looks high. Whisk about cross. <laughs> That's a good one, Artorius. Actually, it's kind of what I'm going for, minus the rocking chair. I'm going to do uh, a crossed rifle against a. Uh, a crossed whiskey bottle. I was thinking about putting a cigar in the center. So you actually, you're not too far off from what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you're actually pretty close. I'm not old enough for a rocking chair yet. Though I do like rocking chairs. Thank for members. So Wait, Sona, weren't you already a member? Or did you just re-up your membership? Yeah, you already a member. What? <laughs> Thank you for uh, re-upping. Let's close off this retreat point now. I'm not attacking across here. That's what I'm saying. Like, you've been a member for a while. Not that long, but a while. You're one of my older members. Actually, uh, looking at my... I actually have a list of my members on paper. You're actually my third member. <laughs> Well, wow, it sounds so wrong in my head now that I said that. Oh shit, you just gifted five memberships? Thank you. Have a good night, Caffeine. Happy hangovers.
Adeline, Bremer, Lori, Pontus. You guys are now members now. And Josh. Alright, let's slow this down. We're in engagement, so... Don't need the times five screwing up with everything. Thank you very much for that. You're just most dreadnoughts. <laughs> Jesus. Are you sure you want to thank me for that? How glitchy both games are? They're fun, but they're both glitchy. I don't know if you should be thanking me or not. <laughs> Aldolin, thank you. Another five memberships has just been gifted by Aldolin. Holy shit. Grim Hardner, Artorius, Darren, Doomsbot, Shot Scarface. Welcome to the memberships now. Holy shit. Thank you, God. Oh my God. Thank you. I don't know what to say to that. I really don't. Holy shit. Well, if you guys are still awake and not passed out from the drinking, please say thank you to, our, to uh, both Sonar Bowl and uh, Al Delen. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. I really hope I'm not not mispronouncing it. Holy shit. Whiskey's cacking you up. <laughs> Gift received is good. Yeah, those are wise words. Honestly, they are. So we're going to take this point right here and come in on the rear of this group. two years because they're still crossing the woods. Nah, thanks are thanks are needed, Sonar Ball. Thanks are needed. That was awesome of both of you. take that point and let's move on you know all the troops in my brigade are like where the fuck are we going <laughs> you don't drink so you can drive yeah <laughs> it's easier to drive when you don't drink so all right we're gonna come back here and take the actual uh, objective Hardy is going to throw the battle away again. Yeah, we're 2100 casualties, they're 1800. Grandpa's Whiskey Vikings famous catchphrase. Where the fuck is <laughs> Exactly. Every battle. Where the fuck are we going? Exactly, he needs a license. He's another easy victory is being thrown away. You gotta be goddamn kidding me.
their entire army is like right here. I wish I had command of division right now because my entire division would be coming up on their flanks. I'd wrap this battle up. But I don't have a division, I have a brigade. Try to explain to your brigade, but your men's are too drunk, sir. <laughs> exactly. So we have the suicidal flag bearer, we have the partisan, now we're just waiting on the liberal lady to join our camp so I can start the harem. And we can't start the harem until I do that one action that gives us that tent. Then we go full anime, baby. Full harem anime. But I won't be the clueless pro tag going, why do you guys, why do you girls want to jump on me? And look like, welcome aboard, ladies. <laughs> Just gotta whip this shot clock. We don't have enough men to drop this very fast. God, I wish I had a full division. If I had a full division, we'd win this battle. I wouldn't even take this point. I would just win the battle with it. Because we're behind them. Hardy's finally moving up. Maybe his circle will make it to us. I'm hoping. Hardy wouldn't mind 24 7 drinking and having five ladies a night for every soldier brigade if the regiment were bands about to play more free tunes. <laughs> My regiment band is wanted to play more than three tunes. They know every Dropkick Murphy song ever written. I've been offered two divisions so far, but like my brigade, like the army right now is forming fresh divisions without placing the active brigades into divisions. Which is kind of weird. So they're forming new divisions with fresh troops, but the active brigades are not being put into divisions. So if my brigade was placed into a division, I have enough prestige to take that division over immediately. But they're just not doing it. Wizards of War equivalent of the Italian Army in World War II. Uh, the Italian Army in World War II did not fight that badly. They actually fought pretty well, but they were under... They were... They were never supplied properly. It's probably the best way to put it. Because the Italian Army... take The Italian Army, like the French Army, takes a lot of shit. They're actually very effective fighting forces. Honestly, the uh, when you look at it, the Italian Army actually had a better armor doctrine than the Germans did. And they adopted a lot of what the Italians wrote up. The Italians never put it into a practice because they never had the armor that they should have. But if you actually look at the doctrine they wrote up, it was one of the best doctrines of the war. It just they didn't have the equipment to put it into practice. End of day.
If you don't give me one division, I'll take those hills. <laughs> and, okay, we're fucking back into the front. Now they're entrenched. I, shit, I forgot. I just can't move my brigade around without orders. So they're entrenched on this crossing point. But they're not entrenched at Blackburn's Ford. Okay. Let's go. Actually, let's come over here and fire at them across the stream. That'll work better for us. Average day for the Army Tennessee in real life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let my men march into position and I'll be right back while this plays out. All right, I'm back. Does it mean you've been easy kind of... <laughs> well, we can't talk about easy kai's until we get the traveling harem going. No shot, so you're behind enemy lines with no resistance and said, hey, don't be there. Yeah, exactly. Actually, this is probably a better position right there. Can't talk about Isekai's unless there's a Howard present. That's rules. They exist. Honestly, at my age, I shouldn't even know what the hell that is, but uh, I've been watching anime since before it was cool, so... Oh, there's Sykes. There's a guy who's been whispering in my ears. He's over here. There's Sykes' detachment, so which brigade does he have? Let's take a look. What brigade does Sykes have command of? He's got six brigade again. So we're fighting him again. He did the most damage to us in the last battle. And actually, let's get into the command box and get that free prestige.
taking the enemy objective, nullifying their entire defensive line, improving distraction that can throw the Union Army to this right. However, fuck you, get back over here. Exactly. And we lost control of that point, too. Even though they have no troops over here, we lost control of it. Boys, lay down. Let's reduce casualties because they're all still in range of us. And time for another topper. Yeah, I know the tree plot armor. I know. We're just we're firing at skirmishers, so they have plot armor until I'll expend twenty rounds of ammunition for every one of them I take down. So I already know that's gonna happen. So it looks like Are you guys gonna push across the ford? Looks like Griffith might push across the board. Oh, some pre free prestige. I'll take it. Deploy to engage. We're already engaged. What the fuck are you talking about, Hardy? Actually, we're going to see off these skirmishers. I'll pull my brigade back again, and then we're going to march around and try to <laughs> retake McLean House. Well, I want this battle over, and I want us in winter quarters, because I need to send my brigade home. We start with 3,000 men. We're down to 886. So, I need to send my brigade home to get some uh, reinforcements. Already drinking the entire... <laughs> Army's entire whiskey supply. The Army's entire whiskey supply is with my brigade, and I won't let him near it at all. Until he wins a battle, he gets none of my whiskey. If we actually win this battle... I'll let him partake of a little bit of it. Give him a taste of victory. Holy sh... Why did I look at the casualty numbers? Me and the mic again. Take a shot. Okay, I'm back. Stand back up, boys. Alright, fifth brigade, because cavalry going after them. Thank you. Cavalry just retreated. That's fine. And 
And let's push across. See if I might get the 10 bucks. <laughs> We can actually pull this battle off. I don't know if we can or not. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep firing at 5th Brigade. Gage it well. We're already doing that. I think we're about to lose this battle again. We've taken too many casualties. Again. The AI always recovers fast. Always recovers fast. I expect it. Brigades that should be broken and left the field stay on the field. It's just part of this game. 50% casualties, one star brigade, and they're still here. They should have broke already. Congratulations, Hardy. You managed to defeat an army half the size of your own, led by a seven year old man, riddled with gout, and only lost twice as many men as. <laughs> we, we don't even have the victory yet, so I'll hold that statement off. We haven't even won yet. And we might still lose this. So it looks like we finally might make our level 2 perk in this battle. Reviews for the you work at, and the first time ever you got mentioned in a review, and it was five stars. Nice. I'll be honest, I didn't even know Chuck E. Cheese was still a business. I thought they were gone. Nothing against you, I just didn't think they existed anymore. Never mind, I actually saw a commercial for Chuck E. Cheese on YouTube like, two days ago. Yeah, like two days ago I saw one. Okay. So Rami got rid of animatronics. Alright. I've actually never been to one. Even as a kid, I'd never went to one. Your promised Cedar Mountain, you lost 3,400 men, including three brigade commanders. Holy shit. That's a lot. That's a huge loss. Holy shit, we hit level 2 sharpshooter now. Finally! We should have done this two battles ago. We finally hit it. But we're not taking that many casualties this battle, but we're under 1,000 men. The level 2 sharpshooter means we have even more range. There we go. We're reaching out and touching some people. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Alright, we're pushing across the bridge. So, boys, let's go. Cross the bridge. Get across the pontoons. Force this last brigade off. Go grab that other objective point and come in behind the entrenchments. Uh, 
Uh, let's take a look at the losses. We're at 5,700 to their 3,400. Oh, he's about to move to a major... Yeah, he's in a major defeat area now. But the amount of casualties we've taken, that really doesn't matter too much. Because our losses are fucking disgusting. So to prevent a major defeat... Because we're still in a minor defeat area. We're still in a minor defeat. So to prevent a major defeat... We may not suffer more than 25% casualties or inflict more than 20% casualties on the enemy. So, we should actually be in a... By that description, we should have a major victory right now. I got enough prestige. I want to look to take over division and try to draw my brigade into it. Actually, everybody's pushing past us now. That's actually surprising. Holy shit, we're winning this battle. We just flipped over to a major victory. Though our casualties are still disgusting. Alright, let's start marching on McLean House. Get behind the entrenchments. I'm gonna say Hardy won this victory grudgingly. He grudgingly won. Like, he didn't want to win this, but we won. So it's not over yet. All right, Scott's starting to pull back. And why did my brigade stop moving? I love the marching music in this game. It just makes me tap my feet. Yep, Heifer came through. Holy crap, he's still... I thought you went back to sleep, Rainy. <laughs> I thought you went back to bed. Don't be too exhausted while driving, please. Now set to do first bull run. All right. Make the arbor look like Ulm. Yeah. <laughs> 25 prestige from gaining the objective. Nice. Yeah, his army's broken. So, why is this not over yet? Let's head down the road and see what's up with these boys. I got tobacco for your coffee. Uh, same here for me, Sonar. But I'll keep... As long as people are watching, I'll keep going. I'm actually pretty full of energy tonight. Because I took a... This is new. I've never had this one before. Getting us killed. I've never had this one pop up before. 
Getting us killed. Your reputation as overly reckless officers has taken hold of the men. They will fear they fear you will lead them to certain pointless death in this battle. If information about casualties and units surrounding spreads, men may lose heart earlier than they normally would, resulting in your side losing this battle even if What? What? Alright, so... I'm starting this over from the top. Getting us killed. Your reputation as an overly reckless officer has taken hold of the men. They fear you will lead them to a certain pointless death in this battle. Information about casualties and use routing spreads. The men may lose heart earlier than they normally would, resulting in your side losing this battle even if casualties are otherwise sustainable. That is so gonna fucking hurt my playstyle. That so hurts my playstyle, it's not funny. Holy shit. Alright, now he's finally retreating. Now all of his brigades are broken. He's finally retreating. You're getting us killed. 11% casualties. Exactly. You know what? Now I see that. Bayonets, boys. Go get these motherfuckers. Charge. We ain't getting killed. We're killing them. Get at them. Yeah, we can't even catch up to them. <laughs> that so hates that so hurts my play style. Oh. And I wish, I wish there was an option to call your commander out to a duel. I so wish there was. Especially looking at these numbers. I mean, we were attacking, so yes, we should take higher numbers of casualties. But Hardy almost threw this battle away. We almost lost this battle. We almost lost it again. So we lost 5,620 of our 27,860 infantry, 185 or 664 cavalry, 751 guns, total loss of 5,844 of our 29,289 men. Federals lost 3,300 of their 13,000 infantry, 15 of their 15 guns, total loss of 3,500. So, <laughs> so no ball, you, you're giving too much. Thank you. Thank you for the 10 spot. You're giving too much, man. You already, you already bought some guys some subscriptions. <laughs> Please. It's too much. I don't do this for the goddamn money. I do this because it's fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> But these, uh, these numbers are disgusting. We lost 5,800 men to their 3,500. We should have lost a lot less than that. But we did gain 105 prestige out of it. No such thing. Ah, yeah, there is. You, you do too much, son of ball. You do. But thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's save this real fast and take a look at the numbers. Yeah, I expect the death count exactly. Right, let's see how our brigade did.
Grandpa's Whiskey Viking. Wait, we only did 205? Well, we did a lot of marching, not a lot of fighting. So, yeah, we did 205 to infantry, 14 to artillery for total 221. Even that feels kind of low, though. Then again, we were firing against those skirmishers. That's another thing. All right. Did we lose any officers? Some Sadly, Hardy survived the fight. Hardy survived. I hate that. Posey was wounded. Eccles was wounded. I was wounded. All right, so we have three officers wounded. What do the Federals have? Time's wounded. Uh, time's dead. Okay. Time's dead. Negley's dead. Wow. Two officers killed in action. Okay. Butterfield's wounded. And Cox is... So, two dead, two wounded. Wow. I'm actually really surprised about that. As we close out of this battle. Yeah, we were mostly shooting against skirmishers, so we didn't cause as many casualties as we should have. But we finally got level 2 sharpshooter after three battles later after we should have gotten it. But we took a lot of casualties. And casualties cause your uh, experience levels to go down. Because your experienced men are dead. So it makes sense. It's not something you can complain about. It's one of the few things in this game they got really correct. Some of the limited union officers were decent high commit. I mean, they're high. The names are high sounding, though. I did. I can't look at their uh, stats, so their stats might not be that good either. Like Hardy actually has good stats right now, but he's not showing it on the battlefield. So, you look at avatars with name recognition doesn't mean they're actually very good leaders in the game. And Colonel Hill got disgraced. Okay. And Colonel Lomax got fame. What the fuck did he do? Fine, so everyone makes Hardy out to be just another Polk when he was solid, just not another. Ah. <sighs> You know, you're honestly right, Grim. I think a Hardy under different conditions would have proven to be a better officer. Under different conditions, he might have proven to be a better officer. Though, the conditions he was put under were not the conditions where he would have shined. And that's, that's most officers. Glorious victory to Alexandria. So we got the major victory out of that. Colonel Hill lost face... And they blamed the loss on the lieutenant colonel, so that's a battery commander. Feel bad for him. He doesn't deserve that. Scott should be disgraced. Though he put up a good fucking fight. Balve Alexandria's ended with the Department of Pennsylvania retreating in panic. My command has earned a total of remarkable strategic victory. Enemies reportedly suffered total casualties 3,511 men. There are 445 killed, 472 captured. Our casualties total 5,844 men with 658 killed, 2,032 missing, and the rest are wounded. We've captured 2,130 rifles and 7 guns from the battlefield and sent 500 soldiers off to our prison camps. And we should not... <sighs> yeah, brag... 
Brad got a lot more chances than he deserved just because he was Davis's friend. And Davis knew better. Davis knew better. So, and I blame a lot of what happened to Confederacy. Like, you can't blame the officers as much as you can blame Davis. Because Davis was a former Secretary of the War Department. He knew better. But he let his personal relations get in the way of him making practical decisions. And I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm wrong in that one. I mean, some of you guys might decide I'm wrong on that occasion, but uh, when you look at a lot of decisions that Davis has made, it's like he was a former War Department Secretary of the U.S. government. Some of these officers, he's friends of them because he served with them in the Mexican War when he was a militia commander. And he met them when he was Secretary of the Department of War. And he allowed those friendships to cloud his judgment. Just because you like the man doesn't mean he's good for command. Just because his rank is senior enough to deserve the command doesn't mean he should have it. And that clouded his judgment a lot. I think it's actually our second victory this campaign. <laughs> I mean, Longstreet fought on a break for one campaign and then immediately went back east. 57th Battle of Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg Commander U Cyborg Scott Union Strength 5 Men Confederate Commander William Hardy Confederate Strength <laughs> But if you look at it historically what I just said I mean I mean if you disagree with me tell me you disagree with me what I just stated for historical fact for the campaigns when you look at Davis and the way he treated commanders like Tell me if you think I'm wrong. As uh, someone who's in the Army Tennessee and your ACW gaming club, and you not get along. Yeah, I mean, who could get along with Bragg? No one got along with him. Nobody did. I mean, honestly, uh, looking at my military career, I probably would have gotten along with him. But it's sheer fact, I probably was one person who would tell him off. You know, I'm just looking at my career in general. I'd be the one asshole would tell him you're fucking wrong. As much as he didn't want to hear it, I would tell him that. Because that was what I was good at, telling officers what they didn't want to hear. Already had the doobies on being one of the few officers in the Army of Tennessee that wasn't brain dead. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're, you're completely right. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Hardy, but he was never... <laughs> He was not wrong either. You know, like a lot of officers on both sides, he, get, he gets colored by paintbrushes after the war. He was not a bad officer. He was actually a pretty good officer. If, he, if he'd seen higher command, he might have done better. But he did not. I mean, and you could say that about a lot of officers during the war, because you have a lot of officers who take a blame on some shit, 
but they're actually very good officers. They're just in the wrong place at the wrong time following their orders. And that's the sad part. The officers who follow their orders and lose get the fucking blame. Well, Bragg should have been replaced. Replacing Polk was a different question. You have to remember, we're looking at the war through 2020 glasses of hindsight. Polk was actually pretty fucking popular. Which is why he held the commands that he did. Was he a good officer? No, he was a fucking horrible officer. Nobody knew that. But the rank and file liked him. Much like, much like McClellan, the rank and file loved him. And that's why you leave some of those officers in command. It doesn't matter if they're a good officer or a bad officer. If the f rank and file follow that officer, you leave that person in charge. Whether you think they're a good officer or not. Whether they make good decisions or not. And Polk is a perfect example of a fucking bad officer. Polk and McClellan are the two perfect examples of bad officers, but their men love them. I mean, when you look at the uh, Chattanooga and Atlanta campaigns, Polk was the worst officer on the field for both sides. But they left him in command. He was actually worse than Bragg. If any of you guys think differently, please correct me. But that's just my personal opinion. And I'll say this right now. I wish he had taken that three-inch shell to his chest in the first year of the war. Would have saved a lot of casualties and a lot of mismanaged movements. McClellan was a great administrative officer. If they just, if he'd never been put in charge of the army, but just ran the training camps modern day TRADOC if he was commander of the modern day training and doctrination command phenomenal because that's that's the position he belonged in not in command of the army and the battle at Rich Mountain which he took all the credit for I've been to Rich Mountain it's actually a very small battlefield and he took way too much credit for that Remember doing tabletop game where presidents who didn't play war games issue orders? Yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. But I'm like, Davis knew better. But you have to remember, what a lot of people don't take into account, Davis commanded a unit during the Mexican War. Lincoln commanded a militia unit during the Black Hawk War. They, they both had military experience. They both knew better, but they're also both playing politics. And that's actually something else that's not taken to enough of account. A lot of politics were in play. A lot of politics were in play. Every decision made on both sides was based on politics. The Confederacy based a lot of their, more of their decisions on politics than the Union did, which is what really fucking was their death knell. Now, picture, and I think this would be a fun idea for a war game. 
if you guys hear me out, this would be a fun idea for a war game. You get two guys who are officers in the military commanding overall what that war is going on. But then you give a general overview of what's happening and have six people who are not watching the game on either side be Congress. And Congress decides what happens. And watch those officers try to deal with what these people are deciding. And all they get is a general overview. I think that'd be an extremely fun war game. A little too realistic, but fun. <laughs> and on each side, you name, you name one of those six Speaker of the House, and they make policy, and everybody has to vote on it. It does, doesn't it, Sonar? It probably be a little hard. It, it's going to be hard to pull off, but that would be a fun fucking war game. We not so good. I try. I I'd actually thought about doing that during this during a playthrough of this game, but it'd be a little hard to pull off because I'd have to delay my videos by at least a week each. Is that my normal uh, put them out? Like I ran a campaign like that on this game, it'd be one video a week because I have to wait for all the votes to come in. Huge fan of Oregon's special gimmick since my old French group's presence game. So you you actually tried something similar to what I just said. You already tried that. Because I'm thinking about running a campaign. I, I thought about this years, you know, two years ago when I first started this channel, running a campaign. Where all you see is a battle. You don't see what's happening on the rest of the map. You make your decisions based on the battle. Because you're, you're making your decisions based on news reports. Is that something I should try? Would you guys be interested in that? Anybody, anybody's watching right now. Would you be interested in doing something like that? Would bribery and corruption be allowed? Mm. That's actually something like... You know, the logistics of it's a little hard, but now that I, now that I started a Discord, we might actually be able to pull it off. Because I would actually leave it up... Like, I would leave it up to channel members to be the voting block. I would leave it the channel members be a voting block. And everything be done on Discord. And make a video off of that. But it'd be a week apart per video. Outside of a regular campaign.
Uh, yeah, uh, let, me put, let me put up my chat. Hold on. Yeah, I started uh, two weeks ago. There we go. Everyone's like, everyone's saying, hey, you need Discord, you need Discord. So I, I finally built one. Still working on it, but I finally built one. Actually, uh, pre-stream, pre that's where all the conversation is at. Pre like half hour before the stream starts, that's where all the conversation is before the stream starts. <laughs> It's like, I was like, yeah, we want your community to grow. You want your community, like, I want my community to grow. I was like, yeah, your community needs to grow. It's like, I really don't want it to because I got to, you guys are great. Like, everybody who watches me on the regular, I have a great tiny community and we have a lot of fun. I, I don't want to lose that, to be honest with you. I'll be straight up honest. I don't want to lose what we have. I don't want to become so big that I lose what we got going on with my regular views. I really don't. You guys make it so much worthwhile. Actually, you know what? So when my no, my weekly regular campaign shuts down with the uh, federal, which I think it's going to last another week or two, and I have to set up a new rebel campaign, I'll probably do it like that. We'll do a War Department campaign. We'll do a, a Congress campaign. So we'll do that. That's we'll, I will definitely set that up. We'll, my next weekly campaign series, so it's going to go down to one video a week just because of the logistics of it. But uh, I think it'll be worthwhile. You you all make the decisions. Congress makes the decisions, and I'll have to fulfill those decisions in the field. I think that would be a lot of fun. A little frustrating for me, I'll be honest. Probably be very frustrating for me, but uh. I think it'd be a lot of fun for the rest of you guys. And the frustration is probably a big part of it. Like, just be fun. Just as frustrating as it would get, be fun for me. Because, like, yeah, now I got to deal with a goddamn Congress. Can't do what I want to do. I can't be sickles. So yeah, so as soon as the Union campaign ends, which I think is going to be another week or two, we're going to do the next campaign. Is that you're going to lose a video a week, but I think it'll be a lot more fun for everybody because it'll be something really different. And no one else has done it before, as far as I know. No, no other streamer of this game. Actually, I think I'm the only streamer left for this game. I don't think anybody else does this anymore. Delivering whiskey. To <laughs> like I said, it'll be a weekly episode, not this weekly stream episode. The stream will stay separate. The stream will stay separate. Because the only way to pull it off would have to do a weekly video. And you, everybody has to make their decisions based on what happened during that video. Yeah, the only other game I, I, I stream two other games. I stream this, and I stream Ultimate Admirals, and I stream War Tales, which War Tales is not on a set schedule. That's just whenever I feel like playing it, because it's it's a change of pace. So whenever I feel like playing that, that's when that gets streamed. You can find that on a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Thursday. Lord knows when I'm going to play it. 
like right now I'm kind of jumping between, outside of my normal videos and the streams on this. I'm kind of jumping between farming some 22. For some reason, I felt like jumping back farm sim 22, which is, I think is a great game because it's very relaxing. That's a relaxing game to play. <laughs> I find that game very relaxing. I'm also playing hell divers on my PlayStation. Spreading democracy a thousand to five thousand bullets at a time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I try to do other things besides this stuff. He was he's calling you to the farm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I haven't touched that game in two years and the other... And Literally a week ago, I'm like, I haven't touched a game in two years. I'm like, I need to play Farming Simulator. I need to cut straight lines and make fields. I don't, what the fuck is up with that? I don't know what it is about that game. If any of you guys, have, anybody's watching right now, if you guys have ever played it, there's something about that game. Like, cutting straight lines, just relaxing and watching your farm track do its thing. It's like, there's just something about that game. It's a fucking kind of, it's addicting, but you don't know why. Helldiver, I'm definitely doing my part. Thousand bullets at a time. <laughs> you have a brigade in seven days with eight regiments? What the? What? What, like 300 men each? It is, Joel. It's one of the most relaxing. I don't know what it is about that game, but it's so relaxing. I didn't touch it for two years, and I just went back to it. And I'm just like, ah, this is nice. But I'm frustrated at the same time because I'm doing a logging campaign. On, I'm frustrated from all the logging, but it's so relaxing at the same time. It's weird. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. I can see that, Sonar Bar. Yeah, running a Stellaris campaign. Yeah. There, there, there are just some games out there. You don't know why. You want to play them. There's not a lot of action to them. But they're fun to play and relaxing at the same time. You know, FS22, Euro Truck Simulator, America Truck Simulator, Stellaris. There's... You got all these games out there which are frustrating as shit, but is they're very relaxing at the same time. It's weird. Dark Horse. Wait, how? No, Dark Horse is already. What the hell? Dark Horse, you already remember, or did you just renew? Because it's not telling me you, you already remember it. You didn't renew. So what, did you just wake up, Dark Horse? Imperator of Rome? I actually never played that game. I never played it. I looked at it, and there was a lot of teething issues with it. And now they've actually just given up on the game. So I don't want to jump into it at all. No, Dark Horse is one of my early members. Actually, no, he was... Oh, uh, you only bought the one month membership, that's why. Though it should have showed me as a renew. You were actually my... I'm look, I got the list right here. So I don't have a lot of channel members. You're actually my 10th member.
Who was the picker Colonel GG? Honestly, that's actually not too far off. <laughs> that's not too far off. Good, good pick. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, if you're not a member of Discord, jump into the Discord. I'm going to post a link up again right now. <laughs> that's actually not too far off. Though my beard's not that thick. I went to a barber yesterday and I had him, I asked him to neat my beard up and they kind of trimmed it down a little too much. I was a little unhappy. They trimmed it down a little too much. Oh, if you don't renew on the same day, it goes out. Okay. Oh, so there's a mod team watching out for the game? Okay. Because that game had so many teething issues. When it first came out, I wanted to play it, but there was a lot of, like, just watching the game, I'm like, ah, there's so many issues with this game. Because I wanted to start that game and do a save game into my CK3 files, which I thought would be great, but I'm like, I'm watching this game, I'm like, I don't think I can do that. Actually, you're going to see the screen go wild for a second because I'm going to go off screen for a second because with this game, the map moves when you go off screen. I'm going to go off screen for a second. And some of you guys have seen a photo of me. Some of you guys have not. So I'm going to put a new window here, get a picture of me up from Facebook in my reenactor uniform so you actually see what I look like. That's where they... Okay, send me a login code. Holy shit! This thing's still on my original... Okay, it's the first time I tried logging into it on my fucking computer. It's actually on my oldest email account. Holy shit. I have not looked at an email address in forever. Holy fuck. Holy shit. I've not tried logging to Facebook on my computer in forever.
Holy shit, he just got in. Holy fuck. I can't believe I remember that passcode. All right. Let's look for photos. I actually have been on Facebook on the computer in goddamn forever. This is kind of weird to look at it. I always do everything off my phone. There's Andersonville. Where's my most recent photo? Oh shit, my most recent photo is not... Oh shit, I posted that directly. That's why it's not on here. Shit. Alright, hold on. In my phone. I feel so technically unsavvy right now. It's not funny. Share button. I can't share this to Discord. There we go. No, no, don't back. What the? Okay, it went up. Okay, it went up. So if you jump to Discord onto general chat, you'll see a picture of me in my uh, reenactor uniform in front of the Irish Brigade Monument at Gettysburg. It's probably my most recent photo. Actually, that is my most recent photo. Damn, Rainy, you are a sexy bastard. Holy shit. I'll bring you home from a bar. Well, it's not a grumpy face reveal. I've already revealed it before, but this is uh, the most recent picture I have. And that was from... Uh, 
You know, Grandpa's my late, late, late uncle former's <laughs> roommate. <laughs> We're not going to space balls on this one. We're not doing space balls on this one. <laughs> Just picturing a bottle of whiskey with a beard. Exactly. Did your picture crash the net? Really? <laughs> are you that good looking or are you that ugly? Which is it? So that picture is from last Remembrance Day, which is in December. So it's not that old. I'm actually surprised I remember that goddamn login on the computer. Holy shit, it's still using my AOL address. My old AOL address, not even my new one. It's like... <laughs> that address is so old. I haven't used it in over 20 years. So, and the computer lawyer said, Oh, we think you typed in your address wrong. We're going to send you a passcode to this phone number. I'm like... I looked at the phone number. It's actually my old phone number from Italy. You know, when I was living in Italy, when I was stationed there 20-something fucking years ago. <laughs> Which was a clue to the uh, a clue to the password, to be honest with you. Nah, Ram, I'd take you home from a bar after a few beers. <laughs> That's not an ugly pick. Give me a few beers, I'll take you home. <laughs> or a few whiskeys. Maybe ten. <laughs> like I said, the best conversations happen on Discord. <laughs> oh shit, we're actually climbing. What does our army look like right now? I guarantee you I'm not in a division yet. Nope. They keep forming new divisions, but all the existing brigades don't go into divisions. So we're winter quarter. Oh, no, it's already March. Holy shit. We've been chatting this entire time while I had the game running. So we're going to go home to winter quarters. Men will be back in 54 days. And actually, there's my wake-up alarm for the weekday. It's 4.45 in the morning. Holy shit. Time flies when you're having fun. We're going to keep this one going. I'm having a lot of fun on this stream. Be real after to fairly take any one of us home. Exactly. You all look beautiful to me at the bottom of whiskey glass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was still going either. <laughs> like the window closed. Like I, I'm. I know the window was up for you guys, but it was closed for me. So I'm not even noticing time going by. It's already March. I meant to send the guys home after the last battle. <laughs> I think we're going for a record on this stream. 
We're going for a record time on this stream at this point, so I'm going to keep this going. I'm wide awake right now, which is fucking hilarious. So, uh, you guys definitely know I can go for a 24 hour easy. Got about four fingers left in this bottle. I got another bottle that's half full, so I'm going to keep going. Fuck this. <laughs> Think of it this way. You guys can go to sleep for an hour or two and wake up and I'll still be going. <laughs> 24 hour stream is going to be nothing. Speaking of which, if anybody's just joining us, like I said, if I get to a thousand subscribers, I will do a 24-hour live stream for charity. I to vote on the charity that we're going to give the money to. So, uh, if you like the channel, don't like the channel, but you want to see a 24-hour live stream, me getting drunk and just doing stupid shit, hit that subscribe button. You can pass. Yeah, actually, that's the picture I'm using. I just got to shrink it down a little more, make it with the painting. I make it look right, and that'll be the avatar I put up for everybody to download. So, if you want me in your campaign, I'm gonna do a download just for that avatar. But I'm trying to work on a flag also. I haven't gotten that worked out either. I'm not that computer savvy, so it takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I just noticed we're at 32 likes for this stream. Holy crap. That's the most I've ever had for a stream. Holy shit. Wow. I don't even know what the hell to say to that. Holy crap, we're doing good this stream. And we're at... Alright, only 17 people are watching right now, but we've actually had 183 people drop in on the stream. I'm... Wow. I am so surprised by that. That actually gives me motivation to keep going, to be honest with you. Shit. <laughs> I mean, we don't have a lot of people watching right now, but holy crap. I, I, I actually have motivation to keep going right now. You're not going to get a 24-hour live stream tonight, but holy shit. <laughs> Seeing numbers like that? I tell you what, what... As a streamer, seeing numbers like that just makes me want to keep going. Just wakes you up. Uh, I started at 7.30 Eastern. Or uh, 19.30 Eastern. Yeah, 0130 where you are, Rainy Day, but I started at 1930 Eastern time tonight. And it's now uh, 450 Eastern AM. Yeah, we're actually we're actually getting close to the record on this on this stream. We're actually getting close to my record. You know what? Keep, people keep watching. People keep liking. I will go 12 hours on this stream. So I think my record is 9. I will go 12 on this stream. Because fuck it, why not? Time flies when you're having fun, Ramshaw. <laughs> I will take this stream for 12 hours. As long as people are still here, I will go for 12 hours.
Which actually ain't that bad. Which means I have another two and a half hours to go. <laughs> Perfect practice for the 24. Like I said, tell everybody. 1,000 subscribers, 24-hour stream for charity. Tell your friends, tell your family, get everybody to subscribe. I'll do a 24-hour stream. Honestly, the best part about doing this is actually talking to you guys in the chat. You guys keep it going. Exactly. It, you, Joel, you're on the East Coast like I am. Yeah. <laughs> I started at 1930. I will go to 730 in the morning, make it a 12 hour stream. As long as people are watching, I will keep going. You may not understand me at the end, but I'll keep going. <laughs> We're 10 minutes away from my longest combined stream. Yeah, my combined stream was the longest when I did two campaigns the same day. That's right. But I will go to 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Which will be an even 12 hours. As long as you guys hang around and play with me. As long as you guys keep... As long as you guys are here. As long as everybody keeps showing up and just having fun. I will keep going. Well, I'm glad you're here for most of it, Sonar Ball. You, <laughs> you gave a lot more than you really should have. Thank you. You have a day off again. You have to change your game, but good time. Exactly. I mean, as long as you, as long as you don't have a campaign like my last two with those fucking extremely weird numbers, it's all good. You'll you'll come out on top. Like, we're not getting those weird... Uh, yeah. They're high, but they're not the weird numbers we saw in the last two campaigns. These numbers make sense. Unlike my last two campaigns where you saw 300,000, 500,000 men per side. Yeah. The day off and most of you planned was doing maybe a stream recording the first bit. Well, what's your Sonarball? What's your channel name? Put it up in the chat. Oh, we've gone into campaign season. Tell me to wake up and Grumpy's still streaming. <laughs> exactly. Rainy Days watching us while he's getting his truck ready for the day. <laughs> Having a little hair of the dog to get his day going. Up oh, there goes my alarm again. I didn't turn it off. I had snooze. I wake up at 4.30 in the morning for my regular job, so... <laughs> it's the weekend. My alarm's still going off. Your campaign is zero for eight battles because the division commander keeps throwing one division of 8,000 into master rep cores of 30 to 40. Yeah. It's like my last... You watched my last stream. That That's exactly what we were looking at. Uh, Sonar Ball, if it doesn't pop in the chat, put it up on the Discord. Because I think I might have to uh, fix something on the chat. Because I asked someone else to post a link earlier. It didn't go up. So uh, put it on the main channel of the Discord. Joel, what the? <laughs> I 
just looked over this court. I'm, I'm looking at this picture of a guy with a fucking mustache I'm jealous of. Holy shit. Oh my god. I've never seen that picture before. Holy shit. I can grow that goatee. I've done it. But that mustache. Holy shit. That is amazing. I know the map's going weird right now. I'm just looking at this picture on Discord. Holy shit. <laughs> How the hell do you maintain a mustache like that? Yeah, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just uh, go join my Discord real fast. <laughs> and take a look at that picture on Gerald Chat. Holy shit. <laughs> that is an amazing amount of facial hair. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I don't want a mustache that looks like... I'm happy with my beard. I think my beard is very lovely. But damn. <laughs> exactly, Ramsha. Some bike candles in that pick. <laughs> Holy shit. And time is flying in the game. <laughs> This is why I love our chat. Our chat is great. This is one of those things like everybody tells me you need more subscribers, you need more subscribers. I'm like, I'm happy with what I have with you guys. You guys make this shit so much fun. I don't need 2 million subscribers. I need you guys who are here every fucking weekend with me. And every weekday making odd comments on my videos. <laughs> Need a fort pillow, don't care. Like, these streams are so much fun with you guys. Jump between chat and the Discord and all the stupid shit we've put on there. It is so worth it. Poke someone's. Yeah, exactly. Poke someone's eyes out. You probably bayonet somebody with either end of his goddamn stash. He might have the longest. Uh, what's his name from the federal side? The most groomed beard. Uh, shit. What's his name? The biggest. Actually, the same length, but all permed. You guys know who I'm talking about. What the fuck's his name? Shit. It ain't about the money. It's not. It's like, it's having a small group. So you're absolutely right. It's like, it's not making the money. Like if it was about the money, I would have given up this channel long before worms did. Like, Oh, lack of morals. We actually had something happen. Lack of morals. Word of your recent outrageous behaviors traveled far and wide all the way to the government. Your name sparks controversy, and chances of you getting promoted to a higher position are slim for the time being. Yeah, this this picture is kind of PG-13 to my character. <laughs> no, no, no. Josh, jump on Discord. Take a look at me. 
Burnside be jealous. So it's the best thing about doing a stream is the chat. It's the, it makes it so much fun. Especially you guys. My chat is so degenerate. And the shit I repeat, I'm surprised YouTube has not demonetized me. Or actually kicked me off of YouTube, honestly. There's a reason I'm not on Twitch. I would have been kicked off Twitch already. <laughs> I want to start the harem. I think I need to be a division commander to get the liberal lady. I need to be a division commander to get her as far as I know. Then we go full harem anime. You like triple A's? We got them. You like single A's? We got them. Come join Grandpa's Traveling Harem today. Honestly, the best intro to any brothel is uh, Dusk Till Dawn with Chi Chin Chong. But I am not going to repeat those lines on YouTube. I will get so kicked off so fast. <laughs> As much as I want to repeat Cheech and Chong's lines to Dust Till Dawn, you two would kick my ass off. <laughs> Have you never seen Dust Till Dawn? And not the TV show, the movie. And watch his cheats is opening to the brothel. You've had a sad life. Stop. Stop watching what I'm doing right now and go watch that movie and just go watch that scene. <laughs> Remember your streams are rated 18 plus after the first No, they're they're rated 18 plus as soon as I start. <laughs> Exactly, Ram. That is one of the... Cheech and... That's got to be one of the greatest... I love Cheech and Chong movies. But Cheech doing that movie... Doing that scene, the opening scene to the brothel in that movie has got to be one of the best lines he's ever laid out. Something for no reason, Grandpa's channel would magically disappear. Exactly. Thankfully, I'm small enough where they don't notice me. You like full beer? We went up the floor. <laughs> Grandpa's traveling ham has everything you're looking for. <laughs> I don't know if we have one up to 400 pounds, but we do have Jeffersonia Davis. She's got something that will tickle you in another region you never felt before. <laughs> oh, God. Thank God my channel is small enough. PG-18 starts for the streaming chat, exactly. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to start... A, I didn't have a chance to start a discussion in Discord today, but uh, generally, uh, Discord's where you go before the uh, stream starts. <laughs> we gotta get warmed up.
Grumpy, you have Winfield. <laughs> Good one. That's a good one. That was a good one, Josh. That was a good one. <laughs> you like them big, you like them round, you like them sleepy. We got her for you. <laughs> We got Winnie Scarlet for you boys. Wait, are we in a siege? Yeah, we are, and I can't take it to a fucking assault. God damn it! Ten percent whiskey discussions, exactly. We're in a fucking siege, we're gonna lose it. Oh, forty six thousand twelve hundred. Yeah, those numbers are kind of high. What do we have, have in the field right now? We're even on. Okay. After saying Winfield Scarlet, all of a sudden I'm having hiccups because of that shit. Fuck me. I remember what someone said about someone having worse on their moral test at West Point than Earl Van Dorn. Mm, yeah, I need a little clarification for that one. If West Point has a morals test, I want to take it. Oh shit, we won that. I think we're going to lose. Literally, if West Point has a morals test, which I'm not aware of, I want to take it. I'll do a whole separate video on it. And you know I'm going to fail that shit. Badly. But I'll still probably rank higher than some of the best officers that came out of there. I'll be honest, when I was a kid, I wanted to go to West Point. I never had the grades for it. And then, uh, back in, I want to say it was 2007, 2008. 
you know, my battalion commander, commander of the 69th at the time, offered me to go to West Point. I was a fucking year too old for it. Because prior enlisted can go to West Point. They actually have a number of slots open for prior enlisted. But you cut out by age. And I was a fucking year too old. Oh, you heard about someone doing worse than Earl? Honestly, these days, with modern kids, with the modern kids going to West Point, none of them, none of them are ever going to match the grades of the priors. Anybody goes to West Point today is never going to match the grades of the priors and never going to match the discipline levels of the priors. None of them can do it. Because I, I also I can guarantee you. I can go to West Point today, go full on austerity, and not match Lee. Because they won't allow it. But even with today's generation, they don't get the demerits like they used to give out. They don't do that. But when it comes to like former enlisted going to West Point, there's a reason there's an age limit on it. There's a big reason. And even actually when I hit that one when I went the one year over, there's a good reason for that. I've already been in the army fucking eight years when I was offered. How well do you think it would have taken me, a freshman, handling a senior tell me to go do something and I how long do you think it would have told me that kid tell him to fuck him off? How long do you think it would have taken? <laughs> you gotta look at it that way. And uh Dark Horse looking at your name, I I know what you know what I'm talking about. Sorry for the last pick. That was the night you got slapped from her. Yeah, it's not that bad looking. No, but I understand why West Point does that because enlisted personnel we're assholes always be the assholes you know when we go Mustang it's a big difference Tony you would join the Navy at 13 yeah actually yes but you can still join the Army and the Navy at 16 in England as far as I know Battle Cinco de Mayo. Great drinking holiday in America. I mean, 
a lot of you guys have been watching me long enough. Imagine me being a goddamn officer the way I speak. Never gonna happen. Is that correct? Was at, at 16 years old you can join that, I believe. As long as you have your parents' permission, you can still do it. It's 17 in America, it's 16 in England. Oh, you gotta wait the two years to your 18 for your pension? It doesn't start when you first join at 16? That's fucked up. That should not matter. You join the army at 16, that should count to your pension. You gotta wait two years for that? That's fucking shit. That's bullshit. Or you're 16 or 18, you're still in the fucking army. It doesn't matter if you're combat deployable or not, you're still doing the fucking job. And you're freeing up other people to do another job. That's fucking bullshit. You're two years for the king. Fuck that. Your two years for the king counts for something. And it should count to your fucking retirement. Like, even the U.S. Army, you can join at 17, and that counts to your 20. That's complete bull fucking crap. You know, we're doing bullshit and stuff, and not shit. Yeah. That's, it's not the Army doing bullshit, it's the government doing bullshit. Grim Harbinger, who knows? I would have been in command of ship at the line again. <laughs> Full iron side was ever captured. She's still an actively serving ship in the U.S. Navy. She's docked in Boston. I'd actually actually pick, pick me up a pack too, Rainy Day, because uh, I'm running low. <laughs> but besides that, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. What am I missing, chat? We're going to love out of stage in World War II, and they found out when he was going to OCS. Demoted him, made him go an extra two years. What? The fuck? That's bullshit. No, I'm not dumb enough. I'm more like Richard Sharp. But like I said, it was my old uh, battalion commander wanted me to go to West Point. He's like, you should be there. And I was just too old. And there's no, there's no such thing as being too gentlemanly enough because I've met several officers that are anything but gentlemanly. Well, imagine starting, as, starting out as some boot ass LT with fucking 10 years in the army. And tell, and tell your platoon sergeant to go fuck himself. Because you ain't my daddy. <laughs> Which quote about Forrest? There's a few of them. New companion. Holy shit. Oh, we got the fucking... I didn't want the goddamn brown noser. We got the brown noser. God damn it. Well, attending a ball recently, you ran into a very handsome and charming major. Seems to know people who know people who know there's the best party at. As he's well acquainted in the social circles, his presence increases your fame. This is not the guy I wanted. God damn it. So we got the suicidal flag bearer, the inglorious partisan, and the fucking charming major. He's not. I did not want the charming major. If I was a professional officer, I'd want the charming major, but we're not a professional officer. God damn it. Our chances against the liberal lady have just gone down a little bit. We need the liberal lady. Josh, I was gone less than two minutes. I don't even want to hear it. Well, most of my campaigns, if you look at my headquarters, that's a great... They're spaghetti western jokes most of the time. This one's not. We are not... For as crazy as my character is we're not getting the craziness of companions that we should And yeah, actually, my horse is still alive, amazingly. I can't believe that's still alive. Breakfast is still alive. We haven't eaten him yet. <laughs> we haven't eaten breakfast. I still have all of my limbs. I haven't fallen out of saddle drunk singing Mary Had a Little Lamb yet. Everything that should go wrong and could go wrong has not happened yet, which has me a little worried.
This campaign is not going as expected. At all. Well, I told you, Sonar, I'll go to 7.30 tomorrow. I'll make this in even 12 hours. You guys hang out the entire time. I will go a full 12. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. I will keep going to 7.30 a.m. Make this a full 12-hour stream. As long as you guys hang out with me. No, nah, we've had bad luck, but we haven't had a Mel Brooks movie moment yet. I'm going to say that. We haven't had a Mel Brooks movie. Smooth Opera. Oh, this is new. I've never seen this one before. Smooth Operator. Lately, you've been the life of any party you attend. Thanks to the company of a charming major. Who knows? This small talk can manage to introduce you to many of the important figures and lovely ladies present. Ooh, nice. As word travels, your reputation precedes you. And for the time being, you may take advantage of an increased prestige while it lasts. I mean, with a face like mine, who couldn't be a smooth operator? <laughs> You're playing, you got the liberal lady while playing a religious warrior of God. Really? I need a liberal lady in my camp because there's a special event for her to set up a traveling harem. Well, I guess uh, in your campaign, you're meant to save her soul, unlike me. In my campaign, we're not to save souls. We're out to collect them. Ladies love a good beer. <laughs> Maybe join Pokemon give you a chance to liberal. Yeah, if we're going to get the liberal lady. I think it's going to be at Division Commands when we get her. Alright, nobody's moving right now. We're at full readiness, so... And it's June of 1862. Yes. Wait, 368 prestige to request that movement? What? Hold on. Let's slow this down a little bit. The character must be a member of Gumpy's religion. Whiskey. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at our core composition right now. Are we still... We're still set brigade. I know that. So there's four divisions in all these separate brigades. They still have not been put into a division. What the fuck?
We've actually had three battles. My my horse has not been shot out from under me, and I have not been wounded. I have not fallen off my horse drunk. So I'm. This playthrough is not going the way I planned it. Actually, how much would it take me to take over command of one of these divisions? Hold on. Eight ninety three. For B's division. Oh, shit! I did not mean to hit that. Fuck me. Uh, where's my old brigade? Fuck! I just lost my brigade. Shit. Well, I have a division. But I lost my brigade. Give me a second here. Going to mute my microphone for a second. Everybody take a shot. I'm still trying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck me! Alright, I feel better now. So, alright. Channel members, so Cavalry Brigade's not up for grabs because that belongs to Grim Wolf. He always wants Cavalry Brigade. So, I got a Texas Brigade and a Georgia Brigade up for grabs for channel members. And a North Carolina battery. So, uh, channel members. Everybody in the chat with green names, your channel members. So, Cal Brigade's off limits for Grim Wolf. So, two infantry brigades and a battery are up for grabs. No, we don't have enough prestige to take him to the division. Otherwise, he would have grabbed them already. So on those land destroyers for the uh, battery, you got it. Kelly zeros, exact. Okay, you got it. So. I think it works for the uh, Texas Brigade. I 
up to oh grim you wanted the texas brigade grim give me your name or adelen uh we're not no the, the division is getting a separate name altogether so if you want one of the brigades you got it actually uh kelly's hero is going to make you the georgia brigade Grim, give me a name for the Texas Brigade. Fighting Towers? Okay. So the division is always going to name the Whiskey Rebels. The Corps is going to be the, uh, if we ever get command of the Corps, it will be Grumpa's Traveling Harem. The division is always the Whiskey Rebels, though. And I have to save the Cav Brigade for Grimwolf. Actually, I'll just rename it right now. Grim's Wolf Riders. Riders, not risers. We got Grim's Wolf Riders. Texas Fighting Heroes. Kelly's Heroes and Sonar's not Z Landis Landis There we go. I'm drunk and it's almost six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like I said, I go to seven thirty in the morning, go full twelve hours. As long as you guys hang her out. We just got to get my brigade back into the division at some point. Hopefully it doesn't get disbanded before I get it back. A new commander of my brigade does not like me. Which means my men don't like him. Villapu is okay with me. Preston hates me. Davis hates me. Sonar bar, come on, stop. I mean, happy hangover, Sonar Ball, but goddamn, come on. Thank you, thank you so much, but please. You're giving too much already. You're giving too much already, but thank you. Doesn't matter, Sonar Bro is starting his own channel, or so. When you get the channel going, we gotta get you got we gotta get you going, so. Alright, we got two hours left. We got two hours left. I think I found a way to bully Grandpa next and give him all the money for all the <laughs> You get more laughs out of me without giving the money. I'm extremely appreciative, believe me. I'm extremely appreciative. 
and all that's going into the stream. All right, so we're not going to get Marine Brigade yet. So when I take over core, you will get a Marine Brigade. Time for a refill. Oh, fuck me. I got two fingers left in that bottle. All right, we're division commander now. I have to get my brigade back into the division at some point. I have the uh, prestige to do it later on. That's the only problem with this chat. You guys are so much fucking fun. And an hour went by, and I'm looking at the chat. An hour went by in game. I didn't. Even, I wasn't even looking at the map the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people watching the gameplay going, "Why is he not playing the map?" Because I'm looking at the fucking chat. And what the fuck's going on in Discord? Okay, my Discord chat is almost as fun as the main chat. What the fuck? Legos. Hold on. <laughs> We're talking Legos. Oh my god. Discord. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. I don't know what's more fun right now, my main chat or my Discord chat, because both are kind of fun right now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Discord is Legos and Dad telling somebody to go to bed. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are great. You guys are fucking awesome. I'm trying to catch up on the goddamn Discord chat. It's just great. I know Sonarbar, you already left the chat, but you got a 1989 set of Legos for fucking Batman with the Joker played by Jack Nicholson. I'll buy that shit from you. Just give me a price. Tell me the price. I'll buy that shit from you. Right now. Holy shit. Jack Nicholson Joker. He's number two Joker. He used to be number one, but he fell to number two after Heath Ledger, because Heath Ledger Joker, fuck me. <laughs> right, fuck you, Hardy. Let's go to Washington. 331 prestige, let's go. Oh, we only have 109 prestige left. Fuck. You're responsible for it. You didn't know that until now. The older you get, the more responsible you get. You got to watch out for the youngins. Keep doing stupid shit. Make sure you don't get too stupid. That's the way I look at it.
like my boys from the army, all my younger kids keep calling, hey, hang out with us. Hang, come out and do this. Come out and do that. And I show up and it's like, don't be too stupid. Then I get into a fight. And it's like, stay over there. Don't join in. <laughs> I'm all about doing stupid shit in front of the youngins. Just not letting them do it themselves. Yep, and I have a bunch of Batman miniatures in this case. The Arkham Asylum joke. Okay. Yeah, as soon as I get a second division door course, you get in a brigade. No, you can't leave yet, Josh. You can't leave. You're not allowed to leave. I got an hour and a half left. You gotta stay. So I was going 12 as long as you guys hung around. You got to go with me to another hour and a half. Remember again where you once shot Mr. Freeze's Ra's al Ghul? Really? Uh, you leave me too, Alta Lane? Oh. You give me low hopes for my 24 hour stream. I'm practicing my 12 tonight. You give me low hopes for 24. Don't worry about it. I'm breaking you guys' balls. Have fun. Good night. Have a good rest before you have work again. For me, it's Sunday, so I don't have work, so. I can bitch moan and complain, but not feel the consequences. Right, it's 5.50. We're going to 7 a.m. for the 12 hours. Or actually going to 7.30 for the 12 hours. So, uh, if you're a new viewer, returning viewer, you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Follow the content you enjoy. Bay not that like button. Drop a butt stroke in that comment section. And we're going to keep this thing going. We're going to full 12 on this one. Whiskey, caffeine, and nicotine, and a little bit of hatred. That's how I'm still going. <laughs> like I said, we're going to the full 12 tonight. We are practicing for the 24. Like I tell everybody, I get 1,000 subscribers. I do a 24-hour live stream for charity. We'll hold a vote prior to the live stream for what charity money is going to. And I'll do a 24-hour live stream for charity. And I'm just kind of practicing for that right now. But like I said, we're going to 7.30 a.m. Which will take me 12 hours. So we have an hour and 48... Uh, an hour and 38 minutes left on this stream. So... Let's keep going. I got whiskey, I got smokes. Well, actually, I'm out of, kind of out of smokes, but I still got whiskey. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. 
Might be out of smokes, but I got whiskey. Just remember, even if you fall asleep and not paying attention anymore, leave it on your leave it on your TV channel, leave it on your phone. Just keep the app open. What's it on TV, your phone, anything? Yeah, you might fall asleep watching me. But keep it open; it helps. You all got to practice for the twenty-four, just like I am. I know we only got 12 concurrent viewers right now, but holy shit, we actually reached 192 views during this stream. That's a fucking record. With 34 likes on 12 concurrent viewers. Holy shit. This is like, I'm looking at numbers right now that are usually post stream. And I get us in. Burns 37 prestige. I have 109. That's not happening. Yep. Yeah. Spoke one for you, Grump. <laughs> We're in today. I love you because you're always around. just kind of pissed off we've been sitting here for months without doing anything run this back up to x20 You know, I would like to say, let me pause this game and let me run down to the deli, but it's going to take more like half an hour to do that, so I can't do it. Zasser at Fort Henry. Yep, that makes sense. And glorious victory at Paris Landing, so we just won a major battle somewhere. It'd be over here. Actually, up here. Never mind. <laughs> Rainy day, I'm surprised you didn't go back to bed for a few hours of nap before you went back to work. Like I said, we're going to full 12 on this one. practice for the 24 so we actually have an hour and a half left we got an hour and a half left on the 12 hours in practice of the 24 hours 
But like I said, I might be out of smokes, but I got whiskey. Now, I just wish I had enough prestige to order uh, Hard Eagle open to Washington. I wish I had this prestige for that. It takes over 300 prestige. I have 109. So we're stuck sitting here. I used to chew. I used to chew. I actually chewed and smoked at the same time. Years ago. If you met me 20 years ago and <laughs> Dark Horse, I mean, look, look at, look at your name, Dark Horse Main 06. Yeah, you're Commander or something. Like if you met me 20 years ago when I was still a young private, and I smoked. I'm from New York City. I smoked. Started smoking. When I, I think I was 13. Then I joined the army. I was introduced to chew. I did both at the same time. I was smoking chew at the same time. I haven't chewed in years, though. And disaster Fort Donaldson to be expected. Like when I did chew, or uh, when I at least dipped. You know, three hour drive before pulling the car and going to sleep for three. Okay. As long as you don't get in trouble. As long as you don't get in trouble. You didn't sleep too long and you woke back up and started watching me again. As long as you don't get yourself in trouble, that's all good. But as far as Zip is concerned, I started with Cope. I drop a shot of whiskey into my Cope. Coat black. And is that your Fort Henry? Okay. So I used to do coat black when I was in the army. I'd throw a shot of whiskey in there. Nowadays, the only thing I chew on when I'm on a range is I woke up at the range chewing on a bullet. Like the old school asshole I am. Though I do have a dip in my mouth when I do that. Well, this is an E5 walking onto the range with gray hair. With a fucking bolt in his mouth. You'd be surprised how well people react to that shit. <laughs> and I actually retired at 20 years as an E5. I'm one of those assholes, you've you seen meme pictures of like soldiers, like World War II, Korea soldiers. You see these fucking meme pictures of all these medals and all that shit. And you go, that's a story. I'm let I'm that living story. And you can ask anybody who knew me. I'm that living fucking story. I retired after 20 years as a fucking E5. Oh crap, we're down to 10 viewers. I piss people off? Fuck me. Might have. Then again, it's uh, 6 a.m. here. We have an hour and a half left on this stream. I know it has not been exciting for the last two hours. 
But we're going to the full 12 on this one. You ever tried Swedish snus? No, I have not, actually. But it's probably the same snus that we get in the States, honestly. It's probably the same thing. Now, the snus I had in Afghanistan, that shit was wild. <laughs> Sock 2004, thank you for subscribing. Now, the snus I had in Afghanistan, that shit was fucking... Holy crap. That's a different story altogether. Gotta reach back into my memory from 20 years ago in Afghanistan on that one, but holy shit. Afghani snuff. That shit was fun. No, I did out of tin with them. The uh, the guys I was working with, I did out of a tin with them. Oh, this is new. This is new. I've never seen this before. This is new. Ruthlessness. Your reputation and ruthlessness is well known within your unit. The men think, maybe rightfully, that you're a complete psychopath. As even the smallest of misbehaviors is met with ruthless penalties. Many ending their career in front of a firing squad as ordered by you. This reputation causes the volunteers to leave the army. I've never had this perk before. What the fuck? You're an Iraq from 07 to 08. Okay. I was there from uh, 03 to 04 with the invasion. It was a little bit of a different animal. It's actually kind of fun, to be honest with you, because there was no rules. Invasion of Iraq back in 03. It was an animal... That was, it was an animal, <laughs> best way to say it. I did not have a bad time in 03. Iraq 07 to 08, I, I, I wasn't there. So I don't know what you went through. 03 was a fucking different animal. I believe it. It's like, uh, I served in Iraq from 03 and 04 with the invasion. I served in Afghanistan 05, 06 with the 173rd. I did Iraq 03 with the 173rd and then I joined the guard. It's been 15 years there. So my experience is very, very, very differently from yours. So...
I did most of my most of my time in Iraq and Afghanistan was early war. I did not have to deal with a lot of shit you guys did. I'll be honest. And I give you guys props for the shit you had to deal with. What I had I dealt with I dealt with all the early war stuff. And you guys dealt with the, all the fucking repercussions. And I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Turns out being a drunk psychopath is bad for It's not bad for my command. Come on. Grim, you're watching my stream. I'm a drunk psychopath. It's not bad for my command. <laughs> no, no, like I said, uh, Sog, so like I said, I was in the 173rd. Uh, had nothing to do with the 82nd. I was in the 82nd when I first joined the army. Like, the, the time period you're talking about, the 173rd was not involved in. First of the 504, though, I was actually third of the 504. And that unit does not exist anymore. Torius Duxbellum, you were in Iraq in 07, Afghanistan for times. So you were, you went there after I did, yes. Once you're told you're only proper soldier, you do job drunk. Uh, actually, yeah, that's pretty true. So like, I'm looking at the conversation in the chat right now. So I'm going to I'm going to explain this right now. So like, when I was in Iraq and Afghanistan, I was part of the invasion of Iraq. I'm one of the guys who jumped into there. I was part of Operation Northern Delay. We did a lot of shit. When you talk about Iraq from 03 to 04, there's not a lot written about it because there was a lot of stuff that happened. And is still not available for public consumption. When it comes to Afghanistan, when I was there, which was 0506, and I was in 173rd Airborne, everybody, everybody thinks about Afghanistan, they think 173rd Airborne Brigade, they think Restropo. And yeah, they deserve all that credit. And a lot of shit happened during that deployment. But that was the deployment after me. The deployment I was there, nobody writes about that shit. But at the same time, it's kind of like Iraq back in 03. It's like we worked for a lot of three letters. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys in chat get it. You guys get it. You guys get it. Not everybody does, but I see everybody's answering. They understand what's going on. It's kind of hard sometimes, like, you see these funny, like, especially Saga, like, you got these funny stories, you want to tell these funny stories. You can't always tell them. I've been promoted. 
Really? I've been promoted to Brigadier General. Now you can apply for command of following units. Brigade, division. I'm already brigade commander. Fuck you. Fuck you, Hardy. You're horrible. I already have a division. I want your core. Well, we got an hour and 20 minutes left on this stream. Why are we still... What the fuck? Why are we still in the red? Why are we still in the red? Actually, you know, I never wore a mop gear during the invasion. Uh, because I jumped into our, I jumped into northern Iraq during the war. We didn't wear the mop gear because uh, if they dropped it, yeah, we didn't take a mop gear with us. This whiskey, yeah, it's been kicking for hours. It's been kicking for hours. You can't hear that, my voice? I'm better drunk than I thought I was. You can't hear my voice? I'm better drunk than I thought I was. I'm actually a whole bottle down. I just opened another bottle. <laughs> I'm just, I'm running to 7.30 for the full 12. Like I said, I'm going full 12 on this one. Well, the whiskey cooked in eh, about three, four hours ago. Uh, that's actually rainy day, uh, I would never fully understand how you guys who has been to war headed over there, but I'm always trying to be open about Okay. I'll tell you what, Rainy Day. I wanna go I wanna come over to Norway, I wanna go to Sweden. I'm definitely gonna hook up with you. I'll tell you a few stories. You'll hear some fun stories out of me. Oh, there's no way we're not losing this one. Fuck me. Fuck me. So we got General Scott with 69,350 infantry, 2,300 cavalry, and 40 guns going against. Pardon me, Hard D. Give me a fucking shaft up the ass, Hardy. Yes, I just made it up right now, so it doesn't sound right, but fuck him. 42,000 infantry and 70 of them, and 3,700, we'll call it 3,800 cavalry, and 58 guns. Well, let's jump into it. What's three times? <laughs> we haven't won a single battle under Hardy yet. We've lost them all.
it's honestly campaigns like this. Like, I'm going for so many hours. I'm like, I can't wait to start my travel vlog just to take a goddamn week off. <laughs> I've been taking three, three weeks off for that vlog, but you get what I'm saying. Now, I'm wondering if I can live stream my entire drive from New York City to San Francisco. I wonder if I can do that. What we got going on here? What the fuck is this shit I'm looking at right now? We're defending Wilderness Tavern. Okay. About to come in here. And... What the fuck am I looking at? Thank you, easy point. All right, Grim, come out this way. We're supposed to be defending back here, but we're up here. Right, fuck this. We're not sitting on the main line. Texas, come back here. Heroes, come back here. And the battery in between. Right, we got an hour left, buddies. We got an hour left. Actually, I was Dark Horse. I was. Back in 03. We stopped working with them after six months. After we realized what was happening with the uh, prisoner exchanges. I know it's a little weird. I'm not pushing up on the object, but we are holding the objective, so I'm not pushing on anything. I know it's a little weird. There's the Yankees. But uh, one of the things I got to say, when you look for the 173rd from Iraq in 03 and Afghanistan in 05, 06, good luck finding anything. Good luck finding anything.
course your phone's not being dumb. <laughs> Slow this down. Texas Heroes advance against this brigade. Battery, we're going to bring you right along the road. Kelly's Heroes. That's against Second Brigade. And actually, where, where the fuck did we send the calf? Yeah, fuck you, Hardy. Where the hell did we send our calf? Oh, yo. Where the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? You guys are always back here? Holy shit. So now we're gonna bring your battery up over here, catch these guys in the flank. Just <laughs> exactly, it's just chilling. <laughs> Texas, why are you not advancing anymore? I told you to advance. Let's go. Keep moving. I told you to move. Get fucking moving. Going one of those fucking battles. Fuck you, Hardy. I'm already gauging at will. My batteries are ahead of my infantry. That's bad. That's why I scoffed when I read that. Shit.
Yeah, start cooking. Brenda, are you cooking or driving? You gotta make it with your mind. Because that sounds really fucking good right now. Are you cooking or driving? Mandate pork lens and pasta. Oh, God. You're making me hungry. Yeah, we're, we're, we're invading your house. We're invading your house. You got guests. That sounds fucking delicious. Ready date. I'm buying a ticket right now. I'm coming over. I'm buying a ticket right now. That sounds so fucking good. I'll spend that money. <laughs> All right. Kelly Zeros, come on up. Get over here. You're not hanging out in the back. You're Kelly Zeros. Push on to the front. I think you got some cereals. <laughs> the fuck is in front of me right now? Blanchard's Brigade in front of me. Fuck you, we're advancing past you. Who's that? This battle is so over the place, it's not even funny. On top of me being drunk, so... Yeah, beef joint for mm. beef joint for Sunday dinner. Ramshaw, where are you living? Where are you living? Coincide with New York City. If it's more than five hours away, I might still come. <laughs> you thought you were? You got so much from New York City showing up. We got one hour left on this stream. And it's actually kind of all over the place on this battle. Graham, you gotta come out to the flank. Push up to here. Texas, you're actually doing great for me right now. Stay right there. Stop and just fucking pour fire into them. Defect mash. 
Oh, fuck you. Ram shorts. Don't mess with me like that. God damn it. Don't mess with me like that. Oh. Don't mess with me like that. That sounds too good. No, that's the best way to do it for any day. That's basically the best way to do it. Wait, you described it? Mm. I keep saying, I, I got a band talking about cooking for my channel. I really do. God damn it. Stop. Stop. God damn it. Stop, Ramshaw. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm not placing a ban on anti cooking, but god damn it. You gotta mail me some of your leftovers. That's all I gotta say. You gotta mail me your leftovers. Holy shit. Actually, I am going 12 hours, Kriegsman. I'm going 12 hours. 7.30 a.m. I'll be going 12 hours. No joke. So, I do actually have... One hour left. I haven't been to a Denny's in so long as I am funny. Duck fact. Oh, God. Rainy day. I'm going to come to Norway just to fucking hit you for that comment. Jesus Christ, that sounds so good. I'm gonna come to Norway just to hit you. <laughs> that sounds so good. But yeah, Greg, we're going I'm going to full twelve on this one. I got an hour and a little less than an hour. I got forty eight minutes left. We're going to twelve thirty AM. Practice for the 24. Let's practice for the 24. Once again, as a reminder, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going 24-hour live stream for charity. No money goes to me. It's all for charity. And we'll hold a vote on what charity we're doing. So, you want to do? Anybody's watching right now? You want to get in on that? Become a subscriber free so uh yeah i'll do 24 hour live stream you see me going 12 hours right now i'm going 12 hours right now shit faced i do 12 hours sober and then 12 hours shit faced join in get on the fun duck fat versus oh god right Stop! Stop talking about food rainy day. Please stop. 
That sounds so good right now. Holy shit. That sounds so good. I'm trying to advertise a 24 hour live stream and you guys are talking about food? You're killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> Duck fat. I can't get that in my head. I want it so bad. I love duck. I love duck and duck fat roast potato. Oh my god. I hate you guys. I really do. <laughs> I actually love you all, but I hate when you come to talk food. <laughs> I love all you guys. Just when it comes to talking about food, I hate you all. Free Mackey's currently is a long time. <laughs> God. Mackey's. Holy shit. I haven't heard that name forever. I didn't know they're still around. You went to work at 12 30 and I'll still go. Yeah. Like I said, 7 30 a.m. 12 hour practice stream. As long as you assholes are here, I'm here. This is my practice stream. <laughs> Keep torturing me. <laughs> Uh, I did not do a stream yesterday. I was, at, I was actually at a party. It was a family get together. I did not get the chance to leave. Suffice to say, every time I tried to leave, one of my older uncles came up. Hey, have a drink with me. Have a drink with me. So, uh, yeah. Stream did not happen yesterday. So, the uh, China campaign is on hold until next weekend. Curry or bolognese for dinner. Wait, you gotta go bologna. Bologna sandwich, all the way. Unless you're Indian, then yeah, go curry. Roast pork and cracking with Krieg, fuck you. That's all I'm gonna say. That sounds so good right now. Crackling potatoes. Oh. I'm not even paying attention to the battle my brigades are in. I'm looking at... You motherfuckers. I'm staring at the goddamn chat with all this food. We've been fighting in this battle for how long? I'm not even paying... Paying attention to my brigades. <laughs> look, at, look at food chat. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> the last few battles, yeah. I got my brigade fighting. I stopped paying attention to my brigade because of fucking food chat. Fuck you guys and your food. Not really. Fuck my stomach and your food chat. That's a, that's why I got into that. <laughs> God damn it. I'm ignoring my boys because of food chat. <laughs> oh, exactly. It's, it's 6.43 for me. I got... Like I said, I got less than an hour left. I got 45 minutes left. But I'm, I'm, I'm walking through the chat. I'm talking to you guys in the chat. I'm going, we're talking about food at this point. I'm like, 
I'm ignoring my brigades because of you guys. It is glorious torture. <laughs> it is glorious torture. Speaking of which, I gotta pour another drink. Hold on. Finish that finger off. We'll all be done by the time you get from the missus. Uh, Creek, by the time you get from the missus. You haven't gotten up. She's coming down the stairs while he's still watching me going, what the fuck are you doing? They just introduced her to my voice. <laughs> uh, we got one brigade standing who hates us. Uh, where's my other brigade? There's my battery. I am so busy paying attention to the chat, I have no idea where the fuck my division is. Oh, that's a normal barbecue for any day here in America. That's a normal barbecue. Whole pig? That's a whole, that's a regular barbecue. Where the fuck is my division? This is my battery. We got one brigade. Alright, there's cavalry. So, yeah, my avatar and my cavalry brigade, which was up here, is back here. Cavalry come out this way. And where's the rest of my brigade? Where's Preston? Oh, he's my front line unit. There's Kelly. The fuck is Kelly? He's back here. Alright, Kelly, fall back. Fuck the rest of the army. Exactly, exactly, rainy day. The crackling? Oh, shit. I remember years ago, my mom is from New York City, and she grew up in Catholic school. And we went to this union party where they had a, a deer on the cookout. They didn't tell my mom that, because she's old school Catholic school girl. Took a 1956 high school girl from Catholic school. And we went to this party and we gave her venison. And my mom loved it. Until I told her what it was. I told her it was venison. My mom, being the old school girl she was, went, I just ate Bambi? I'm like, No, you didn't eat Bambi. He had his mother. And <laughs> she puked all over the place. For as old as she was, and she knew better from where all the meat came from.
I haven't lost my division yet. Come on. Exactly, Ramshaw. Exactly. So we're going to lose this battle too, I guarantee it. Well, we got 40 minutes left before I end the stream. Wait, what the fuck? They're already out here? Where I sent Grimm's Wolf Riders by mistake. I, I thought I sent them to a quiet area and there's actually Federals back here. I thought I sent them back here because there's nobody here. Texas Fighting Heroes come up and support though you're getting ready to break. Uh, battery still engaged. Uh, yeah, Kelly Show was already falling back. Shit. Fuck me. Yeah, uh, actually, Krieg, uh, this shit is devolving, like, pretty badly. You're, you're not wrong. This is actually pretty bad. And they got the fucking charge icon stuck. Fuck me. Alright, take out the Let's go, boys. Go for the battery. Go for the battery. Fuck. This is not good. This is not good at all. Get in there for taking another fucking charge of canister. Get in there. I don't give a fuck how the bugle sounds. Get the fuck in there and kill them. We're taking another fucking shot of canister. Pull back, pull back. You broke them, get back, get the fuck back here. Fuck, get the fuck back. Pull back. I'm going to lose my brigade because of this shit. You have orders to pull back. Stop pretending like you're on a fucking brigade ground. Just full, pull back. Pull back. Parade ground nonsense. Parade ground nonsense. Get the fuck over here.
Where are my grunts? Fuck this. Where are my grunts? I come in of a man who hates me. Fuck. Alright, then we go Grunt's Wolf Riders. Girly, I eat all the <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't eat all the persons, I drank them. Oh shit. Uh Yeah, full bottle down. We got 30 minutes left. I just finished my whole bottle. We got 30 minutes left in this live stream. He's special our duck fat roast beef. Oh god, that sounds so good. The only needs my men have are whiskey and fucking tents. That's all they need. Though we are losing this battle. I just finished my bottle of whiskey, so we got half an hour left anyway. over. <laughs> I Actually, I, I would wish you did. That food sounds delicious. That I would love, especially for uh, my next live stream. What's at the rate we're going? It should be the next 24 hour live stream, honestly. We picked up quite a few viewers the last few episodes. I'm a little surprised by that. What is my number looking at right now? So we're at 875 subscribers right now, so we're actually not too far away from my 24-hour live stream. Once again, if you're a new viewer, returning viewer, hey, you just think I'm an asshole and you just want to listen to me live stream for 24 hours? Think about subscribing. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, 24-hour live stream for charity. I'll do a vote on the charity before I do it. Hundred and twenty five subscriptions away. That's all it takes. Hundred and twenty five people saying, Hey, I'll watch your content. You don't hit that like button, just hit that subscribe button. You don't like me? Hit that fucking dislike button. Fuck you, wait. Still hit that subscribe button.
that room was fun. I, I mean, you want to make 125 counts? Good luck. Good luck. And you know you want to watch me for 24 hours. I don't think I don't think you could deal with the I don't think you could deal with me for 24 hours. You can't deal with me for 12 hours. You literally can't. You can't deal with me for 12 hours. I don't think you can do me for 24. Brandy, I don't think you guys could do a 24 hour stream with me. I really don't. It's kind of like doing this, like, if I did a stream with Tex, both of our voices together would be an acoustic overload for you kids. <laughs> There will be signs, old accounts, 40k themes. <laughs> I mean, you're already shit faced, so I probably won't notice, Krieg. <laughs> <laughs> no, Randy, you don't need any of that. All you need is my voice ripping you through it. I'll survive a 24 hour stream. That's why I'm doing 12 hour tonight. We got 36. Uh, actually, no, we got 26 minutes left for a 12 hour stream. We got 26 minutes left. We got 26 minutes left on this stream. Practice for the 24 hour. Remember to like, subscribe. And as soon as I hit 1,000 viewers, I'm doing a 24 hour live stream. But until we hit 1,000 viewers for the next few weeks, I'll do 12 hours on every stream. Tonight, wasn't planned, but I'm doing it anyway. You've been here since the beginning. If you guys have, <laughs> if you guys have been here since the beginning of the stream, I'm going to full 12. I'll go full 12 next week. Actually, I'll go full 12 tomorrow night. Fuck it. I'll go full 12 tomorrow night on Sunday with a War Tale stream. Because I'm afternoon shift on Monday, so fuck it. I go four hours to sleep before I go to work. And then next weekend, I'll do another fucking 12 hour stream. So I get 1,000 subscribers, I go 12 hour streams, and I'll do 24 once I have that 1,000. Where's my cavalry brigade? There it is. Come out on this flank. Please and thank you. So we got until the end of this battle. It's now 0700 Eastern Standard Time. We got 26 minutes left before I end this stream. I 
I know you took a fucking short nap, Brandy. You took a short nap. Been awake for now for 26 hours. You definitely watched me for 24. Well, I'm only going tw I'm only going 12 tonight. I'll do 24 once I have the thousand. Like I said, we're going 12 tonight. We got 25 minutes left before I end the stream. I'm actually kind of still awake. I kind of want to go past that, but I do have to put a cutoff in there. I got my demands. And my demands are a thousand subscribers. That'll go 24 hours. One for hours, are you grumpy? I'd send you updates. No, 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 no. No food updates over 24 hours. No, not happening. No, no, no. When I do 24, if you send me food updates, I will fucking end the stream and buy a first class ticket to wherever the fuck you live to murder you. <laughs> it's bad enough doing this stream and being fucking hungry to listen to you assholes. And Creek, I'll do it on the weekend. If if I do, it's gonna be. If I do it, it will be. It'll start at six a.m. on Saturday and end six a.m. on Sunday. I will do it over the weekend. Hopefully, hopefully you can be off for that time. And if not, just put it on your channel and let it play all the time. Calvary, let's get you dismounted. And go loose. And it's another easy victory thrown away. Actually, not wait, they got seventy four thousand? What the fuck? That was not the number to start this battle. Rain Day, thank you for that. Ramshaw Creek, Steve, Marine, Willis, Nick, you know Rainy Day, thank you for gifting those memberships. Holy shit, thank you. You don't have to do that, buddy. Uh, we're going to lose this one. We're, we're actually going to lose this. It says minor victory right now, but we're going to lose this. I hate to say that, but we're going to lose it. No, it's, like I said, she she's locked up in the basement, and so she needs to be polite. She comes out when she has to be polite. Don't worry about it. Where is my battery? Oh, what the fuck? 
These guys are... They reform behind us. Just strength. No, Jesus Christ! You guys haven't even fought yet. You got two brigades haven't even fought yet, and moving behind us. Are you kidding me? Like I said, Rainy, thank you very much for that. I, I thank you, and hopefully, everybody who got a membership out of that thanks you. Texas, keep pushing forward. Hit these guys. Support the cavalry. Where's my battery? <coughs> Excuse me. Get the fuck over here with the rest of our division. Get over here. You boys fall back. When I sent you up there originally, you were not unsupported. Texas, get up next to Grim. That's our mate. Watching Grumpy completely sober is an experience once. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's no, there's never a time you're gonna see me on a fucking gaming channel and see me fucking sober. That's never gonna happen. I'm a full whiskey bottle down and going into my next one. Like I said, and we have literally, uh, we got 28 minutes left on this stream. So this is a 12 hour stream. We got 28 minutes left. Like I said, this is a practice for the 24. Or, it didn't start as a practice, but we're going there. We got 28 minutes left on the stream. You want me to keep going? I need some more likes. I will keep going as long as people are watching. I will keep going. Well, we're going to our hour stream tonight. We got 15 minutes left and it's a full 12. This battle's a loss, but I'm going to keep going. As long as people are watching, people keep liking. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> it 
Airborne Grunt 76. Of course, I'm going to see you on the stream. Uh, what you need you serving? I served in the 173rd. What up? Actually, I think I kind of screwed up what I had going on here. Hold on. Pop out chat. There we go. I went off screen for a second, so it kind of screwed me up. Yeah, we're outflanked. We're outnumbered. We're losing this battle. I'm gonna let this play out. Be right back.
Actually, you caught me, guard. You caught me. I muted my mic. I muted my mic. I forgot. I'm sorry. You actually called. I muted my mic because I stepped away for a second. I muted my mic. But I'll keep going. I'm going to keep going. As long as you guys want me here, I'll keep going. And Sean, I thought you were in Africa. I'll give you a call later today. And we are flanked out. Holy shit. Get the fuck back. Holy shit. Pull battery back over to here. We are actually flanked out. Holy crap. Well, we got nine minutes left on the stream. You guys want me to keep going? You got to give me a reason to keep going. Because I will. Whiskey bottle's empty. I got one smoke left. If you want me to keep going, I will. But you got to give me a reason to do it. Oh, I thought you were going to Af I thought you were going to Africa. I thought you replaced my old uh my unit when we were there. Okay. Mr. Warren, where you <laughs> This is wondering why you're near pissing yourself. Just tell her to listen to my voice. She'll be enthralled by it. <laughs> Alright, there goes uh, Texas Fighting Heroes. Our battery's still in place. And they're supposed to be pulling back. the hell are you boys doing back here? Kelly's Heroes, what the fuck are you doing back here? Go up to the road. Are we not reason enough? <laughs> You know, I can't wait to Reno this year. I really can't wait. And uh, anybody in chat is wondering, Airborne Grunt 76 is a guy I started with in the 173rd when we jumped into Iraq together. It's uh, <laughs> known him a long time. But his wife still runs hurt on us. <laughs> and I love her for doing it. Well, like I said, I, I'm out of smokes, but I still got half a bottle of whiskey left. So uh I'm gonna as long as you guys keep going in chat, I'm gonna keep going. As long as you guys want me to go, I'm going to go. 
This is practice for the 24 hour stream. You got, like I said, you guys get me to a thousand fucking subscribers. I will do a 24 hour stream. This is practice for that. Like I said, I'm going to end the stream at 12 hours. We got five minutes left to 12 hours. But if you guys are awake, you guys want to keep going. I'm going to fucking keep going. We only got 12 people watching right now. 